dear student today uh, we are going to start with uh, uh, nuclear technology and uh, nuclear technology will cover very comprehensive manner and uh, each and every topic will uh, take it at the level of prelims as well as uh, the mains and whenever the topics will be covered that we will also take some of the prelims and the mains based questions so that you can feel comfortable with this uh, nuclear technology so whatever the area that we have to cover in the nuclear technology from the first to the last that will have to see and here it is already written on the board and uh, in the nuclear technology we'll have to see the what i said that nuclear energy that you should be knowing that it is nucle nuclear fission and the nuclear fusion and then components of nuclear reactor it means i said that uh, atomic power station and here it is uh, nuclear fuel cycle that we'll have to also see there after types of nuclear reactor in the world and in the india that we are doing and after that whatever the three stage nuclear program uh, of india which is adopted by the homi jahangir bhabha and uh, on the basis of this that we'll also cover the some uh, pre and mains based questions and uh, we'll have to see like i said that there after we'll see the nuclear energy in india and the different organization based on it and here it is uh, i said uh, indian atomic energy commission then department of atomic energy then bhava atomic research center indira gandhi center for atomic research raja ramanna center for advanced research and then atomic mineral directorate for the i said uh, exploration and research and then variable energy cyclotron center and then different uh, present nuclear reactor and in the future what are the different nuclear reactor will come we'll also cover and uh, thereafter we'll also see the what the international organization how do they are playing a role uh, for making a peaceful uh, use of this nuclear energy and what are the complication that india is facing and what are where he is uh, getting some benefits out of it we'll cover uh, these things and here it is uh, international atomic energy agency then uh, non proliferation treaty and uh, here it is pokhran 1 and here it is nuclear supply group their australia australian group and missile technology control regime and then washenar arrangement and here it is comprehensive test brain, uh, ban treaty and there is a pokhran 2 pokhran 1 which is i said that smiling buddha it is a pokhran 2 is a, i said that operation shakti that we know all thereafter we'll also see the from the 2006 to 2008 onwards what is the india us nuclear deal and then nuclear liability act of 2010 we'll have to see and then some base pre mains portion and some some also we'll have to see that how india is making relation with the i said the russia and uh, different countries from where it is uh, india needs i said that nuclear uh, uranium and all and uh, some of the issues which is i said that india is facing since last years uh, few some uh, uh, from the 2010 and somewhere due to some uh, resistance are there and then jatpur kundakulam some issues are there that we'll have to also cover and some other issues so we'll have to uh, take over these issues so we are going to start with the first i said that here from the nuclear energy we are going to start with so so that nuclear energy that uh, they are it is divided into two you know that it is uh, nuclear fusion and uh, it is what i said that nuclear fusion and uh, perhaps you might have studied in the class 10th something 9th something and even then if you have not studied not knowing too much clearly we'll have to ex we'll explain both of them and uh, in the detail we'll go i said that nuclear fusion is there fusion means i said that one it is i said break you can understand by the breaking it and fusion means i said that uh, in one word we can understand it is what combine here it is we have to combine here it is we have to break and uh, it has been found that there are the some uh, i said that minerals are there which can be with the help of some kind of i said that uh, radiation comes or i said that some neutrons if we bombard on it they started breaking that is i said that fissionable material so like if i say some of the minerals which is itself is started breaking and uh, you can say like i said that suppose there is an uranium uh, 235 listen me here it is uranium 235 its atomic number is 92 its mass is uranium mass 
uh, is 235 and atomic number is this. Yadi yaad ho gaya, then even then it's okay. And thereafter, when we are bombarding with, I said that uh, one neutron, when I'm bombarding with the one neutron, then what happens? It becomes what I said that what actually 236 and uh, uh, it becomes U 236 and 92 and thereafter it started disintegrating. If it started disintegrating, then you can be able to see like I said that uh, it uh, bro broken into two parts. One it is in a barium, barium another it is I said that krypton. The barium if I said that its atomic mass is 139 and here it is atomic number is 56 and uh, here it is I said that krypton if I am talking about its uh, 30, here it is it is becoming 36 atomic number. So if I am talking about in this situation I said uh, atomic number here and here and the upper one is atomic mass and uh, here you can say the 94 is atomic mass of krypton. And uh, if you will see the here it is atomic number is 92. So after breaking the 56 plus 36 it will again become what I said that 92. So atomic number is same after breaking even then the large nuclei has been broken into what I said that two smaller nuclei. But what is happening I said that what is happening this is 236 if we will add this one 139 and 94 if we will add it it will become I said that 230. If you are adding it, it is becoming 233. So how much 236 and there is in a 233, there is in a mass defect, there is in a mass defect if I am talking about how much 3. This 3 loss of mass is converting into, I said that in the form of energy and I said that 3 neutrons. You can say that 3 neutron, 3 into 1 it will become what? 3. So it has been compensated here. So whatever, whatever the mass defect, it has been converted into energy. And perhaps you have studied in the class 9th and 10th also. Little bit you can have, have an idea. E equals to mc square. See this mass defect and this is c square. If there is a mass defect, it will convert into energy. So it has been converted into large amount of energy. And this three, I said that neutron. So this way, nuclear fission is what I said that releasing energy due to the mass defect. Understood? At the same time release of neutron. How much neutron? Three neutrons are releasing and at the same time there is a release of electromagnetic waves. These three things are their energy, neutron and electromagnetic waves radiations are which are coming. Again let me tell you one uranium atom it is in a fissionable. Jab fissionable means if you are striking with the neutron it started breaking. Yadi aap neutrons se kisi other elements or atoms pe strike kar rahe and it is not breaking that is known as not fissionable. But here it is fissionable, fission ho ja raha hai, iska it is breaking. So, humne jaysay we have strike with the neutron, the uranium 235 has been broken into barium and krypton. Barium and krypton and the mass is like this, 139 atomic number 56 of barium and krypton 94 atomic mass and the atomic number 36. But finally we are finding out there is a mass of loss of mass and the mass defect is I said that 3. This 3 mass defect has been converted into what I said that energy but has been in the form of 3 neutrons. And at the same time they are releasing large amount of electromagnetic waves. Perhaps you understood this. But I suggest you perhaps some of you are not able to remember this also because this mass number and all. You can also that there is an I said that one it is in a large nuclei is there. You can say like this. After the bombardment of neutron it has been dissociated or broken into I said that two smaller nuclei. You can also say like this and at the same time they are releasing energy and uh, three, three neutrons and electromagnetic waves. So it is also correct if you are writing in the examination sometimes if we are I said that it has been asked then you can also say that a large nuclei after the bombardment of neutron has been dissociated into what is two smaller nuclei along with I said that release of energy and electromagnetic waves. So you can easily define what is the nuclear fission. Nuclear fission means bombarding of neutron on the large nuclei, bombardment of neutron on the large nuclei able to break 
two is a break this large nuclei into is two smaller nuclei along with energy in the form of mass defect as well as three neutrons as well as three neutrons and uh, electromagnetic waves let me again repeat what is this there is a large nuclei and it has been bombarded with a neutron and due to this it has been dissociated into what i said that is smaller nuclei of two along with release of energy in the form of mass defect and as well as three neutrons and electromagnetic waves it is known as nuclear fission and that energy is known as nuclear fission so perhaps you are able to understand what is nuclear fission understood it so we have seen there are the two types of uh, nuclear energy and uh, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion and in the nuclear fusion we have seen that uh, one neutron is bombarding over i said uh, uranium atom of 235 which has been converted into barium and krypton and uh, releasing there is in a uh, i said that electromagnetic waves and there is in a mass defect which is causing i said the release of energy and uh, we can be able to see like i said that what happened here there is a neutron which has been bomb uh, bombarded over here with uh, there is a uranium 235-92 and uh, which has been converted uh, uh, it is the same 92 but it has been disintegrated into two smaller nuclei so large nuclei is converting into a smaller nuclei of barium and uh, which one i said that krypton and here it is uh, you can be able to say um, there is a 139 and here it is uh, 56 and there it is 94 and uh, 36 but uh, 139 94 if you let it will become two, uh, 240, uh, 233 and but there is another 236. So the three loss of mass causing I said that release of energy and uh, this energy released it is in the form of mega electron volt. So the unit of energy released during the nuclear fission reactions that is uh, radioactive reaction nu nuclear fission reaction there is known as what mega electron volt mega electron volt so energy and at the same time there will be a electromagnetic waves will be also released understood it and uh, this is known as i said that one of the and at the same time there is a release of the three loss there is a neutron will be of a one mass and it will be released and then we have in a three mass defect so three into one that become three now so there is a release of three neutron understood it now and now this three neutron if i am talking about three neutron this I am talking about released this three neutron there are several there is a several kg of I said in the ton of uh, uranium are there in the nuclear reactor so and uh, there are in that one there is a I said the several atoms are there this three neutrons if I am talking about these three neutrons again bombarded with 235 atom and again it is giving barium and krypton and it is releasing energy in the form of mega electron volt and electromagnetic waves and then again three neutrons this neutron the second neutron which is released over there the third neutron and each one will react the same way and then releasing energy electromagnetic waves and then there is an i said that three neutrons and again there is an i said that this is three neutrons you can be able to see that this is the way we have been able to see the three neutron converted into nine neutrons and the nine neutrons each one will be converting into again uh, attacking uranium 235 and uranium 235 the, this neutron will again release the, what I said that three neutrons and each nine will release then it will become 27 further it will become three times 81 further it will become 241 and uh, 243 and uh, slowly and slowly we can be able to see that, that uh, there will be a chain reaction starts it will convert into neutrons of lakhs of crores it means it is a chain reaction which is not to be what i said that going to finish until there is no fissionable mineral keep on reacting once it has been started and this is known as i said that uncontrolled jisko aap control nahi kar sakte ho uncontrolled i said that uh, nuclear and the similar way this is also atomic bomb isi ko hum kya gayenge? atomic bomb bomb bhi isi atomic bomb mein bhi there is no control koi control nahi kya jata hai neutron keep on 
forming and then key point I said then bombarding over the uranium and then this is this way large amount of energy is being released. This is I said that uranium 235 is going to convert into like this. So, we can be able to see this is an uncontrolled nuclear fusion and atomic bomb is utilized understood it. So, one concept we have been able to see under this one and again jaise maine pehle bhi kiya hai ki aapko ye zaruri nahi hai yaad rakhna barium and krypton zaruri hai yaad rakhna aapko ye ek idea ho chuka hai ki that there is a loss of some mass defect is there loss of mass mass defect that is can making that energy so this uh, equation yes aap logo ko pehle bhi bataun ki i said that uh, how to remember it so we have been able to see like i said uh, so nuclear fusion is of i said that uh, two types one it is i said that uh, I said uh, uncontrolled nuclear fission and another it is I said that controlled nuclear fission. Uncontrolled abhi aapko dikhaya that is I said that atomic bomb chain reaction. But here it is I said that controlled me I said neutron has been bombarded on the uranium 235 and it has been disintegrated into barium and krypton and a release of energy in the form of mega electron volt and electromagnetic waves and the same time there is a release of I said that 3 neutron. Abhi 3 neutron will cause again I said that it is like an a, I said it is like an a what a chain reaction atomic bomb and the energy produces uncountable large amount of energy. Lekin hum kya karenge in the nuclear reactor kya hota hai? There is a one we have to control this. So, we will put in a control controlling rod. Or controlling rod ka jab jab kami hai it will absorb two neutrons. Yeh ne two neutrons ka absorb kar lega and there will be only one neutron will be there. Remember that control rod will be able to what I said that control rod will be able to absorb these two neutrons only one neutron will be left and this one neutron again do the same way reaction and it is causing uranium 235 and similar reaction will come and then there will be again three neutrons will be released and again this controlling rod will, will I say that it is able to absorb these two extra neutrons one neutron again one neutron will keep on so this way millions of time this reaction will happen but it will be in the controlled manner if it is happening in controlled manner that is i said that nuclear reactor this may have look control karke will produce the heat and heat ke basis pe will be able to produce electricity and this is known as this is considered as a controlled nuclear fusion and it is a nuclear reactor nuclear reactor means nuclear power plant where we are jaise aapne suna hoga there is an narora atomic power station in the uh, up nearby buland sahar there is an i said that rawat bhata in rajasthan and then um, uh, kakra para in gujarat and tarapur and trombe in mumbai kaga in karnataka kalapakkam in tamil nadu and kundakulam in tamil nadu itself these are i said that here is the nuclear reactors are there nuclear reactor it will be always in the form of i said that uh, controlled manner may energy produce karna hai and that is reactor is this. So, we can be able to see that uh, controlled and uncontrolled we have been able to see. Like in uh, I said that uh, uranium 235 listen me carefully uranium a concept mujhe samajna is me chai one controlled a controlled there is I said that one thermal neutrons. What is the reaction? Perhaps all of you remember that neutron is bombarded on the uranium 235. It has been disintegrated into what? Barium and krypton and there is an omega electron volt is energy due to the mass defect and the electromagnetic waves and then 3 neutron. Or is 3 neutron ko hum bhi jante kya karke usme se kewal ek neutron rakhte hai for the reaction ke liye and do neutron ko hum lo kya kar lete hai? What? Absorbed by the controlling rod. So, अब यहाँ पर क्या है कि ये this uranium will be disintegrate मतलब fusion होना टूटना break होना जब होगा जब neutron की speed क्या होगी slow speed when there will be a slow speed of the neutron then it will be I said that thermal neutron listen me जैसे if I am running my car I said with a fast speed the breaker reduces the speed 
द सिमिलरली वी हैव एन वन मॉडरेटर हम लोग मॉडरेटर न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट में रखते हैं मॉडरेटर इट्स जॉब इज टू वॉट रिड्यूस द स्पीड ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन एंड दैट इज अ थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन सो दैट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव डिसेंट्रोगेट यदि फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन होगा तो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव विल नॉट बी गोइंग टू बी फ्यूजन और ब्रेक और डिसेंट्रोगेट अंडरस्टूड सो सच न्यूट्रॉन्स आर नॉन एज थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन्स अंडरस्टूड इट सो वी हैव बीन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन आर ऑफ वॉट आई सेट दैट टू टाइप्स it is an a controlled nuclear fusion and uncontrolled nuclear fusion uncontrolled nuclear fusion it is no controlling rod we there is a chain reaction large amount of energy is being produced and it is like an atomic bomb but here it is in a controlling nuclear controlled nuclear fusion is like i said that with the help of i said that moderator we used to uh, with the help of i said that controlling rod and moderators what i we have what controlling rod and moderators controlling rod or say ke rod se hum log kya kar rahe hain we are absorbing the extra neutrons only leaving one neutron to keep on the maintaining the reaction so that it is not becoming high energy in released and controlling and moderators is ke slow speed kar dete so that it is able to fission this one so it is considered as i said that thermal neutrons and controlling rod and it is moderator or ye controlled hai it is happening in which i said that yes tell me reactors power plants understood it so and uh, this is considered as a nuclear reactor to ab hame ye dekhna hai ki yes we have a nuclear fusion is taking place lekin uske liye hame kya chahiye we have some material mineral to what i said that it has been to what i said that fusion into smaller cobalt can be utilized iodine can be also utilized it's kind of isotopes us usme bhi disintegration hota hai तो जो भी डिसेंट्रोगेट होगा वी कैन बी एबल टू यूटिलाइज बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर फॉर एटॉमिक बम विच आर आई सेड दैट देर इज अ टू टाइप्स ऑफ मेटेरियल फॉर न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन टू टाइप्स ऑफ मेटेरियल फॉर न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन one it is i said that fertile material or nuclear fuel which one i said that nuclear fuel and another it is what fissile material or nuclear fuel so fissile and फिसाइल का मतलब जो कि क्या हो फिजनेबल हो टूट जाए इट कैन ब्रेक आफ्टर द बटबाडमेंट ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स उसको बोलेंगे फिसाइल मेटेरियल लेकिन फर्टाइल वो है जिसपे इफ आई एम आई सेट दैट बम्बार्डिंग न्यूट्रॉन्स इट इज नॉट लेकिन ये हो सकता है इन द फ्यूचर इट कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू फिसाइल देर फॉर इट इज फर्टाइल फर्टाइल यू नो दैट उर्वरक उत्पादक दैट इट इज आई सेट फर्टाइल फर्टाइल कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू so those minerals those material can convert into fissile those are known as fertile and fissile is itself after the bombardment of neutron it can be easily fissionable breaking or disintegrating so we can be able to see which are fissile and fertile we'll have to see like we have to remember also so we have on a fissile material and another that we have to see what i said fertile material फिसाइल में वी हैव आई सेड दैट यूरेनियम 235 यू ऑलरेडी नो इसके दो मास घटा देंगे यूरेनियम 233 इज आल्सो आई सेड दैट फिजनेबल कैन यू रिमेंबर इफ इल बम्बार्डिंग विद न्यूट्रॉन इट इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू आई सेड दैट कन्वर्टिंग इन टू व्हाट स्मॉलर न्यूक्लियाई एंड प्रोड्यूसिंग एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स एंड ऑल एंड अनादर टू हमें देखना है टू इट इज प्रोटोनियम टू and i said that uh, plutonium 241 or sabka atomic number hai aapka 92 iska and plutonium ka 94 ye yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai but the important part is that you have to remember uranium 235 uranium 233 plutonium 239 yahan pe do ka difference hai and plutonium may be 239 and 241 understood these are fissile or fissionable we we'll, you should try to remember it but there is a fertile minerals are there here it is i said that uranium 238 
यदि मैं यूरेनियम 238 पर न्यूट्रॉन से मैं इस पे बम्बार्ड करूंगा इट विल नॉट बी फिजनेबल मीन्स इट विल नॉट डिसंट्रोगेट इन टू स्मॉल और न्यूक्लियाइ और रिलीजिंग एनर्जी तो वॉट वी डू वी हैव टू हम लोग क्या करते हैं इसे न्यूट्रॉन से और इसको रेडिएटिव डिके करते हैं न्यूट्रॉन से इसको जोड़ करके बना देते हैं टू एंड इट इज इट इसका भी नाइन्टी टू एटोमिक नंबर है एटॉमिक नंबर इस सबके सेम है बट मास डिफरेंट है यूरेनियम 233 तो यदि आप 92 में से माइनस करें माइनस टू इट विल बिकम वॉट प्लस टू दैट विल बिकम नाइनटी फोर सो वट इज है दिस इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू वट आई सेट प्लूटोनियम टू 39 and this is what 94. जैसे ही एटॉमिक नंबर चेंज होगा तो एलिमेंट विल चेंज सो वी हैव एबल टू कन्वर्ट यूरेनियम 238, थर्टी एट विच इज अटाइल मिनरल और मेटेरियल और न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल इन टू वॉट प्लूटोनियम सिंपली यदि हम लोग वी कैन बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट इन टू आई सेट दैट बाई जेनेटिक चेंजेस वी कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू अनदर काइंड ऑफ आई सेट दैट स्पेसिस इट इज नॉन एज अ म्यूटेशन थ्रू दैट जेनेटिक चेंजेस एंड हेयर इट इज नॉन एज ट्रांसम्यूटेशन means one element has been changed into another element with through the some process one neutron ka bombard kiya and two beta decay that is converted understood it so uranium 238 is not in a fissionable material but it has been converted into fissionable by the process of this now therefore uranium 238 is what one of the i said fertile man, uh, material and the similarly we have what thorium 232 and it is 90 अब इसमें हम क्या करेंगे न्यूट्रॉन से करेंगे आगे लेके पीछे लेके डजन मैटर सो इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू टू थर्टी थ्री थोरियम दिख रहा है ना ये बनने जा रहा है और इसमें हम टू बीटा डिके कर देंगे तो ये क्या हो जाएगा नाइन्टी से नाइन्टी टू हो जाएगा एंड टू बीटा डिके इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री नाइन्टी टू सो वी हैव बीन एबल टू सी दैट हेयर इट इज आई से दैट थोरियम इज ऑल्सो फर्टाइल material or nuclear fuel which is converting into uranium 233 so this whole process is known as i said the transmutation converting one element into another element that is the transmutation or world mein sabse jyada koi radioactive minerals available hai to largest is what uranium 238 ye fertile hai but it can convert into this uranium plutonium 239 understood it so we have been able to see i said that which are the two fertile materials uranium 238 and thorium 232 but which are the fissile 235 uranium 233 239 241 plutonium and then one it is uranium 238 and uh, thorium 232 to ye hame karna padta hai so that we can convert into and uh, this process is known as transmutation so which are the fertile yes tell me which are the fertile the fertile are it is uranium 238 the same mass will be the atomic number will be 2 it is and then thorium 232 and then uh, fissile materials are it is this now ab uh, generally hamare atomic reactors atomic bomb uranium and plutonium based hain and uh, plutonium and uranium but uh, we have a very uh, less reserve of this in the world if i am talking about let us see अब यूरेनियम और थोरियम मेजर इट इज व्हाट आई सेड दैट वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट यूरेनियम प्लूटोनियम में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है तो वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट यूरेनियम एंड व्हाट आई सेड दैट थोरियम रिजर्व्स इन द वर्ल्ड एंड फर्स्ट वन वी हैव टू सी दैट द रिजर्व्स ऑफ यूरेनियम इन द वर्ल्ड रिजर्व्स ऑफ यूरेनियम इन द वर्ल्ड एंड यू ट्राई टू रिमेंबर लाइक ए लेटर ए के बाद बी छोड़कर क्या जाएगा आपका बी आप ऐसे लिख सकते हो और सी अब यहां से मैंने ऐसे मिटा दिया और ऐसे मिटा दिया तो ये क्या बन गया के सो ए के सी ए फोर ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज द नंबर वन इन द यूरेनियम रिजर्व अराउंड वन थर्ड ऑफ द रिजर्व ऑफ यूरेनियम इन द वर्ल्ड इज इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया and then here it is what kazakhstan the second one in the central asia
and then third one it is Canada. So these are the three. I said that numbers are there and uh, we have to understand that okay where if I am going to Australia our main concern will be for the nuclear from there this country. The so number one is which one Australia. Second one it is I said that Kazakhstan and then third one it is what Canada. So these are the uranium reserve in the world large amount one third it is only in Australia one third reserve around one third around it is I said that 30% cash per se. So it is a reserves of what I said that uranium in the world the next it is we are going to see the uranium reserves in India and it is very less. It is very less. In India the uranium reserve is very less and uh, let us see where they are where they are and I said uh, let us see the map through the map of India or map of India banane ka bahut asan tarika this is the mouth of a bird the four chotis of a girl balu ke chotis bana de and there is another one tail of a bird and this is the triangle so this is the way you can be able to easily make the map of India and here we have I said that Jharkhand and uh, here we have uh, you know uh, this is your Tilangana and here it is Andhra and Andhra ke this region is Kudappa. So the Jharkhand uh, this region is Singhbhum region jahan pe Tata Iron Steel Company Tisco ke baare mein aap jante honge large of iron ore reserve is also there in the Jharkhand. So if I am talking about where is the uranium available in India the first one it is I said that Jharkhand. Then I have to talk about I said that which one. Pehle Jharkhand mein hum log dekh le kahan par hai. Jharkhand mein there are five regions in the Singhbhum. This is the Singhbhum. East Singhbhum, West Singhbhum districts are there. In the Jharkhand we have to see like I said that one it is uh, Ghat, Sila, Musa, Bani, Jadu, Guda. Narva Pahar Turam D. I said that Ghat Sila Musabani. Ghat Pale Kyota, you must be knowing Western Ghat, Eastern Ghat, perhaps you have studied about it. I must be knowing about it. Or Kuidikata, you can also ask. I said that ghats are like I said that if, if the river bank may be jagged, there is a stairs are made and this is the stairs and the river is there that is known as ghat, river ghat. So steeper slopes hota hai, yes or not? And now, kyunki is mein se kuch bhi poochha ja sakta hai in the questions, where is the jharkhand the large uh, the reserve of uranium is available. I said that ghat sila, ab mein yaad karane ja raha hu ki you are sitting on the ghats, ghat par baithe ho aur yaan par ghat par sitting. Seal ka bana hua patthar ka ghat seela and yaha par ek mousse a jata hai paani peene ke liye and mousse is drinking water, mousse a baani, drinking water mat bolna, mousse a baani, mousse is drinking paani aur aap kya karte ho, jadu karte ho aur wo mousse nar me karna wat ho jata hai, narwa pahal, nar means male understood it, ghat par I said that uh, ek, aap baite and then mousse is coming and drinking water but you do the jadu means magic and then that is converting into moose is converting into nar, narva pahar and one you can remember turam d these are the five regions in the i said that southeastern part of what i said uh, in the jharkhand and then southeastern part of jharkhand here it is this region is there understood and then then in the andhra pradesh we have to see like this is the kodappa region 2011 may we have also found the large reserve over there and one that we have seen Meghalaya and the other regions are, are, are also there in very very small regions but we have to talk about the those three and in the Andhra Pradesh not in Telangana I am Andhra Pradesh which one I said Kodappa here it is Kodappa we have an uranium reserve we have found a, a good amount of reserve during the period of 2011 we come to know about and recently 
in the I said that where it is Meghalaya with the help of resource sat satellite resource sat one of the Indian remote sensing IRS we came to also know about that in the Meghalaya there is also uranium reserve. So we have been able to see the uranium reserve but in India Jharkhand is good in amount but these reserves in India is not sufficient enough we are highly dependent on the other countries but uh, you know that uh, our Indian Atomic Energy Commission Kelsone 1948 Maya thereafter the Department of Atomic Energy which has been formed in 1954 and thereafter it has been talked about that India should have their own uh, I said that some kind of a strategy then thereafter coming of Homi Bhabha, Homi Jahangir Bhabha, Homi Jahangir Bhabha ne kya kaha? He has said that there we do not have a good amount of uranium reserve on the basis of three stage program. Jitna kam hai usi ko kaise utilize kare best way mein. And at the present this three stage program is found to be the best in the world. So we have I said that three stage program jo ki hum log nuclear reactor mein dekhenge jo atomic power jo produce karne wala to usko nuclear reactor kaha jata hai. So we have to see this one also. So we have been able to see that I said that very less amount of uranium reserve on the basis of we have three stage program that is I said uh, first one is a pressurized heavy water reactor. Second just tuning it, I will do it in detail. So we have to see like I said the three stage program on the basis of the less uh, uranium reserve we have also available and India is also facing not to get I said that uranium uh, kind of fuel from the different parts of the world because of different kind of um, I said that uh, pressure and uh, after doing Pokhran test 1 and Pokhran test 2 that the com five uh, countries of the world uh, and we have also not signed uh, non-proliferation treaty and the different things. So therefore there is a kind of banning to supply different things and the little bit uh, re, uh, relaxation is at present. So we have only three stages uh, nuclear program or yes or jari detail hai kya hai NSG kaise kaam kar hai NPT, CTBT, was NR element, MTCR. These things we will discuss after completing all this and uh, we will go into detail uh, into this one and this uh, on the basis of based on this there is a uh, several mains question is also there. So uh, now after this uranium reserve in India that it is I said that uh, Ghat Sila uh, in the Jharkhand Ghat Sila, Musabani, Jaduguda, Narva Pahar, Turamdi and in the Andhra Pradesh Kodappa and Meghalaya and then some, some Rajasthan and Himalayan region is also available here and there it is some few but it is a major it is available this one. Now we are going to see I said that uh, thorium and uh, Thorium, I will tell you a little bit about what we have to write in detail in detail in the three stage program. If I am talking about three stage nuclear program of India, so what we will listen to is that it is try to understand that it is, I am not going to detailing it right now. Three stage program, it is pressurized heavy water reactor and some fuel will be there. यहाँ पे फ्यूल से क्या मिलेगा हमें एनर्जी फ्यूल से हमें एनर्जी मिलेगा और साथ में बाद में हमें क्या आ जाएगा वेस्ट अब हमारा सेकंड वन इट इज आई सेट दैट इट इज एन फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर अब ये जो वेस्ट है ये सेकंड स्टेज के लिए क्या बन जाएगा आई सेट दैट आवर फ्यूल अंडरस्टोड इट क्योंकि हमारे पास फ्यूल की कमी है तो जो वेस्ट में से हम लोग फ्यूल को कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं and uh, waste is converted into our waste W1 it is converting into what fuel and the rest of we are also putting some other fuels understood it. Ab yahan se again we are producing some I said that uh, energy and waste and this again we are utilizing in the further and the another one it is a fast beta reactor and there it is another advanced heavy water reactor and thermal beta reactor. ब्रीडर का मतलब ये है कि हम लोग वेस्ट में से इन फ्यूल बनाना है हमें इतना ही अभी फिलहाल समझना है वेस्ट टू बी कन्वर्ट इनटू फ्यूल देर फॉर ब्रीडर ब्रीडर व्हाट दैट वी कैन बी एबल टू सी हमारे पास कम था इसीलिए स्टेज वन स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री दिस इज द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट थिंग दैट हैज बिन डन बाई द आई सेट होमी जहांगीर भाभा वी आर गुड इन दिस और कलापक्कम तमिलनाडु में इट इज़ टू और कमिंग ईयर्स में स्टार्ट हो जाएगा और ये थर्टी फोर्टी ईयर्स नेक्स्ट लगेगा इसमें हम लोग को आने में understood it. So this is a three stage program on the basis of nuclear availability. So now and uh, third stage mein dhyan rakhiye ka thorium ka use hota hai or now the India is moving towards the thorium. Second stage mein bhi thorium use ho raha hai and th third stage mein thorium is going to be utilized. And then we have to see that what is the position of thorium 
तो हमें अब थोरियम के बारे में जानना है एंड इट इज एन आई सेट दैट मोनाजाइट सैंड में मिलता है कौन से सैंड में थोरियम इज फाउंड अलॉन्ग द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट एंड ईस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड आई सेट दैट थोरियम इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द वर्ल्ड कंस्टेक्सट in the in the uranium in the world context india does not having positions but in the case of i said that thorium india is number 1 and it has 25% reserve of the world understood some books some material also talking about more in numbers but it is an india is number 1 in the thorium that you can see that the future of india is in the safe hands That it is the second stage reactor जो आपको देखा था आपने फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर एंड देन थर्ड स्टेज रिएक्टर इट इज आई सेट दैट एडवांस हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर एंड थर्मल ब्रीडर रिएक्टर इन दिस वन थोरियम विल बी ऑल्स यूटिलाइज सो इसका मतलब है कि फ्यूचर इज इन द गुड हैंड वी हैव एन लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ यूरेनियम रिजर्व ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट रिजर्व ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड इट इज अवेलेबल इन द कोस्टल रीजन मोनाजाइट सैंड नाउ लेट एस सी दैट इज इन द वर्ल्ड नाउ वॉट वेयर थोरियम इज अवेलेबल इन इंडिया so in india if i am talking about <coughs> thorium in india and uh, if i say like i said that mere sath kya kuch number aap yaad kar sakte hain so the number is i said that 31 can you remember 21 20. Can you remember 31, 21, 20? 21, 21, 20. 21, 21, and 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 remember remember after after I said that 16 10. 10. Can you remember? 31, 21, 20, 16, 10, and after 2. So just try to these 10 digit numbers. And, uh, now let us see where it is available in India. Some books is talking about the Kerala has the largest number of monazite sands, but it is a wrong one. I said that number one. If I am talking about it, is I said that uh, which one? Andhra Pradesh. Number one is Andhra Pradesh. Dhyan se Andhra Pradesh. Below it is Tamil Nadu. Can you remember? And above Andhra Pradesh, Odisha. Third. Can you remember? Number one, number two, number third. Or it is thirty-one percent reserve, twenty-one percent reserve, twenty percent reserve of monazite sand or thorium. and this is the fourth kerala and it is what i said that 16% so which are the four in numbers we can say i said yes andhra tamil nadu odisha kerala and then fifth win is west bengal and sixth baju mein hai the nearby jharkhand and the shuri so these are the i said that uh, thorium reserve region of india and these are i said that which one i said first one is Andhra Pradesh and uh, second one it is yes tell me Tamil Nadu third one uh, which one <coughs> Odisha and then fourth is uh, Kerala remember again i am telling you some of the books is still talking about it is an you know, old facts Kerala number 1 number 1 and fifth is West Bengal and the sixth is jharkhand now perhaps you remember this number 31 21 20 16 10 to so 31 portion in andhra pradesh largest tamil nadu 21 portion reserve of thorium odisha 20 portion it is okay thereafter kerala has how much 16 portion west bengal has 10 portion remember 16 10 and then there it is jharkhand Two percent. So this is the thorium reserve of I said that uh, uh, thorium reserve in India. Understood it? So we have finished with this understanding of nuclear fusion. Now, we'll have to see like components of. हम लोग दोबारा इस कंसेप्ट में थोड़ा बहुत आएंगे. Components of uh, nuclear reactor components of components of nuclear reactor and uh,
you can be able to see here which are the components of uh, nuclear reactors and uh, this uh, component number one is moderator second is control rods third is shielding fourth is coolant third is next is uh, turbine and then thereafter generator understood these are the major components which are the major components just tell me there is a uh, what control rods carry a moderators first carry control rods moderators shielding thereafter we have an a coolant and then we have been able to see there is a turbine and generator you can also easily remember i'll tell you how to remember so which are the six components we have to see the components like i said that which one control rod and uh, next one it is moderator thereafter yes shielding coolant turbine generator these are the major six common components of what now pehle hi maine aap logo ko bataya abhi i said that uh, control rods kya karta hai it absorbs extra neutron control kar rahe na jisse ki we can maintain the small amount of energy to produce not to convert into atomic bomb which can be hazardous so control rods we'll have to see through the some pictures how do the nuclear reactors works and functions and uh, let us see here how it is i said that suppose there is an uranium is there or uranium pe neutron se bombard kiya gaya and heat is produced energy is produced and there is na some control rods are there just watch it control rods usse humne kya kiya neutrons ko yes tell me neutrons ko absorb kiya and then we maintain it a uh, specific amount of neutrons which can con, uh, which can do what i said that which can do uh, uh, in control manner energy can release there after there is na i said that moderator amne bataya tha ki we have to reduce the speed of neutron reduce the speed of neutron moderator jisse ki uranium 235 ko bar bar strike karte rahega so we have to also maintain there will be also in this one in this chamber there will be also some uh, moderators are there which will reduce the speed and iske baad yahan par kya hoga energy will produce and after the energy is produced this a hot energy will come over there aur yahan pe ek chamber hai iske hotness ki wajah se ab yahan pe water ja raha hai you can see there is a water is going on yes or not water is going on and ye water is hot uh, loop mein se heat ko lekar water steam mein convert ho jayega and this steam keeps on moving it is a secondary loop steam moves and there is a turbine wo steam jayega it will make the steam to what is that turn and this uh, turbine started rotating and this rotation ke wajah se there is a generator armature and that is able to produce electricity and to again humne kya bola dhyan se dekhiye ki that is i said that aur ye shielding hai ki yahan pe jo electromagnetic waves jo produce ho raha hai ye bahar na ja sake it is very harmful yes you know that again yahan pe kya hai nuclear fuel nuclear fuel ko control karne ke liye humne kya dal diya is tier mein कंट्रोल रॉड्स उसमें से हम लोग ने स्पेसिफिक नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स को देखा अब इसकी स्पीड को मुझे रिड्यूस करना है तो वी हैव पुट मॉडरेटर्स जिसकी स्पीड को हमने क्या कर दिया कंट्रोल रॉड ने एब्जॉर्ब कर लिया एक्स्ट्रा न्यूट्रॉन्स को और मॉडरेटर्स ने स्पीड को कम कर दिया एंड स्टार्टेड बम्बार्डिंग एंड देन न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन स्टार्ट न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन के फॉर्म में एंड हेयर इट इज दिस हीट इज पासिंग थ्रू एंड दिस वेन द हीट इज पासिंग थ्रू देन ये इज so what you are watching that here the heat is passing through and the it is in this loop it is passing and there is an a one steam generator yahan se cold water it is going moving through by coming into the contact of that this one it is converted into steam and then steam is running the turbine steam is running the turbine and thereafter it is converted into 
this turbine is uh, turning and then by running this one rotating this one the generator started producing electricity and the rest again the steam is coming through this uh, one chamber is there here the cold water is moving so that this steam is converted into water droplets again coming back so there are the two loops are there and we will see in the pressurized water reactor so when we will study the different types of nuclear reactor this so what we have seen that there is a one it is controlled rod controlling the number of neutrons because it is a production of electricity yes or not so controlling the i said that uh, number of neutrons and then making the at, at, uh, fixed amount of required amount of energy to be produced moderator reducing the speed of the neutron making thermal neutron so that uranium 235 with 233 plutonium 239 to plutonium 241 can be i said that after bombarding uh, producing energy and uh, dissociate into small nuclei so here say energy produce ho gaya so you understood what are there what are there there is a nuclear fuel a nuclear fuel aur usme kya hai controlling rods moderators and uh, jab yahan se jab gaya to this is this water is considered as yahan pe jo pani ja raha hai that it is i said that coolant kya hum log bolenge to ye jo heat leke ja raha hai jo water ye jo leke ja raha hai jo bhi is substance yahan se leke ja raha hai jo heat ko absorb karega usko kya bolenge coolant ab yahan se coolant gaya jo heat ko lekar move kar raha hai so controlling rod moderators and this is your what i said that coolant understood it and after that this coolant and there is an i said that turbine and thereafter generator understood so which are we have been able to see here it is control rod moderators coolant turbine and there it is generator turbine ka kya kaam hota hai what is the turbine स्टीम को मैकेनिकल एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट कर रहा है स्टीम जो हीट जो आ रही है दिस स्टीम और हीट एनर्जी जो आ रही है दैट एनर्जी इज गोइंग टू बी जो न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी आया दैट हैज बीन कन्वर्टेड इनटू व्हाट आई सेड दैट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एंड दिस मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इज जनरेटर के थ्रू जनरेटर का क्या काम है मैकेनिकल एनर्जी को किसमें कन्वर्ट करना है इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो दिस इज द जॉब ऑफ ऑल सो वी कैन से और यहाँ पे जो लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ हीट इज इज प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट इज आई सेड दैट इन द पर्टिकुलर शील्ड क्योंकि यहाँ पे देर इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेब्स आर देयर सो दैट देर शुड नॉट बी रेडिएशन आउट साइड अदरवाइज इट विल अफेक्ट द ह्यूमन बींग सो दिस इज आई दैट शील्डिंग इज ओवर देयर अंडर शोड इट सो शील्डिंग सो स्ट्रॉन्ग शील्डिंग इज देयर मे बी ऑफ मेड ऑफ लेड मे बी ऑफ मेड ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट सो कंट्रोल्ड रॉड इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इफ आई से दैट Control rod means I said that absorb neutron. Understood it? Moderator, what it causes? Yes, tell me. Reducing the, reducing or maintaining the speed of neutron. Reducing or maintaining. speed of neutron shielding ye aapka kiska bana ho sakta hai lead ka outside generally lekin hum log kiska bana hua rehta hai concrete yes thick concrete to protect from radiation to move outside yes or not protect from leaking of radiation so shielding is there you can be aapko samajh mein aa chuka hai structure coolant kya karta hai it absorb the heat energy absorbs heat energy usne heat energy ko apne mein le liya by the production of nuclear fuel se jo energy nikla that has been absorbed और ये कूलेंट मूव करने लगा एंड दिस इज आई सेड दैट दिस हीट एनर्जी इज कहाँ पे जाता है इट स्टीम के फॉर्म में एंड स्टार्टेड टर्निंग द टर्माइन तो हीट एनर्जी टर्माइन क्या करता है हीट एनर्जी को कन्वर्ट इनटू व्हाट मैकेनिकल एनी मूविंग थिंग्स मूव करता है इसका मतलब मैकेनिकल एनर्जी यू कैन रिमेंबर लाइक दिस एंड देन अब ये मैकेनिकल एनर्जी है टरबाइन चल रहा है उसकी वजह से आगे जनरेटर स्टार्टेड रनिंग एंड स्टार्टेड प्रोड्यूसिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तो इसका मतलब है कि जनरेटर जॉब इज व्हाट आई सेड दैट व्हाट इज जॉब ऑफ जनरेटर इट इज कन्वर्टिंग मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इनटू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी दीज आर द मेजर परहैप्स आपको बहुत आसान लग रहा होगा कि हाउ डू द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर वर्कस ये सर नॉट 
सो द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दे आर द मेजर कॉम्पोनेंट्स अब अपने दिमाग में भी आप इजिली देख सकते हो एक शील्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर है अंदर में न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल है दिस न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल आई सेड दर प्रोड्यूसिंग एनर्जी और वहाँ पे कंट्रोलिंग रॉड मेंटेन द नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड आई सेड एट जॉब एंड देर आफ्टर मॉडरेटर्स आर देयर मॉडरेटर इज एबल टू आई सेड दर रिड्यूसिंग द स्पीड मेंटेनिंग द स्पीड ऑफ द न्यूट्रॉन मेकिंग कन्वर्टिंग टू थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन्स क्योंकि थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन ही किसी भी न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल को ब्रेक करके लार्ज न्यूक्लियाई को कन्वर्ट करेगा स्मॉल न्यूक्लियाई में सो देर इज एन आई नीड ऑफ मॉडरेटर्स एंड देर आफ्टर आई सेड दैट देर इज एन आफ्टर दैट कोल एंड एब्जॉर्ब द एनर्जी and there after those heat energy steam mein convert hua and convert turbine uh, started converting heat energy into mechanical energy or turbine run karke that started producing into what i said that uh, mechanical energy into electrical energy this way i said that atomic reactor is able to produce electricity and uh, if we have been able to see all these are there so they are ab ye pucha ja sakta hai ki which are the elements can be utilized in the controlling rod तो कंट्रोल रॉड में दे आर दीज आर द एलिमेंट्स कैन बी यूटिलाइज यूटिलाइज बोरॉन सिल्वर इंडियम बोरॉन सिल्वर इंडियम विच आर वी हैव सीन दीज आर द थ्री बोरॉन सिल्वर इंडियम and uh, you can be able to see there it is cadmium <coughs> what i said that boron silver indium and which one cadmium life mein aap kaise isko yaad rakhenge controlling rod ko ki ye kon kon se hote hain upsc can ask which of the following are controlling rods utilized in nuclear reactors shaadi ke baad kya hota what happens after the marriage ha uh, male people are i said that controlling the family or female people are controlling the तो यू कैन बी एबल टू से बॉस मेल होता है और जो यू कैन रिमेंबर जस्ट मेकिंग टू रिमेंबर इन लॉजिकली कोई भी चीज को याद यू कैन रिमेंबर तो बॉस नहीं है अब क्या है आपके यहाँ बॉस होता है मेल और जो फीमेल है वो बॉसी है तो हमने क्या बोला बॉसी फीमेल हो गई और वो इंडियन है और दिस इज आई सेट दैट कैडमियम अब ये बॉसी जो है इंडियन की है अब हस्बैंड को प्यार नहीं करके किसको प्यार कर रही है कैट को कर रही है किसको सो यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस वे दिच आर द मिनरल एलिमेंट्स यूटिलाइज इन द कंट्रोलिंग द रॉड कंट्रोल रॉड्स बोर ऑन सिल्वर इंडियम एंड आई सेट दैट कैट्स ए कैडमियम दीज आर द कंट्रोलिंग रॉड्स अंडरस्टूड इट दीज आर द कंट्रोलिंग रॉड्स एन अदर पॉइंट आई सेट दैट ये आपको शायद याद हो चुका होगा द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू सी द मॉडरेटर्स कौन से which are the moderators and if i am talking about the moderators and in the case of moderators we have to utilize i said that uh, moderators are like uh, water dhyan se can you remember normal water nahi water yadi likha rahega normal water means it's a kind of distilled water you can say water H2O, you know that. Thereafter, I said that uh, heavy water. Can you remember heavy water? So water, heavy water, easily can remember. It deuterium, deuterium oxide, होता है D2O. And thereafter, you can say graphite. Which are we have been able to see? Water, graphite, heavy water. Water, graphite, heavy water, and in this, under the moderators, are inside that there are some moderators are there, and these moderators, we are using. What are we using? What are we using? Tell me. Water, heavy water. Water, heavy waters. water 
heavy water and uh, which one I said that moderators group mein. again I am saying moderators group mein, jo ki aapko reduce karta hai speed moderators heavy water again reducing the speed of neutron and graphite can you remember so world ke 75 percent world ke 75 percent nuclear reactor water moderator ke dwara bana hua 75 75 percent Graphite say 20 percent has been formed and heavy water say 5 percent. So, ye thoda ek figure yaad rakhega. The largest number of moderators are, moderators are utilized which one? Water. Dhyan se rakhe, paani hai. Paani hai apne apne neutron ko thanda kar dega, speed ko reduce kar dega. Heavy water bhi kar dega and at the same time which one? Graphite. And uh, thoda sa adar bhi hum log kuch yaad kar sakte hai to kar lene. Beryllium. और ऑर्गेनिक लिक्विड बेरिलियम एंड ऑर्गेनिक लिक्विड सो विच आर द विच आर द कंट्रोल रॉड्स द कंट्रोल रॉड्स आर बॉसी हमने बोला था कौन कंट्रोल करता है घर में बॉसी इंडियन कैट को ध्यान रखती ज्यादा हस्बैंड को नहीं सो बॉस से बोरॉन सिल्वर इंडियम से इंडिया एंड देन कैट से कैडमियम दीज आर द कंट्रोल रॉड्स जो कि न्यूट्रॉन को एब्जॉर्ब कर लेता है and another it is a moderator it is a reducing or maintaining the speed and which are i said that water heavy water graphite and then the water is 75 percent most of the water react nuclear reactors of the world based on what i said moderator is water graphite 20 percent 5 percent and the few it is beryllium and organic liquid so these are the moderators or shielding up already jante bahar se aapka concrete ka bana hua rehta hai अब एक आ जाता है जिसके बारे में आपको कूलेंट के बारे में यहां पर भी कूलेंट यहां से एनर्जी को कौन लेकर जाएगा पानी या हैवी वाटर या कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस या हीलियम यहां से हीट को लेकर जाएगा हीलियम एब्जॉर्ब या कभी कभी मोल्टेन सोडियम मेटल भी ले जाता है सोडियम मेटल लिक्विड सोडियम मेटल या लिक्विड लेड भी लेके जाएगा कौन कौन से यहां से हीट को लेकर जा रहा है टर्बाइन को रन करने की कोशिश करेगा यस टेल मी सो इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आई सेट दैट कौन कौन से लेकर जाएगा वाटर अगेन नॉर्मल वाटर नहीं डिस्टिल वाटर हैवी वाटर वहां से हीट को लेकर जाएगा टर्बाइन की तरफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हीलियम दीज आर द थिंग्स विच यू कैन बी एबल टू आई सेट दैट दीज आर द थिंग्स यू कैन बी एबल टू सी दैट वाटर हैवी वाटर जो कि स्टीम में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है हीलियम कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड मोल्टेन मेटल्स एंड मोल्टेन मेटल्स में मोल्टेन मेटल्स में विच आर देयर लेड एंड सोडियम सोडियम बेस्ट है लेड के कंपेरेटिव में लेड थोड़ा सा टॉक्सिसिटी बढ़ा देता है इट इट इज इंक्रीजिंग इट रेस्ट इट इज सिंपली वंस आई एम रिवाइजिंग विच आर द कॉम्पोनेट्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर एंड दीज न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स कॉम्पोनेट्स आर फर्स्ट वन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कंट्रोल रॉड्स मॉडरेटर्स जो कि रिड्यूसिंग स्पीड एन अदर डिज आई सेट दैट शील्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर देन यहाँ से मॉडरेटर्स के बाद जो हीट यूटिलाइज होता है तो कूलेंट उस हीट को ले लेता है एंड देयर आफ्टर टर्बाइन को रन करता है एंड देन जनरेटर सो कंट्रोलिंग रॉड्स बॉसी इंडियन कैट को ध्यान देती है सो बॉसी बोरॉन सिल्वर इंडियम कैडमियम एंड विच आर आई सेट दैट मॉडरेटर जो न्यूट्रॉन uh, की स्पीड को कम करेगा वाटर हैवी वाटर ग्रेफाइट लेकिन ग्रेफाइट सेकंड नंबर पे वाटर इज 75 परसेंट ग्रेफाइट 20 परसेंट एंड इंडिया एंड व्हाट आई सेड दैट हैवी वाटर 5 परसेंट इंडिया में हैवी वाटर एंड वाटर पे बेस्ड है रिमेंबर दैट इन इंडिया न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर बेस्ड ऑन वाटर एंड हैवी वाटर नॉट ग्रेफाइट रिमेंबर दैट नॉट ग्रेफाइट लेकिन ग्रेफाइट बेस्ड बनने जा रहा है जिसको हम लोग फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर कहेंगे सो आई सेड दैट वी हैव बीन एबल टू सी लाइक आई सेड दैट These are the uh, moderators, water, heavy water, graphite, and then coolant. कौन है जो कि यहाँ से produce heat को I said that carry करके लेके जाता है further. And these coolants are I said that वही पानी ले लो आप water, heavy water, and there could be I said that uh, which one gases में देखा जाए तो helium can take away carbon dioxide. Helium से better carbon dioxide को लिया जाता है. And uh, thereafter we have seen some molten metals and that is a liquid and Uh, sorry, uh, lead and sodium. These are in the molten form they carry. 
and already you know that about turbine and generator understood so we have been able to cover ab main thoda sa control rod ki or aata hu we have covered this components six components of what i said that uh, nuclear reactor perhaps you are enjoying ki kya hota hai nuclear reactor mein i said uh, components if i am talking about components of तो कंट्रोल रॉड्स में पहला फर्स्ट आई नीड जब भी न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन स्टार्ट होगा उस समय वी नीड मोर नंबर ऑफ वी नीड मोर नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स यस आपका भी दिमाग कहेगा कि मुझे न्यूट्रॉन ज्यादा चाहिए बॉम्बार्टमेंट के लिए यस आर नॉट और धीरे धीरे न्यूट्रॉन खत्म भी होते जाता है तो नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन इसका मतलब है कि फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन लॉस ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन और ये कब चाहिए व्हेन जब आपने न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन स्टार्ट किया एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ आपको उस समय तो इसका केस में क्या होना होगा आपको कंट्रोल रॉड को ज्यादा यूज कर लोगे तो नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स ज्यादा एब्जॉर्ब हो जाएगा तो मुझे लेस कंट्रोल रॉड्स को डालना होगा कंट्रोल रॉड विल बी लेस इनसाइड द चैम्बर सो कंट्रोल रॉड लेस इनसाइड चैम्बर अंडरस्टोर इट सेकेंड अब ये स्टार्टिंग में इट इज फॉर द इनिशिएटिंग द केमिकल न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन सेकेंड स्टेज में आ जाएगा कि मुझे न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन को कंटिन्यू करना है एंड इन दिस केस आई सेट दैट वॉट आई सेट दैट नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स फॉर्म्ड मस्ट बी इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स लॉस क्योंकि आप जब टकराने के बाद तो लॉस होता है और बनते रहता है तो दोनों एक एक बन रहा है एक एक लॉस हो रहा है यस तो यहां पे हमने क्या कर दिया एक बनना एक सो दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ और ये इट विल मेंटेन द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन ऑफ द रिएक्टर फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड मंथ्स एंड द इयर्स सो इट इज मेंटेनिंग नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स आई सेट दैट कंटिन्यू द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन क्लियर अब हमें किसी दिन होगा कि इसकी लाइफ जो है न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर की अभी इतनी ही है अब इसको मुझे बंद करना होगा लेकिन अच्छा ध्यान से देखेंगे अब यहां पे न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन है तो कंट्रोल रॉड्स को अब यहां पे क्या कर दिया फॉर्मेशन और लॉस तो थोड़ा सा कंट्रोल रॉड को और डाल दिया लिटिल कंट्रोल रॉड लिटिल मोर एंटर्ड इनसाइड जिससे कि अब यहां पे फर्स्ट स्टेज में द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन इज ग्रेटर देन लॉस तो उस समय एनर्जी की ज्यादा जरूरत थी स्टार्ट करने के लिए अब सेकेंड स्टेज में फॉर्मेशन इज इक्वल टू लॉस तो इसमें कंट्रोल को हमने थोड़ा ज्यादा डाल दिया कि फॉर्मेशन कम हो एंड जिस समय मुझे क्या करना होगा रिएक्टर्स को बंद करना है मुझे रिएक्टर दो कंडीशन में बंद होगा वन इट इज आई सेट लाइफ साइकिल हैज बिन when the reactor will stop the two condition when the life cycle has been i said that of this nuclear reactor is going to finish to hum wo a control rod pura dal denge aur neutrons pura absorb hoga nuclear reaction start hi nahi hoga kyunki bombardment nahi hoga but if i say that suppose kahin pe power failure ho gaya power failure ho gaya to mujhe yahan se supply rok dena hoga and thereafter us samay bhi main mujhe control rods ko under dalna hoga the two condition the nuclear reactor is going to i said that फ्रीसिंग हिज लाइफ और अनदर वी कैन बी एबल टू सी आई सेट दैट कहीं पर पावर फेलियर हो गया तो सडनली वी हैव टू पुट द न्यूक्लियर रॉड्स सप्लाई को रोक दे सो द थर्ड इट इज आई सेट दैट आई सेट दैट टू फॉर्मेशन इज स्टॉप्ड स्लोली फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स 
स्टॉप्ड यस आर नॉट यहां पे मुझे रोक देना है एंड देन इट विल बी आवर आवर व्हाट आई सेड दैट न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर बंद हो जाएगा हमारा अंडरस्टूड ध्यान से मेरे साथ बोलेंगे क्रिटिकल सुपर क्रिटिकल सब क्रिटिकल जब नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन और नंबर ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड लॉस इज सेम तो इसको बोलेंगे क्रिटिकल क्रिटिकल स्टेट और इफ आई से दैट नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स इज फॉर्मेशन इज लार्जर देन लॉस ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स तो इसको बोलेंगे सुपर क्रिटिकल स्टेट and that when the formation of number of neutrons is going to be finished it is a sub or very slow ho gaya formation electricity production bhi bahut kam ho jayega fir ruk jayega lagbhag and that is sub critical state perhaps you are able to understand what is happening in the control rods ka kya kaam hota hai starting mein wo super critical hota hai dheere fir uske baad lambe samay tak that it is producing keep on producing energy in the control manner critical state number of neutrons have formation and the loss is same continue the nuclear reaction reaction and sub critical state jab mujhe band karna hoga that is there ek word aata hai critical mass to hame yahi dekhna hai ki itna nuclear mass jo chain reaction ko nuclear reaction ko continue kar sake that is known as critical mass understood it so with the help of control rods you have been able to understand that four words one it is critical super critical critical and here it is sub critical and at the same time critical mass means a small amount of mass and the density uh, of nuclear fuel which is required to continue the or start the or continue the chain reaction so this is the critical mass we have been able to understand this one the next one it is we are going to see the nuclear fuel cycle we have to understand nuclear fuel cycle remember that after completing some portion of nuclear technology we'll also cover the police based question and i'll give some mains based question so and uh, i'll i have divided it to two section first we'll see the nuclear technology then we'll go for the second section may india and uh, world or and different organization first we'll cover the whole uh, understanding of i said that nuclear technology and all nuclear reactors several things nuclear fuel cycle मतलब कहाँ से फ्यूल आया और कैसे ख़त्म हो रहा है सारी चीज़ों को देखेंगे हम लोग कैसे कैसे न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल बनता है ये सारा चीज़ हमें देखना है फर्स्ट प्रोसेस में हम लोग जाएंगे दैट इज आई सेड दैट माइनिंग सो यू कैन बी एबल टू सी आल्सो हियर इट इज व्हाट आर द फाइव स्टेजेस माइनिंग माइलिंग वाट आर द फाइव स्टेजेस ऑफ न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल साइकिल mining mining enrichment reprocessing and fabrication mining mining yes mm do ho gaye fir uske baad enrichment reprocessing and uh, fabrication mining is there jisme hum log kya karenge ya to underground uranium is available we have to remove it and another it is a uh, ओपन कास्ट या ज्यादा ऊपर में रहेगा मिनरल्स दैन विल रिमूव बाई ओपन कास्ट ओपन रहेगा सो दिज आर द वे दैट वी कैन बी एबल टू माइंड द वॉट यूरेनियम एन अदर इट इज नॉट आई सेट दैट माइलिंग माइलिंग में क्या होगा जो यूरेनियम ओर है उसको क्या करेंगे क्रश क्रश करते ही वो येलो पाउडर बन जाता है यस येलो पाउडर में कन्वर्ट करना दैट इज मिस येलो केक कहा जाता है दिस इज नॉन एस 
सो so, माइनिंग में हमें क्या करना होगा यूरेनियम और जो है उसको क्रश करके उसमें से यूरेनियम के पाउडर को केक के रूप में दैट इज नॉन एज येलो केक एंड यस दिस येलो केक को थ्रू द सम सीरीज ऑफ रिएक्शन वी कन्वर्ट इन टू यूरेनियम हेक्सा फ्लोराइड यूरेनियम हेक्सा फ्लोराइड इसमें कन्वर्ट करना इट इज वेरी मच नेसेसरी इसके बगैर आगे में कुछ होगा नहीं सो पर हैव दीज आर द टू स्टेज ऑफ न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल साइकिल इज क्लियर टू यू द फर्स्ट इट इज माइनिंग द सेकेंड वन इट इज माइलिंग एंड इन द माइनिंग वॉट वी हैव डन वी हैव टू रिमूव एक्सट्रैक्ट यूरेनियम ओर और मिनरल्स फ्रॉम द अंडरग्राउंड इफ इट इज अवेलेबल इन द डीप और इफ इट इज अवेलेबल एट द टॉप दैन ओपन कास्ट माइनिंग में जो हमने यूरेनियम ओर निकाला दैट वी हैव टू क्रस इट and crush karke powder mein banta hai that is yellow in color that is yellow cake and thereafter that yellow cake co series of chemical reaction aise nahi banega it's directly series of chemical reaction it makes into uranium 6 ko bolte hain hexa fluoride uranium hexa fluoride so these are the two first steps the next one it is enrichment the third stage is what I, what i said that and enrichment ab yahan par ek bahut majedar and very interesting thing that you come to know about jab hum log uranium ore lete hain uranium ore nikalte hain to it is very इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू शुड नो देर इज ए यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव जो कि फिजनेबल है एंड देर इज ए यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट जो कि फिजनेबल नहीं है जिसको बाद में हम लोग डिके करके कन्वर्ट करते हैं प्लूटोनियम में यह जो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव है इट इज ओनली पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट अवेलेबल इन द अर्थ जब भी हम यूरेनियम निकालेंगे यदि हम सौ के यदि हम उसमें से मान लो कि एक के जी निकाले तो वेरी आप सोच सकते हैं कि वन के जी मीन थाउजेंड ग्राम उस थाउजेंड ग्राम्स में से आई सेट दैट वन पॉर्सेंट कितना होगा आप बताएं टेन ग्राम तो यदि मैंने सपोज करिए कि वन के जी थाउजेंड ग्राम मैंने वॉट आई हैव एक्सट्रेक्टेड यूरेनियम तो इसका वन पॉर्सेंट कितना होगा टेन ग्राम और यदि पॉइंट सेवन पोर्सन में लूंगा तो दैट इज आई सेट दैट सेवन ग्राम तो पूरे इस थाउजेंड ग्राम यूरेनियम जब निकालूंगा तो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव जो कि फिजनेबल है ओनली इट इज अवेलेबल पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट सो हेयर इट इज आई सेट दैट इट इज दिस इज योर थाउजेंड ग्राम एंड इन दिस थाउजेंड ग्राम में से फर्स्ट यूरेनियम और इज देयर वेन यू आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव एंड यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट बहुत आर देयर and in this 1.7% will be what i said there is in 235 i am not talking about 7% 0.7% 1% se bhi kam suppose maine 1 kg or that 1000 gram uranium nikala that, that is i said that 1% ka matlab hota 10 gram the 0.7% ka matlab kya hoga 7 gram to pure 1000 kg mein 1000 gram mein 7 gram hi hoga aur uranium 238 yadi 0.7% hata diya jaye to 90 9.3% क्या होगा यूरेनियम 238 अर्थात यू कैन बी एबल टू से दैट 993 ग्राम्स आपका वो होगा तो केवल मुझे यही एनर्जी देगा सो वी हैव बीन एबल टू सी लाइक आई सेड दैट व्हेन वी आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग नेचुरल यूरेनियम एंड इन द नेचुरल यूरेनियम इटिलाइजेबल जो हम लोग जिससे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पैदा कर सकते हैं एनर्जी वी कैन प्रोड्यूस दैट इज यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव इज ऑनली आई सेट दैट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट एंड रेस्ट इट इज कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी दैट इज नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट इसीलिए कुछ देर पहले मैंने अभी बताया था कि दिस इज अटाइल मेटेरियल और इट इज द लार्जेस्ट रिजर्व इन द वर्ल्ड तो यदि आप सोचो कि सात ग्राम ये है नौ सौ तिरानवे ग्राम तो विच इज द लार्जेस्ट वन यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव इज द लार्जेस्ट इन अमाउंट इन द अर्थ और यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट द लार्जेस्ट इन दर्थ सो नाउ द वट द वट इट इज इट हैज टू बी डन हमें इसको एनरिच करना है वॉट वी हैव टू डू एनरिच मीन्स वी हैव टू कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द परसेंटेज ऑफ यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव एक सिंपल लैंग्वेज में यू कैन बी एबल टू से दैट 
मेरे साथ बोलेंगे आई से द वन टू थ्री परसेंट थ्री टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी टू नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट विच आर द थ्री आई से वन टू थ्री परसेंट थ्री टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट and 20 more than 20% or better to say 20% to 99% if i am saying that this three stages i said uh, enrichment it means i said uh, slightly enriched uranium seu that is i said that 1 to 3% low and raised uranium means l eu 3 to 20% and then we have highly enriched uranium heu 20 to 99% or more than 20% so we have a three level of enrichment jaise suppose karo ki mere paas uranium hai aur channi se chhan kar फ्टर फिल्टरिंग गेट छन्नी से छान छान के यूरेनियम 235 को हमने कितना बना दिया वन टू थ्री परसेंट यूरेनियम 238 थर्टी एट रिड्यूस्ड अगेन छन्नी से छान छान के छन्नी से छान छान के वी कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द परसेंटेज ऑफ आई सेट दैट यूरेनियम 235 थर्टी फाइव हाउ मच इट बिकम थ्री टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड फॉर द री आई कीप ऑन डूइंग कीप ऑन डूइंग छन्नी से छान छान के फिल्टरिंग आउट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट इंक्रीजिंग द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ uranium 235 that is i said that this is 20 to 99% it is uranium 230 it is highly enriched uranium ab ye thoda sa main process samjha deta hu thoda sa ek idea aapke dimag mein aa jaye this enrichment can be done through the process of i said that uh, one gaseous diffusion and another one it is i said that centrifugal separator suppose karo ki hamare paas i said that uh, one uh, chamber is there suppose cylindrical chamber is there and this chamber this is the hole if you are able to see this is the aperture and it is turning and uh, this portion if i say that it is looking like this and in this chamber i diffused i said that the uranium and uh, and then it is rotating and if it is rotating then koi bhi rotating cheez kya karta hai yadi aap main ek dhage se pakad lunga and if i am making it to move the things will try to move away jo wahan bada hoga centrifugal force to aap ye mujhe batao is isme maine uranium 238 and uranium 235 dala dono mein halka kaun hai 235 aur bhari kaun hai to halki cheez jo hai wo dur bhag jayegi एंड देन भारी चीज इधर रह जाएगी तो यहां पर क्या रह जाएगा यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव यहां पर छोटे छोटे जाल बने हुए रहेंगे जाल का मतलब है कि आपका जब ये यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव बाहर निकले ऐसे रोटेट होते समय सेंट्रीफ्यूगल सेपरेटर आई सेट दैट सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स लगाकर सेपरेट करना है और इसके बाद हमने यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव को क्या कर लिया यहां निकाल लिया और परसेंटेज ऑफ यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव हमने वी हैव बीन एबल टू इनक्रीज so aap yaad rakhiyega through the diffusion and then centrifugal separator we are able to 
remove uranium-235 and increasing the concentration of uranium-235. This is the process we can be able to do. You simply say that you are running away, so one thing will run away and run away and run away. So it will be, I said that it will remove away and then it is started uh, is sticking inside the, what I said, that chote chote jaal hai, that is honey bee ke tarah jaal hote hai, usme ghus jane ke baad bahar nahi niklenge. So the uranium-235 is able to, what I said that, stick inside that. And, uh, and this is the process, hum log, mujhe aur jata chahiye ta, I'll do more. Slightly enriched uranium, it will be like this. Thoda sa karne ke baad, we can be able to get 1 to 3 percent. If I'll do much better and much better technology, if I need, I can be able to convert into low enriched uranium. And I need more money to do this. It's not an easy job. And thereafter, highly enriched uranium to 20 to 99%. So this is the enrichment we have to know. Now, if I have one to three percent uranium 235, then what can we do with this uranium? Say we can be able to do one. It is I said that. Uh, रिसर्च एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन में रिसर्च के लिए दैट यूरेनियम कैन बी यूटिलाइज्ड एजुकेशनल पर्पस मेडिसिन में इसके रेडिएशन को यूटिलाइज कर सकते हैं मेडिसिन एंड न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर में वेर आई कैन यूटिलाइज जस्ट टेल मी इन द न्यूक्लियर reactor is it okay so research education medicine and the nuclear reactor i can be able to utilize it because in this one i do not need high amount of it very less and you know that how much dangerous these are yadi mujhe bahut acha nuclear reactor chahiye that can produce more electricity to mujhe kya lena hai low enriched uranium and here it is i said that nuclear reactor so low enriched uranium, where the uranium-235 is 3 to 25 percent utilized in the, what I said that mostly in the nuclear reactor. And a highly enriched uranium, where the percentage of uranium-235, 20 or more, or 20, more than 20 up to the 99 percent, it can be, I said that weapons, we can make, it is in a weapon grade uranium, we can make atomic bomb. An atomic bomb ke liye mujhe kya chahiye uranium 235 more than 85 percent kisi mein. So it means I said that jitne bhi weapons defense sector mein if I am making the payload in the form of warhead a rocket jol if I am launching I said that uh, Brahmos and the Brahmos rocket ko edhi mein bhejta hoon so that is at the top of it there is I said that this is a warhead. यदि मैं यही सैटेलाइट भेजूंगा सैटेलाइट तो उसको ऊपर में बोलते हैं पे लोड बट हेयर इट इज नॉन एज वॉर हेड एंड वी कैन बी एबल टू हैव न्यूक्लियर सो न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स ग्रेड बनाने के लिए और एटॉमिक बॉम्ब बनाने के लिए वी नीड आई से दैट हाईली एनरिस्ट यूरेनियम सो विच आर द थ्री प्रोसेस वी हैव सीन एबल टू सी द फ्यूल साइकिल फर्स्ट वन आई सेट दैट फर्स्ट वन वी हैव सेट माइनिंग मुझे करना है वी हैव टू रिमूव एक्सट्रैक्ट माइलिंग माइलिंग मिस क्रसिंग and those crushed powder has to be converted into a yellow cake and then yellow cake has to pass through the different uh, chemical processes series of chemical process convert into uranium f6 uranium hexafluoride or isi uranium hexafluoride ko hum log kya karte hain yes and reach karte hain so yadi aap se kabhi pooch diya jaye which uh, uranium or which are the radioactive minerals are being i said that pass through enrichment that is a uranium hexafluoride understood it and there are the three types of enrichment, slightly enriched uranium, SEU, 1 to 3 portion, utilized in medicine, agriculture, uh, agriculture maybe, research maybe, and then nuclear reactors may thoda bahut utilize hota hai. Low enriched uranium, nuclear reactors, 30 to 20 percent, and highly enriched uranium, that is I said that uh, weapons, and I said that in the form of atomic bomb formation and all, and uh, how to do it, diffusion process, how to uh, separate, uh, uh, better to say, I said that uh, make a, in, a percentage of uranium-235 increases with the help of centrifugal separators. Understood it? It is in a very, I said that costly, uh, fair, uh, costly job and uh, to do this.
understood it so we have been able to see the third one is enrichment fourth is reprocessing thoda sa aap apne dimag mein lagaye this is i said that the re processing kela सपोज दिस इज द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर का एक चैम्बर था जहां पे आपका क्या था यूरेनियम फ्यूल एंड कंट्रोल रॉड्स आर देयर यस आर नॉट यहां पे यूरेनियम जो भी इनरिच था जो हम लोगों ने इसमें डाला सपोज आई हैव मेड एन यूरेनियम स्लाइटली एंड रेज यूरेनियम इस न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर में डाला दिस वेर इट इज थ्री परसेंट क्या रहेगा आपका यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव and then the 97% will be i said that uranium 238 ab yahan pe kya ho raha hai neutron bombardment isse it will produce energy and energy zyada nahi hoga some amount of energy will produce energy produced aur other neutrons jo ki fast honge uranium 235 ko todne ke liye neutrons ki speed fast honi chahiye slow honi chahiye Perhaps you remember that is thermal neutron, slow only should be. So there is a slow neutrons. But there will be, I said that some fast neutron will not stop its speed. And that uranium 238 will go and react with what? Which will not happen? Tell me, plutonium 239. This means that the neutron will react with the neutron. Plutonium 239. 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 अब ये सपोज करो इस 97 परसेंट में से आई हैव बीन एबल टू गेट आई सेट दैट सपोज 20 परसेंट प्लूटोनियम 239 हम लोग कन्वर्ट कर पाए क्योंकि जितनी एनर्जी रहेगी उतनी करेगा ये एंड रेस्ट आई सेट दैट 77 परसेंट हमारा क्या रहा यूरेनियम 238 तो ये आपका क्या हो गया फिजनेबल और ये आपका क्या है अनयूज यूरेनियम अभी भी यूरेनियम है यूरेनियम 238 ये मुझे इस चैम्बर में रहेगा जैसे न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर स्टॉप होगा क्योंकि ये 3 परसेंट को इसके बाद एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस नहीं करेगा इसी में से वॉट एवर दूट्रॉन्स विल बी देयर फास्ट उससे मैं यूरेनियम 238 को प्लूटोनियम 239 में कन्वर्ट करूंगा ना हाउ मच इट इज एबल टू कन्वर्ट ट्वेंटी परसेंट रेस्ट सेवेंटी वो यूरेनियम टू रह जाएगा इन दोनों को सेपरेट करना सेपरेट करने के लिए यूरेनियम ऑक्साइड डाला जाता है एंड वी आर एबल टू सेपरेट सो व्हाट इज द रीप्रोसेसिंग विद यूरेनियम ऑक्साइड और ये क्या है स्पेंट फ्यूल इसको क्या बोलूंगा मैं दिस फ्यूल इज व्हाट यूटिलाइज हो चुका है उसके बाद बाहर निकला है तो विद यूरेनियम ऑक्साइड आउट ऑफ स्पेंट फ्यूल separating fissionable and unused fissionable ko separate karna hai kyunki isi fissionable ko fir hum log agle stage ke liye utilize kar lenge hamare paas bana banaya mil gaya yes or not india isiliye to bol raha hai bahut dimag laga raha hai वो ये नहीं बोल रहा है इसी का कचड़ा दूसरे ये कचड़े में कन्वर्ट नहीं होने जा रहा है क्योंकि इसमें फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन मेंटेन कर रहा है जिससे इट इज एबल टू कन्वर्ट इनटू व्हाट फिजनेबल यूरेनियम तो यही एक बहुत बड़ी खासियत है जो देश दुनिया दूसरी जगह नहीं हो रहा है इट इज इंडिया इज डूइंग दिस वन कचड़े को भी फ्यूल में कन्वर्ट कर रहा है आई सेट दैट ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्लूटोनियम एंड द रेस्ट इट इज देयर इसको सेपरेट कर लेना फिर इसको आगे दोबारा हम यूज करेंगे जिससे कि फिर दोबारा हम लोग वी कैन बी एबल टू गेट प्लूटोनियम सो आई सेट दैट दिस मैथड ऑफ सेपरेशन इज नोन एज री प्रोसेसिंग अंडरस्टूड इट तो री प्रोसेसिंग क्या है विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूरेनियम ऑक्साइड आउट ऑफ स्पेंड फ्यूल 
separate, fissionable and unused. Understood it? So this is the reprocessing. What are the fuel cycles of the five stages? Four stages we have done. And then first is mining. Mining, you know, open cast and all. And underground. And thereafter, we have been able to see that it is uh, another method. It is miling. Miling, we have to do across the uranium ore and converting into, I said, the yellow powder in yellow cake. For the yellow cake, ko hum log kya karte hain? uranium hexafluoride EF6 may convert karte hain. that is the mining process. Uske baad aajata hai enrichment process aur aapko mene bataya ki when I natural uranium jo yellow cake jo bhi hai, is may, I said that 0.7% is uranium-235 and 99.3% is uranium-238. It is not going to be, it is a fertile, not feasible. So this is not the good. Then what the India is doing with the help of the diffusion process and uh, I said that with the help of uh, uh, centrifugal separators, we keep on increasing the percent concentration of uranium-235. If the uranium-235 is 1 to 3 percent, it is known as slightly enriched uranium or is education may, research may, we can be able to see in the medicine, agriculture, because medicine, medicine may be hume, jase cancer related diseases are there that we are able to utilize and thereafter in the small amount in the nuclear reactor. Thereafter coming of low enriched uranium that is 3 to 20 percent. Yahan pe hum low is liye bhi rakh rahe hain 3 to 25 percent, 6 percent, 10 percent yadhi hum kar rahe hain. This ka madlab ki hum aapare chamber, kyunki aap jitna jada enriched uranium use karenge, utni heat produce hogi aur chamber utna hi garam hoga. To yadhi garam hoga, to aap socho ki humare chamber ko bardaas karne laik bhi hona chahiye. To hum jada as jada nuclear reactor mein maximum nahi daal sakte, we can never put so we can be able to see, like I said, that uranium-235, 3 to 20 portion utilized, we can be able to utilize to produce electricity. And thereafter, nuclear reactor, 3 to low enriched uranium. And then there is a highly enriched uranium, 20 percent to 99 percent utilized in the atomic bomb. And I said that uh, weapons grade uranium is this. And I said that, uh, what is the meaning of reprocessing? Reprocessing with the help of uranium oxide, uh, converting a spent fuel into fissionable, separating and unused. And I showed it. So this is the reprocessing. And the next is fuel fabrication. Fuel fabrication. If I am talking about fuel fabrication, आप देख रहे थे chamber है chamber में एक ये है जिसमें कि आपके nuclear rod होंगे और ऊपर से आपको क्या दिखता है there is I said that controlling rod जितना अंदर डालेंगे कम डालेंगे तो ज़्यादा न्यूट्रॉन बनेगा यहाँ तक आ गया तो न्यूट्रॉन फॉर्मेशन एंड न्यूट्रॉन लॉस विल बी द सेम एंड ज़्यादा डाल देंगे तो फिर न्यूट्रॉन फॉर्मेशन होगा नहीं तो न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन स्टार्ट नहीं होगा दिस इज योर व्हाट आई सेड दैट यूरेनियम रॉड यूरेनियम रॉड बनाने के लिए क्या करना होता है जो हमारे पास छोटे छोटे पैलेट्स होते हैं यूरेनियम के यूरेनियम टू को उसको मुझे एक रॉड में कन्वर्ट करने के प्रोसेस को क्या बोलते हैं फ्यूल फैब्रिकेशन कन्वर्टिंग स्मॉल पैलेट्स ऑफ uranium in the form of rod nuclear rod it is known as fuel fabrication ab hamara nuclear rod ban gaya hai ab yahan se dobara is isme se spent mein se dobara niklega hume nuclear fuel usme se dobara uranium 235 ke us karenge puri cycle dobara chalegi to ye nuclear fuel cycle is there and it is involving mining miling and uh, it is I said uh, uh, enrichment and the three types of enrichment and it is uh, first one it is slightly enriched uranium, low enriched uranium and highly enriched uranium and uh, reprocessing with the help of uranium oxides we are converting uh, spent fuel makes a fissionable nikalna and uh, I said um, uh, unused nikalna and thereafter fabrication means with the help of finally uranium jo mila usse control rod banana. So, this process hai, this is the nuclear fuel cycle. So, the next we are going to see the types of nuclear reactor. So, student, uh, after watching nuclear fuel cycle, 
nuclear fuel cycle related concepts that is mining, miling, mining you know that it is extraction, miling you know that it is a crushing converting into uh, I said that powder that is yellow powder and that is yellow cake and yellow cake has to convert into through the chemical reactions series of chemical reaction into uranium hexa uh, fluoride and thereafter there is an enrichment enrichment we have to I said that with the help of centrifugal separator and the diffusion we have to enrich because the generally natural uranium has only 0.7 percent uranium 235 and 99.3 percent is I said that uranium 238 which is not fissionable only 0.7 percent is fissionable. So with the help of uh, I said that separator and uh, centrifugal separator and diffusion we used to enrich it. So when it is enriched 1 to 3 percent it is considered as I said that slightly enriched uranium and it is utilized in the agriculture, medicine, research and even the nuclear reactor. Because you know that uh, uh, in the nuclear reactor we do not need to use more of neutron because uh, more of uh, enriched because it can be able to produce lots of energy. So that is slightly enriched uranium it is also ha a, are able to uh, produce uh, electricity. So after that there is a low enriched uranium in the low enriched uranium if we have I said um, uh, 30 to 20 percent uranium 235 and it is utilized for nuclear reactor and the next one it is uh, highly enriched uranium that is 20 percent or more better to say 20 percent to 90 per 9 percent this is the range of 1 to 99 percent is the range of I said enrichment and the 20 to 99 percent it is lies for the weapon, weapon grade um, uh, uranium it is considered as and it is also for the making it atomic bomb if it is I said that more than uh, 85 percent. Thereafter, it is coming of reprocessing and the reprocessing I said that it is a separation through the chemical reaction separating uh, I said uh, fissionable and un unused uh, from the spent fuel and thereafter uh, uh, fuel fabrication means mujhe rod banana hota we have to make the uranium rod fabrication mein uranium rod and that uranium rod uh, with the help of uranium oxide I have to make a small small pellets that we uh, of uranium has to be made at one point with the help of uranium oxide that is in a uranium fuel rod it is their fabrication fuel fabrication. Now the after understanding all these concepts uh, nuclear fission and then other concepts related to then thereafter understanding the components of nuclear reactors and thereafter understanding I said that fuel cycle next it is a types of nu uh, nuclear reactor mostly uh, which is I said that. Uh, right now in the different parts of the world and the major uh, nuclear reactors we have I said that these are the two pressurized water uh, reactor and then uh, here it is I said boiling water reactor. This pressurized water reactor and boiling water reactor both are based on only water not normal water but I have to say water and thereafter this one is pressurized heavy water reactor it is based on I said that heavy water understood these are two are based on water. Ek mein water pressurized group mein hai, ek mein water boiling group mein hai. And then on the basis of water, these are the two on the basis of heavy water, pressurized heavy water. And on the basis of I said that gas based, there is a gas cooled reactor or it is also known as advanced gas cooled reactor. And this is in a fast breeder reactor and this is a liquid metal fast breeder reactor in which sodium or maybe in a molten uh, I said that uh, lead is utilized as an equivalent. So on the basis of um, uh, coolant that its name is understood it. So uh, in India this is a pressurized heavy water reactor is the first stage and the second stage is the liquid metal fast breeder reactor. So ye do reactor stage 1 or it is a stage 2 but we have to do all this but India has also boiling water at present India has this too. So first we will have to see like I said that what are the I said that nuclear reactors which are we have. So on the basis of. Uh, water not normal water but I said that it is in a more of distilled it is one it is uh, I said that uh, pressurized water reactor and another it is boiling water reactor. Kill up. These are the two on the basis of water, pressurized water reactor and uh, boiling water reactor and another it is on the basis of heavy uh, water that is as to on the basis of uh, heavy water that is deuterium oxide 
we have I said that pressurized heavy water reactor and this is on the basis of I said that uh, Canada based uh, mechanism and uh, reactor that is therefore it is an also considered as a Kandu understood and uh, India has uh, uh, we will talk about this one is there and uh, then other and it is I said that uh, gas based if you will say that it is uh, gas can be helium gas can be uh, what I said that carbon dioxide this two can be there yes gas based uh, and it is again coolant coolant may you utilize uske basis speeds ka naam hai and that is I said that uh, gas cooled reactor or advanced gas cooled reactor so this is I said that uh, gas based reactor it can be utilized it can utilize carbon dioxide or helium but based one it is what carbon dioxide thereafter we have I said that uh, liquid metal coolant may kya rahega? yes instead of helium and carbon dioxide coolant may kya hoga? liquid metal so liquid metal fast breeder reactor so these are the major five types of uh, reactor generally reactor ka, uh, the nomenclature of the reactor based on I said that possibility on the basis of uh, moderator sometimes it is based on I said that uh, um, we can say uh, it can be based on uh, coolant or generally aap ye sab jo naam dekh rahe hai, coolant ke basis per dekh rahe hai, coolant or moderator ke naam par hai, these are the names are there so now if I have to talk about India's first stage is this one I am just trying to I am not getting into the first uh, the different three stages of the nuclear reactor of India the, but aapko yaad rahe pressurized heavy water reactor is I said that first stage of India and this is the liquid metal and uh, I have said that it is uh, two types and it is in a sodium metal molten metal and it can be of uh, lead I said that uh, molten and uh, generally we used to take this one understood it liquid sodium and uh, these are the types of reactors and here it is gas cooled and here it is based on heavy water it is uh, pressurized heavy water reactor and then there it is I can say that pressurized water reactor and boiling water reactor now ab main thoda sa kuch batane ja raha hu ki india mein kaun kaun se reactors mostly hain thoda sa aap, aapko kyun yaad rakhna hoga one it is a pressurized heavy water reactor this is pressurized heavy water reactor mostly india has this one and one it is I said that boiling water reactor India has right now these two types of nuclear reactor pressurized heavy water reactor and boiling water reactor will you remember and uh, that India is moving towards this fast breeder reactor and the third stage we'll also discuss Kitty up. so this is I said that on the land but uh, this is the pressurized water reactor jo hai pressurized third one if it I said that pressurized water reactor it takes very small space Therefore, we are utilizing this uh, producing energy or electricity for uh, in the submarine. So, we are in the Aryanth, we are using this uh, as a reactor, pressurized water reactor because it takes very small space. So, pressurized water reactor that we are using in uh, what I said that our submarine. Yes, and here it is I said that pressurized heavy water reactor and boiling water reactor jo aapne kai hamare different parts of india mein hai hum log dekhenge yehi wale rahenge so ab hum log dekhne ja rahe hai how do they function so the first one uh, kaun kaun sa reactor hai based on water simple pressurized water reactor boiling water reactor based on heavy water pressurized heavy water reactor or based on gas gas cooled reactor and uh, based on metal that is i said that uh, liquid metal fast breeder reactor yahan pe breeder karne ka matlab hai ki transmutation yahan par aapko transmutation hoga that we'll understand how and you can be easily understand that so these are the five types of reactors that we have to see nuclear reactor you basically can ask the different types of important uh, uh, reactors and uh, 
which are at present India is using. India is using uh, boiling water reactor, pressurized heavy water reactor, mostly pressurized. And uh, that it is, uh, I mean, 2020 may possibility is there. If fast builder reactor, it will come liquid metal. Or it's called simple fast builder reactor, be it is considered as or uh, said as. So, or coming time may third stage, it will also come. So, what, is the pros what are the prospects of the different, uh, what are the prospect of different types of uh, fast builder reactor in India and discuss its types. As a question asked in the miss. So, first one we have to see like I said that water based and in the water based first we have to see I said that uh, pressurized water reactor. Okay. In short, we can say PWR. And uh, in the pressurized water reactor, here we can say uh, in the pressurized water reactors, this is I said that the structure it is for the pressurized water reactors. Just a uh, few uh, minutes before, I have discussed about it. This is a pressurized water reactor. Understood? Can you see that there are the two loops are there? Lekin chalte hai, ab hum log kya dekhte hai? There is an I said that is me uranium cons hai. So first we have to see fuel kya hai. Type, hum ne dekha, what is the type? Type is pressurized water reactor. And uh, the next one we have to see what is the fuel? Fuel is enriched uranium. We are not using uh, natural uranium because natural uranium has, I said that, uh, some uh, U-235 is very less and then there is a U-238 is very high in amount. So fuel is enriched uranium. The third one, fuel bhi ho gaya. Ab usi chamber mein aap kya dekhenge? Controlling rods. Control rods. Aap thoda sa yaad karein kya hamne bataya tha? Control rods mein. Koon control karta hai? I said that bossy Indian cat, the boron, silver, indium, cadmium or we are using here it is I said that what? Boron. Understood it? And uh, yaad karna hai, it is not necessary. Hum dono hi water mein boron hi controlling rod hoga, enriched uranium dono mein hi hoga. And thereafter, if I am talking about what is moderator, jo ki neutron ko speed ko kam karega and then uh, we can be able to say that uh, it is uh, uh, low pressure water yes, uh, sorry high pressure pressurized water reactor hai isme pressure mein hum log water reactor rakhenge and there is a coolant is also there jo ki heat ko carry lekar ka jayega coolant and the coolant is also high pressure water so perhaps this is the type we have been able to see, fuel we have to see and then uh, control rod, moderator, coolant that we have been able to see here it is. Okay, and uh, important part of this, it, there will be in a two loops, there will be in a first, this is the, uh, this is the, I said that the primary loop and here it is what, secondary loop or you can say that there is in a cycle or circle you can also say that the two circles so there is an i said that uh, two loops better to say how many loops two loops ab thoda sa main boiling pe aata hu thoda sa boiling aur pressure ki baat mein aata hu thoda i said that uh, jaise jaise this is your mountainous region and we are living at uh, sea level suppose mumbai or may hopper ya hopper if I'll say that ya hopper there is an one atmospheric pressure and as we will go above that atmospheric pressure become I said that that the six kilometer right half atmospheric pressure or upper jayenge to atmospheric pressure keeps on what is at 10 kilometer height it is one third atmospheric pr pressure as a maraqoi mountain ni hota lekin may ye keh raun ki with increasing height the pressure decreases yes or not amount of air is less because the earth has what the Jaise jaise mupar jayenge to earth has less gravity to less amount of air will be there. With increasing height the am amount or density of air will decrease. Now I said that yaha par one atmospheric pressure hai. Suppose karo ki mein yaha par paani garam kar raha hai. If I am hitting the water and I have to boil it. Jab mein water ko heat karunga I will give the heat to the water. 
एंड स्लोली एंड स्लोली वाटर विल गेट वॉट इज वार्म एनफ और इसकी वेपर बाहर आना चाहेगी लेकिन साथ साथ में इट्स अ वेपर प्रेशर साथ साथ में बाहर से एटमोसफेयर से वॉट इज देयर एटमोसफेरिक प्रेशर आउटसाइड इज पुटिंग एटमोसफेरिक प्रेशर नीचे से पानी बोलता है मैं बाहर आना चाहता हूँ दैट इज एन वेपर प्रेशर एंड इज एन एटमोसफेरिक प्रेशर तो यहाँ पे वाटर जो बॉइलिंग होती है इट इज एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस एट वॉट टेम्परेचर इट इज बॉइलिंग मतलब ये तब जब तक कि 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस अपने टेम्परेचर नहीं ले लेगा तब तक ये बॉयल नहीं होगा सो हेयर इट इज बॉइलिंग एट 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस लेकिन एज आई एम गोइंग हायर हाइट्स द प्रेशर डिक्रीज एंड आई एम गिविंग द सेम वाटर टू बी हीट अब ऊपर से प्रेशर कम है तो ऑटोमेटिकली वाटर जल्दी बॉयल होगा तो यहाँ पर पॉसिबिलिटी देर सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस पे वाटर विल स्टार्ट बॉयलिंग एंड यहाँ पे और भी बाहर का प्रेशर क्या हो गया एटमोसफेरिक प्रेशर इज वेरी लेस तो हमें थोड़ा सा ही देंगे दैट फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस पर ही वॉट कैन बी पॉसिबिलिटी देयर इट्स नॉट एन एग्जैक्ट नंबर बट आई एम सेइंग दैट विद इंक्रीजिंग हाइट प्रेशर डिक्रीजेज देयर फॉर द बॉइलिंग टेम्परेचर इज ऑल्सो डिक्रीजिंग इसका मतलब यहाँ का वाटर फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर रख सकता है यहाँ का वाटर कितना रख सकता है सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस यहाँ का वाटर कितना टेम्परेचर रख सकता है हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस बट यदि मैं प्रेशर यहाँ पे वन एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर है सपोज इफ आई से दैट वन कंटेनर इफ आई एम सेइंग देर इज न 150 एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर सोचो 158 इसका मतलब है कि ये 400 500 डिग्री सेल्सियस का टेम्परेचर का ये पर बॉयल होगा इफ द प्रेशर इज मोर हेयर द प्रेशर इज मोर 158 फिफ्टी एटमोसफेरिक प्रेशर हेयर द वन एटमोसफेरिक प्रेशर वट इज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस शायद आपको समझ में आ चुका है कि प्रेशर कम होता जाएगा तो बॉयल टेम्परेचर बॉइलिंग टेम्परेचर भी क्या होता जाएगा कम लेकिन प्रेशर बढ़ता चला जाएगा तो बॉइलिंग टेम्परेचर भी बढ़ता चला जाएगा तो यहां पे बॉइलिंग टेम्परेचर प्रेशर हमने अपने तरफ से ज्यादा बना दिया दैट बिकम्स व्हाट 400 डिग्री सेल्सियस मे बी तो इसका कहने का मतलब यह कि यदि हम प्रेशराइज वाटर रिएक्टर रखेंगे यहां पर वाटर रिएक्टर है प्रेशराइज वाटर रिएक्टर इतना समझ में आ गया इसका मतलब है कि जब हम लोग प्रेशर में वाटर को रखेंगे तो ही कैन एब्जॉर्ब मोर टेम्परेचर यस आर नॉट प्रेशराइज वाटर रिएक्टर कैन Absorb more heat inside it. Getting my point? Maybe 400, maybe 500 degrees Celsius. क्योंकि हमने प्रेशर दे दिया है Perhaps it is clear to all of you. So the now, what I said that again pressurized water reactor. क्या है Simply, what is the? It is PWR. Fuel is enriched uranium. Control rod is boron. Moderator is high pressure water. Coolant is high pressure water. Two loops. And uh, I'll say that this is the uh, what I said. I'm saying very slowly, and आप लोग जरोक रोक कर अपने videos को notes भी अपना best बना सकते हैं. I said that this is pressurized water reactor. This is your first primary loop, and here it is secondary loop. Understood it? In the primary loop, this is I said that chamber, the reactor vessel, जिसमें reactor है. In this one, first it is I said that uranium fuel, and which uranium fuel? Enriched uranium, two th uranium two thirty five. And uh, I said that uh, in this one there is a controlling rod, which one boron. Or you see, me, we have written moderator. What is written? High pressure water. Coolant is what? High pressure water. And it can. When, as the reactor starts giving heat, moderator has reduced its speed. Understood? It reduces its speed. Pressurized water reactor. And this pressurized water reactor is absorb more heat inside. Or as the more heat inside the primary loop, this is pressurizer, which is pressurizer making pressure. And here it is. I said that moving into this, then another it is a chamber. जब ये 400, 500 degree Celsius का pipe जा रहा है, and uh, what will happen? And this water is passing through this. In the contact of this, this water will convert into easily steam. So can I say that it is in a steam generator chamber? And it is in a secondary loop. And from the steam generator gen uh, chamber, it is passing steam, and it is helping running the turbine. And the turbine is able to produce what electricity. So simple, very simple. Pressurized water reactor. What is pressurized water reactor? I said that it is an enriched uranium. It has, I said that boron as controlling rod. It has an a coolant or moderator. Both are pressurized water. Or, as I said, here reaction start hua, start giving heat. But the pressurized water reactor, you know that uh, at pressure it is able to absorb the heat uh, at very high temperature till the. And then it is high temperature in the primary loop. Thereafter, it goes into. I said that there is a secondary loop is there, and this is a steam generator, and it is able to produce uh, what is steam and running the turbine and producing electricity. Or here, steam. 
so here it is uh, this uh, steam is going into the condenser and in the condenser it is uh, steam converted into by cooling it converted into i said water again it comes this is the secondary loop here it is now the pressurized water reactor has some uh, i said that advantages and some disadvantages so try to remember that and by stopping the video that you can also write so i have said that uh, this pressurized water reactor it is the first one it is i said that taking very small area and due to the taking very small area you can be able to say like i said that uh, it can be i said that established inside the what is our, our submarine arihant so we are utilizing this pressurized water reactor in our arihant and thereafter uh, we can say that uh, suppose in this one uh, there it is a uh, hotness this hotness is who is carrying coolant of who is the coolant coolant pressurized water who is the coolant the cold coolant hi jo hota hai heat ko lekar jata hai that this coolant is carrying here it is the heat is producing moderator is uh, reducing the speed and the coolant is carrying the i said that heat and this high pressure water coolant and uh, it is carrying the heat and here it is coming so this coolant can have uh, what i said that uh, some radioactive minerals लेकिन ये दोबारा ये वापस इधर ही आ रहा है तो इट मींस दिस रेडिएक्टिव मिनरल्स इज नॉट एबल टू गो टुवर्ड्स आई सेड दैट दिस टरबाइन यदि सपोज करो यहां से डायरेक्टली टरबाइन की ओर जाए तो थोड़ा सा इसमें रस्टिंग का प्रॉब्लम कर सकता है इट कैन बी डैमेज ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम लेकिन ये रेडिएक्टिव मिनरल्स आर कमिंग बैक टू दिस सो इट मींस आई सेड दैट द टरबाइन इज वेरी सेफ इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी आई सेड दैट रेडिएक्टिव मिनरल अफेक्टेड बाय रेडिएक्टिव मिनरल्स another one it is i said that there is in a boron the boron can have an a boric acid can form it can causes also rusting to the turbine if it is directly connected understood it so this is i said that advantage advantage it can it is taking small space therefore it is utilized in the submarines and another one it is i said that uh, not able to carry uh, radioactive minerals towards the turbine boric acids are not able to go to the turbine to and there of rusting but if it is the pressure is if i have said that 158 like this so this kind of i said that chamber should be very strong high steel strength full should be there so that it will make it very i said that uh, costly affair so on the basis of that this is only costly where here we have seen that what uh, pressurized water reactor so the next one we have to see the i said that uh, boiling water reactor aur ek bar aap dekh bhi sakte hain here it is what are the advantages uh precise water turbine cycle loop is separate from the primary loop there are the two loops are there primary loop and secondary loop usi karan se transfer nahi ho pa raha so that the water in the secondary loop is not contaminated by the radioactive material so yahan par aap you can be able to see that it is not contaminated because of i said that yahan se radioactive minerals idhar hi aa ja rahe it is not able to contaminate this turbine so therefore this is the advantage of it another and uh pressurized water reactor technology is favored by the nation seeking to develop in a nuclear navy and the compact reactors fit well in the nuclear submarine and other nuclear ships so therefore it is utilized in this way it is in the and the pressurized uh, disadvantage uh, the pressurized components are needed so its construction is expensive pressurized water rahega to simply uh, that contained container should be i said that very strong fuel used must be enriched which increases the cost aur yahan par hum log enriched fuel utilize kar rahe hain not the natural kyunki natural marine process bhi hoga to enrichment is in a costly affair enrichment karke fir hum log isme dal rahe hain so it is an again costly so these are the i said the advantage and disadvantage the next one we are going to see the boiling water reactor and uh, simply yahan se hum log ek cheez nikalenge and uh, this is a pressurized water reactor ki jagah hum log what i'll write i'll write boiling वाटर रिएक्टर पर हैव दिस कांसेप्ट इज क्लियर जैसे जैसे प्रेशर लो होता चला जाएगा एंड हियर विल से द व्हाट इज द टाइप बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर द फ्यूल इज एंड रिच यूरेनियम कंट्रोल रॉड इज बोरॉन एंड सिंपली हम लोग बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर हम लोग ले रहे हैं इट इज अ लो प्रेशर मॉडरेटर एंड देन कूलेंट इज लो प्रेशर वाटर एंड देयर विल नॉट बी एनी टू लूप्स रेस्ट इट इज सेम और यहां पे जो हम लोग प्रेशर देंगे कम कर देंगे इसका हाफ हो जाता है 75 around 75 atmospheric pressure so very less and uh, now the let us see the boiling water reactor and the boiling water reactor is what i said that and in the world maximum 
most of the water reactors of the world is boiling water reactor whether it is japan whether it is uh, us whether it is uh, uk and most of the country has boiling water reactor and perhaps you remember what is the important points regarding it it's what is the type boiling water reactor what is the fuel i said that andrews uranium control rod boron moderator low pressure water and ahead is coolant kyunki mujhe boil jaldi karna hai so here we have an i said that uranium rods aur yahan par bombardment hua in neutron say is producing electricity and controlling rod maintain kar raha kitna neutron hona chahiye and thereafter moderator is me you know that light wa low pressure water and uh, moderator reduces the speed and then it is uh, able to produce electricity uh, energy heat and this heat goes into the coolant of coolant is also low pressure water to so low pressure pe jaldi boiling hoga yes or not remember that high pressure pe temperature boiling point can go to 400 500 and low pressure pe aap jante ho ki jaldi wo boiling ho jayega so it is not able to sustain it is not able to absorb such a high heat at a low lesser uh, heat per he start boiling and it will convert into steam so this i said that coolant has been converted into steam directly and it is in a only one loop is there and this uh, steam goes to the what i said that turbine and then turbine running and thereafter the running turbine able to with the help of generator move karega armature and able to produce electricity but after that this steam comes here again the condenser similar way and this cold water again come back and it is passing through this so this is your boiling water reactor simple what are there i said the type boiling water reactor its fuel is enriched uranium and uh, what is the controlling node boron and then uh, coolant and moderator both are light water low, low pressure water and the coolant uh, and uh, this uh, moderator are low pressure water yahan pe heat generated hota hai coolant is carrying and directly coming to the turbine and producing electricity iska ek impact ye hai ki this i said that uh, iske liye we do not need i said that chamber and then this vessels it should not be very strong because mujhe pressurizer pressurizer nahi chahiye kyunki pichle wale mein aapne dekha pressurized water reactor tha saath mein aapne dekha the steam generator isse bhi cost badh jata hai in the pressurized water reactor yahan pe there is no need of what i said that pressurizer ek to wahan se cost kam ho gaya second one i said that there is no steam generator if you can be pressurized water reactor me feel say that uh, there is an which one a steam generator yes or not that it is again the hum log steam generator nahi automatically yahan par low pressure water use kar rahe hain to automatically it is directly converting into the steam so the, the two way we reduce the cost of boiling water second it is not pressurized we are not using pressurizer we are not using steam generator but at the same time it is i said that pressurizer pressurized water nahi hai to iska matlab hai iske jo container hai they should not be highly strengthful as the pressurized water reactor again we are reducing the cost of boiling water nuclear reactor and now here the steam goes and turbine and then it is this way so we therefore due to the reduced cost of boiling water reactor the most of the world has what i said that or iske chances bhi bahut kam hai leakage hone ke liye pressurizer jahan hota hai pressurized water will be there the chance of leakage will be there the most of the time therefore there is i said that the containers are i said that what and uh, different uh, chambers and vessels are i said that not made of the two strong so the cost is very less so on the basis of three which are the three i said that and uh, there is no use of pressurizer there is no use of what i said that pressurizer steam generator or strength vessels nahi chahiye ye teeno nahi chahiye that is reducing the cost yes or not and uh, therefore we can be able to see like uh, yahan se aise ja raha hai isliye mostly world mein ye boiling water reactor hai हमारे इंडिया में भी आई सेड दैट वी हैव आल्सो बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर एंड नाउ द इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज देयर कि यहां से जो रेडियोएक्टिव मिनरल्स विल गो इनटू द कूलेंट इट विल कैन इट कैन अफेक्ट द टरबाइन यस आर नॉट सो कंटान इट देयर इज अ कंटामिनेशन ऑफ टरबाइन बिकॉज़ ऑफ द रेडियोएक्टिव मिनरल्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम द बोरिक एसिड व्हिच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम देयर इट कैन आल्सो कॉजेस रस्टिंग तो इन द फ्यूचर देयर कैन बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस सेक्शन टू बी लुक्ड आफ्टर so we have been able to see how do the i said that uh, this boiling water reactor is working so we have done the on the basis of water which one pressurized water reactor and uh, boiling water reactor in the vessels naval ships in our submarine aryanth we are using pressurized water reactor boiling water reactor most of the reactors in india and the world it is boiling water reactor the next one that we are going to see 
प्रेसराइज हैवी वॉटर रिएक्टर it is a design of canada it is also known as kandu and it is our india's stage 1 program stage 1 mein that we are using there that is what is the type simply aise hi bina bol dekhe bol sakte hai aap pressurized heavy water reactor isme fuel kya use ho raha hai yes fuel is not enriched but it is natural uranium What is the meaning of natural uranium? There will be. I said that uranium 235. How much? Some in the percentage we will put and 0.7 uh, percent. And there will be. I said that U 238. It is fertile. It is fissile. Control rod is there and their moderator may kya rahega? Simple, pressurized, heavy water, and coolant will be also pressurized. heavy water and uh, if i can be able to here we have a pressurized heavy water reactor you know that one thing is there hamare paas uranium kam hai we have less uranium uranium 235 लेस इन तो ओवरऑल यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव यदि यूरेनियम ही कम है तो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव भी कम होगा हमें ट्राई करना है कि यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट को किस में कन्वर्ट कर दे प्लूटोनियम में इसलिए हम लोगों ने नेचुरल यूरेनियम ले लिया और प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर वी हैव टेकन प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर आई सेट दैट it can have i said that slow neutrons and also fast neutrons why i said that uh, pressurized heavy water moderator under the high pressure it is able to produce produce slow neutron that is a thermal neutron and then there is an also fast neutron the slow neutron will uh, break the uranium 235 to produce energy in the form of mega electron volt and this uh, fast neutron will be able to disintegrate uranium 238 and convert into plutonium which can be utilized further in the next stage so yahan se we started producing our what i said that yes tell me for the fuel for the next stage Another point: pressurized heavy water reactor. Pressurized है तो it can hold high temperature. Boiling जल्दी नहीं होगा. It can hold very high temperature. And pressurized water reactor से भी ज़्यादा hold करेगा temperature, high heat. तो इसके लिए the structure is like I said that there are several pressure tubes. 306 pressure tubes are there. And in the each pressure tubes there is an I said that uh, fuel rods are there. and there is an a pressurized heavy water reactor as an what moderator or pressurized heavy water moderator kya kar raha hai uranium 238 se energy and uranium 238 kis mein convert ho raha hai plutonium mein to baithe baitha hai hame enrichment karna hi nahi pad raha hai meri baat samajh rahe hain aap we are not to do enrichment because enrichment is a costly process jo ki abhi maine bataya tha diffusion and then there is an a centrifugal separator and yahan pe automatically we are able to make fuel 
इंडियन गवर्नमेंट से जो हमारे साइंटिस्ट से ये पूछा गया कि वॉट टू डू आप बेटर है कि एनरिज यूरेनियम यूज़ करिए इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हैवी वाटर बिकॉज हैवी वाटर इज ऑल्सो कॉस्टली इट्स एन हंड्रेड्स ऑफ डॉलर्स पर के जी हैवी वाटर तो इंडियन ने बोला कि नहीं आई कैन प्रोड्यूस हैवी वाटर वी हैव सच इन सिचुएशन बट इट विल बी कंपेरेटिवली चीपर दैन वॉट आई सेट दैट यूटिलाइजिंग एनरिचमेंट एनरिचमेंट करके लेकर यूरेनियम एनरिच यूरेनियम डालूँ तो वो हमें कॉस्टली पड़ रहा है रदर दैन प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर एंड लेकिन एट द सेम टाइम यहाँ से प्रोड्यूस प्लूटोनियम टू थर्टी नाइन हमें क्या बन जा रहा है इट बिकम द फ्यूल फॉर द वेस्ट नहीं हो रहा है वेस्ट इज हमारे यहाँ जो वेस्ट है इट इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू दैट इज फ्यूल फॉर द नेक्स्ट डेज सो देर फॉर इंडिया हैज एडाप्टेड प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर इवन इट इज कॉस्टली बट एनरिचमेंट से बेटर है वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू द एनरिचमेंट वन इट इज आई सेट दैट हैवी वाटर प्रोडक्शन इज बेटर दैन एनरिचमेंट एंड अदर हम लोग प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर से रिएक्टर से हम लोग क्या करें यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू दट इज नेक्स्ट इज प्रोटोनियम फ्यूल सो हमारे लिए फायदा है सो देर फॉर इंडिया इज यूजिंग प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर एंड देन यहाँ से प्रोड्यूस इनर्जी वेरी हाई हीट और ये हाई हीट इज एब्जॉर्ब बाई द कूलेंट प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर इन द कूलेंट हेयर इट इज गोइंग एंड दिस कूलेंट यहाँ पे जाता है कैरिंग दिस एंड यहाँ पे स्टीम जनरेट करके दिस इज गोइंग टू आवर्स टर्बाइन एंड टर्बाइन प्रोड्यूस इज जनरेटर एंड द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज प्रोड्यूस एंड अगेन द कोल्ड वाटर बैक्स एंड हेयर इट गोज लाइक दिस सो दिस इज द प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर एंड देन इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज कान डू सो इट हैज एन अ मोस्ट ऑफ आई सेट दैट इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस रिएक्टर आई सेट दैट के पॉजिटिव देख सकें एडवांटेज इट मे बी डिजाइन टू ऑपरेट यूजिंग ओनली नेचुरल सर्कुलेशन सो द री सर्कुलेशन पम्प्स आर एलिमिनेटेड इंटायरली मतलब ये नेचुरल सर्कुलेशन है प्रेसराइज है ऑलरेडी देर इज इन प्रेसराइजर तो ऑलरेडी देर नेचुरल प्रेसराइज करके कूलेंट जो हीट लेकर सर्कुलेट कर रहा है देर इज नो नीड ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर फ्रॉम द बैक ऑपरेट्स एट लो न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल टेम्परेचर हमने न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल को जो टेम्परेचर दे रहे हैं तो इट इज एबल टू एब्जॉर्व द लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ हीट यस आर नॉट थर्मल एफिशिएंसी इसकी अच्छी हो गई जैसे मैंने बोला एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी क्या होता है एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी मैंने बोला हमने एक लीटर पेट्रोल डाला उसमें से 60 परसेंट पेट्रोल ही कन्वर्ट होने लगा एनर्जी में जिससे गाड़ी को चला पा रहा है रेस्ट फोर्टी परसेंट कन्वर्ट्स इन साउंड हीटिंग एंड ऑल तो हम लोग कितने यूज कर पा रहे हैं एनर्जी पेट्रोल में से 60 परसेंट वाली तो दैट इज नॉन एज एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी इफ द सेम वे आई सेट द थर्मल एफिशियंसी यदि देखा जाए तो थर्मल एफिशियंटली इट इज एबल टू प्रोड्यूस गुड एट लो फ्यूल तो हमारे लिए बेटर है यस एंड द रिएक्टर वेसल्स एसोसिएटेड कंपोनेट्स ऑपरेट एट सब्सटैंसली लो प्रेशर About this one temperature pressurized uh, it is in a pressurized water heavy reactor है थोड़ा सा इसीलिए हम लोगों ने pressure tubes बनाकर उसके pressurization को क्या कर दिया reduce कर दिया so वहाँ पर भी हमें फायदा हो गया by making pressure tubes and how many pressure tubes we have 306 हंड्रेड सिक्स तो ये वाला प्रॉप जो हमने अभी सेवेंटी फाइव और वन फिफ्टी एट बताया था जो बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर और ऐसे प्रेशर वाइट वाटर रिएक्टर का इतना प्रेशर भी हमें नहीं चाहिए लेकिन प्रेशर इतना था कि वो कूलेंट को हीट करके घुमा दे सो वी डू नॉट नीड टू मच ऑफ प्रेशर Itself, it is able to circulate the coolant heat. This is the benefit, yes or not? And uh, it is uh, instead of enriched uranium, you are using. I said that natural uranium. And uh, why? Why we are using the heavy water? Yes, hundreds of dollar per kg it is there, and we have to use in the tons. So it is lots of money. But at the same time, enriched uranium use करके इससे better है कि हम लोग यही use करें. वो भी बहुत ज़्यादा cost होगा rather than heavy water. लेकिन हमें इससे फायदा ये है कि we are able to produce uh, fuel for the next stage. इन सम अमाउंट एंड देर आफ्टर प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर और यहाँ के फ्यूल को दोबारा वही हम लोग रिप्रोसेसिंग प्रोसेस से सेपरेटर भी कर सकते हैं हम लोग सो देर इज द इट इज इट यूजिंग लेकिन एक बात आप देख सकते हो जो आपने भी पहले भी, भी देखा कि दैट इज आई सेट दैट देर इट इज आई सेट दैट इट कैन हैव रेडियटिव इट कैन हैव आई सेट इट कैन हैव that some way contamination so disadvantage if i'll say that heavy water generally cost hundreds of dollars per kg there is an i said that it is a wrong and the reduced energy content of natural uranium as compared to the enriched uranium the reduced energy content of natural uranium energy jo hai itna hi wala produce kar raha hai only this much रिड्यूस इनर्जी कंटेंट ऑफ नेचुरल यूरेनियम एज कम्पेयर द एनरिज यूरेनियम यदि हम एनरिज यूरेनियम डालते थ्री परसेंट फोर परसेंट वो ज्यादा इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस करता है लेकिन यहाँ पे एनरिज यूरेनियम कितना है पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट 
यहाँ पे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोडक्शन इट विल बी आज कंपेरेटिवली लेस इफ आई पुड इन एंड्रिज यूरेनियम थ्री परसेंट फोर परसेंट आप भी जानते फोर परसेंट रहेगा और कहीं पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट है दोनों में कौन ज़्यादा एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस करेगा सो कंपेरेटिवली रिड्यूस एनर्जी कंटेंट ऑफ नेचुरल यूरेनियम कंपेयर टू एंड्रिज यूरेनियम सो बॉलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर विल प्रोड्यूस मोर एनर्जी प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर विल प्रोड्यूस लेस एनर्जी बट इट इज़ बेनिफिशियल बिकॉज इट इज़ कन्वर्टिंग यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट टू थर्टी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ प्लूटोनियम फ्यूल फॉर द नेक्स्ट स्टेज so we have been able to see it is in a can do perhaps it is clear to all of you the next one we are going to see i said that gas cooled nuclear reactor गैस कोल्ड न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर इंडिया डजेंट हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर आई सेड हेयर वी हैव आई सेड दैट विच टाइप वी हैव द टाइप इट इज कंसिडर एज अस्टेल मी गैस कोल्ड रिएक्टर न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर एंड हेयर वी आर यूजिंग मॉडरेटर एक ध्यान रखेंगे अभी तक मैं मॉडरेटर बोरॉन बोरॉन ही बता रहा हूँ बट इसमें है इट इज ग्रेफाइट उसके आगे में जो कूलेंट जो लेके जा रहा है वो गैस लेके जा रहा है ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट इट्स नेम इज गैस सो द कूलेंट इज आइदर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड और हेलियम कूलेंट इज दिस एंड यू नो दैट द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इट इज कूल्ड or it has an high able uh, level to what i said absorb the high amount of energy so therefore this is the gas cooled uh, i said that reactors and in the gas cooled reactors if we can be able to see what is the moderators here said tell me graphite and the coolant is carbon dioxide generally better uh, helium se better kon hai carbon dioxide these designs have a high thermal efficiency kyun hai thermal efficiency kyunki usne heat le liya kisne liya gas liya aur gas jaakar hi directly there is no gas is a kind of what steam is what vapor gas is also what uh, steam is what vapor vapor means gas or uh, it, uh, it is a carbon dioxide is what gas helium is what gas already yadi aap isko heat de doge automatically it will go towards the turbine and it will start removing moving the turbine so i said that uh, these designs have a high thermal efficiency uh, in compared to the i said that pressurized water reactors lekin boiling water reactors aapko jante hain ki wahan pe kewal water ko hi boil kar diya tha directly to wo better hai aaj ke date mein in the united kingdom where the concept was developed older designs kaha jata hai gas cooled reactors ko itna yaad rakhenge magnox these are thermal neutron uh, i said that uh, reactors thermal aap jante hain what is thermal neutrons thermal means is slow speed neutrons there is a better way in the slow speed diya jata hai and there will be a yes uh, sorry uh, fuel is what i said that and rich uranium so this is the way that it is able to produce and uh, yahan pe you can be able to see the, the one circular loop and the second circular loop to so, yahan pe one circular loop mein there is an i said that there is an rich uranium and there is an i said that uh, control rods uh, which one graphites aur zyada dal doge to reaction band ho jayega kam dalenge to starting mein humne bataya tha na super critical hame zyada neutrons produce karke uh, uh, natural uh, uh, nuclear reaction ko continue karna hai fir thode der ke baad uh, nuclear reaction ko constant bana ke rakhna critical state jab mujhe band karna hota hai to sub critical karna hota hai number of neutrons ko decrease karna hoga and rods ko we keep on moving पुटिंग डाउन वर्ड जो कि न्यूट्रॉन्स को एब्जॉर्ब करता चला जाएगा तो अभी यहाँ पे दिख रहा है थोड़ा है सो आई सेड दैट दैट स्टार्टेड एज आई सेड दैट प्रोड्यूसिंग हीट टू द नेचर सॉरी एंड्रिज यूरेनियम एंड देन मॉडरेटर इसके स्पीड को थर्मल इंट्रॉल्स में कन्वर्ट कर दिया एंड मॉडरेटर यू नो दैट इट इज अ गैस एंड द इट सेल्फ मॉडरेटर इज इट सेल्फ ग्रेफाइट विच इज रिड्यूसिंग द स्पीड एंड देर आफ्टर दिस इज कूल एंड गैस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इट इज हाई थर्मल एफिशियंसी जितना भी है हीट एब्जॉर्ब कर लिया एंड इट इज गोइंग इन टू एन पर्टिकुलर चैम्बर जिस चैम्बर में क्या है स्पायरल पाइप्स एंड दिस स्पायरल पाइप्स में जैसे ही हीट पहुँचता है दैट हीट इट इज वाटर इज हीटेड एंड इट कोज टूअर्ड्स द स्टीम एंड दैन इट इज एबल टू वॉट प्रोड्यूस 
electricity. So there is a two loops, second two loops, primary loops and secondary loop, like the similar to the what I said that pressurized water reactor. The uh, gas cooled reactor or pressurized water reactor me same similarity here. Okay, they have the both the have the two loops. I said that. So this is I said that gas cooled reactor, and it is very less utilized in the world. And uh, Magnox, like in uh, older designs, say, which Britain utilized, kiya jata. And uh, I said that what is the advantage? Higher thermal efficiency, 40 percent. Generally, jitne bhi nuclear reactor hote hain, 30 percent hote hain. Lekin iski nuclear efficiency 40 percent tak pahunch jati hai. What is the thermal efficiency? Aap bhi jaante honge. What is the thermal? Jitni heat produced hi, uska kitna energy utilized kiya gaya. The nuclear reactor is uh, how much thermal efficient generally? 30 percent. But it is highly gas cooled is highly thermal efficient, 40 percent. Or abhi jaante isme pressure lagani ka. So the gases are less prone to react chemically. So कहीं turbine को ये जो gases या कहीं पे भी किसी चीज को affect नहीं करेगा. और लेकिन gas को थोड़ा सा pump करना पड़ता है. There is a need of little bit of pumping, and the need to maintain high pressure in the system from the back side so that the gas can move. And this is not the two high pressures are there. Very small pressures that we have to put. So advantage and disadvantage of this gas cooled reactor. So which are the four reactors based on water? We have seen the two uh, uh, pressurized water reactor and uh, uh, which one I said that? Boiling water reactor. And uh, on the basis of heavy water, pressurized heavy water reactor that is also known as Condu and we are utilizing in our stage one. The next one it is I said that uh, gas cooled reactor that is uh, older design in the United Kingdom known as Magnox. Or it's may uh, carbon dioxide as in a coolant we are using and graphite as in a moderator. Next one it is a liquid metal fast breeder reactor. If I am talking about liquid metal fast breeder reactor, Fuel kya hoga? Fuel uh, liquid metal, better to say fast breeder reactor, simple one. In one line that we have to say, instead of saying liquid metal, jitne bhi fast breeder reactor hote hain, coolant liquid metal dala jata hai. Therefore, it is known as liquid metal fast breeder reactor. Isme fuel kya hoga? Plutonium, plutonium 239, from pressurized heavy water reactor. Jo se west tha, hum log ne se ye le liya. Thereafter, natural uranium, wo bhi dala hai. Aur uski ek tank hai. Tank jo bana hua hai kiska? That is I said that thorium. Dhyan rakhiyega. Is natural uranium mein kya kya hoga? There will be uranium 235 and uh, uranium 238 and uh, is may koi moderator ka use nahi hoga in the fast breeder reactor kyunki mujhe breed breeder ka matlab hi hota hai ki mujhe transmutation karna hai large amount iska matlab hai ki mujhe fuel we have to utilize less fuel but produce more fuel yahan pe production of fuel will be Consumption will be, production will be more than consumption. Breeder ka matlab hota hai, consumption of fuel is less, but production of fuel is more. Production of, therefore it is a breeder, fast breeder reactor. Pressurized heavy water reactor, say, hume kya mila hai, we have got the plutonium that we are using. To iska matlab, uska waste hamare liye galat nahi, hum log yaha pe dal diya. Natural uranium U-235 and uh, U and then last make was a thick tank rahega, that will be I said thorium type already fast breeder reactor Clear? moderators is may utilize nahi kiya jayega. there will be no moderator remember that there will be no moderator or coolant will be I said that liquid Liquid sodium लगभग 900 degree Celsius जाकर boil होता है. इसका मतलब है कि यह बहुत ज़्यादा temperature को absorb रख सकता है. So, liquid sodium की melting point क्या हो सकती है? 
नाइन हंड्रेड और मोर देन इसका मतलब है कि टिल नाइन हंड्रेड जितनी भी हीटिंग रहेगी इट विल कीप ऑन एब्जॉर्बिंग सो और यहां पे मॉडरेटर क्यों नहीं यूज कर रहे हैं ध्यान से मॉडरेटर क्या करता है रिड्यूस द स्पीड वी आर नॉट यूजिंग द मॉडरेटर रिमेंबर दैट इन द फास्ट बिडर रिएक्टर वी आर नॉट यूजिंग अब लेटस गो इन टू दिस वन देर इज एन आई सेट दैट इनके बने हुए क्या है दिस इज आई सेट दैट ये जो थोरियम का ब्लैंकेट है टैंक ब्लैंकेट here it is i said that uh, this is the chamber and there is an a blankets are there iske andar mein inside this there is an which one i said that natural uh, there is an a plutonium and natural uranium now here it is what plutonium is already so in this one we are watching like i said that there is a plutonium 239 is acting as an uranium fuel and here it is a uranium 235 they they can produce electricity and uh, we are not using moderator means there is a, uh, we are not going to i said that make the slow speed make the neutron to be i said that uh, uh, let it be fast neutrons let it be slow neutrons so whatever the slow neutrons will be there there will be i said that plutonium and this uranium 235 they will be after the bombardment with neutron will produce energy will produce energy in the form of mega electron volt understood it mega electron volt they keep on using producing more energy in the compared to the pressurized heavy water reactor and uh, at the same time this fast neutrons are there they are keep on i said that uh, uranium 238 per convert uh, it keep on bombarding and they are i said that converting into plutonium 239 so we are getting also i said that fuel for the next stage and also jab ye ban jata hai pura plutonium 30 u238 has been utilized to convert into plutonium 239 then then thorium as a blanket is utilized this thorium and it is also fertile ma material and uranium 238 is also already converted into fuel of plutonium 239 this is also coming and then it is giving us uranium 230 Three. So we are getting more fuel than the consumption of, uh, for uh, in comparison to the consumption of the fuel. So therefore, it is known as a breeder reactor, and it is not a small. It is fast breeder reactor, and in this one, the production of fuel is very high. Production of production of fuel is very high. Understood? And जो भी जितने भी हम लोग breeder reactor देखेंगे उस सब ब्रीडर रिएक्टर में से मैक्सिमम दिस इज आई सेड दैट मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ आई सेड दैट ब्रीडिंग इज देयर मोर फ्यूल इज गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस इन स्टेड ऑफ कंजम्पशन देयर फॉर वी कैन बी एबल टू से लाइक आई सेड दैट हियर इट इज आई सेड दैट ब्रीड मींस फ्यूल आई सेड दैट दे आर सेड टू बी ब्रीड फ्यूल बिकॉज़ दे प्रोड्यूस फिजनेबल फ्यूल ड्यूरिंग द ऑपरेशन ड्यू टू द न्यूट्रॉन कैप्चर and uh, these reactors do not require much high pressure containment why it is not required high pressure kyunki yahan par if i am say that kya mujhe kya yahan ke metals ko high pressure banana chahiye nahi kyunki hamare paas molten metal hai wo phat ke bahar nahi nikalna chahta to hamari jo containment honi chahiye wo bhi kafi zyada koi bhi pressurized nahi ho to kyunki sodium metal yadi pigalta bhi hai to itna hi rahega it is not pushing the pressure like water it is boiling so there is no hame it is not it is reducing the cost of making the contain containers and then vessels because it is less and at the same time the breeders are there i said that breeders are there the breeders means i said that again you can be able to see what is the meaning of breeder i said uh, this is designed fast breeder reactors are designed to breed more fuel than they consume so consumption is comparatively less and then production is more therefore it is a fast breeder reactor and we can be able to see that in the fast breeder reactor uh, what we are using plutonium as an uh, waste from the stage 1 natural uranium you are using yes or not there is uranium to that we and then thorium as an a uh, blanket material understood it and there is an i said that as far as i said that fast breeder reactor moderator we are not using kyunki is moderator use kar denge to neutrons ki speed ko kya kar dega because yadi moderator use karenge speed ko kam kar dega but lekin moderator use nahi kar rahe hain to some will be what i said that slow speed neutron and some will be what i said that fast 
तो स्लो स्पीड न्यूट्रॉन्स क्या करेगा ये स्टेल में प्लूटोनियम और यूरेनियम 235 आप जानते हैं कि यूरेनियम 235 या प्लूटोनियम को जो फिजनेबल मटेरियल होते हैं उनको स्लो स्पीड न्यूट्रॉन चाहिए दैट इज नॉन एज थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन और ये क्या करते हैं डिसइंट्रोगेट इन टू वर्ड स्मॉलर न्यूक्लिया एंड प्रोड्यूसिंग एनर्जी एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेब्स लेकिन यदि मुझे ट्रांसम्यूटेशन करना है तो आई नीड फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स देयर फॉर वी आर नॉट यूजिंग मॉडरेटर्स अंडरस्टूड फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स and then it is converting into plutonium 30 so here the production of fuel is more than the consumption of fuel therefore it is known as production it is breeder and it is in a hap happening at a faster rate it is much more it is a fast breeder reactor and which is the coolant you know that it is in a liquid sodium here the coolant is liquid sodium and uh, in the i said that fast breeder reactors would use plutonium 239 it is clear plutonium 239 recovered by the reprocessing is spent from the first stage first stage se se hame mila tha pressurized pressurized heavy water reactor se and natural uranium fair plutonium 239 undergoes fission fission mein gaya yes or not and also producing energy and then uranium 238 five from this goes under the fission and there after that is an uranium 238 is going to transmute into what plutonium 239 this is happening over here and at the same time uh, we can be able to see that uh, this uh, is a uh, stage 2 as i have said that this is in stage 2 of india and the fast breeder reactor more fuel than this so this is the uh, we can be able to see that this is a fast breeder reactor of india and uh, how it behaves you know that and uh, aur yahan pe three loops are there dhyan se dobara and the last time i am going to say there is a uh, natural uranium plutonium and then blanket is of made of thorium uranium 235 giving energy and then plutonium 239 is giving energy which is getting from the pressurized heavy water reactor as a waste and thereafter plutonium and then uranium 238 converted into plutonium 39 and after the produced heat is absorbed by the liquid sodium and it is moving into this uh, circular loop and passing through this another chamber and this is you know that here it is steam generator and steam has been generated from here in this chamber heating and then this heat is going to the another third loop and there is a turbine and producing electricity similar yahan se bhi same way you can be the same from here this 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 turbine and the similarly here it is like this so there will be also the primary loop secondary loop and the tertiary loop so there will be three loops finally third loop mein power generation will be there understood it liquid sodium water it is this is i said the production the liquid sodium carried and then it is coming into the steam generator then coming into the this one the there are the three loops are there and uh, producing electricity in the good amount fast breeder reactor and then kalapakkam you know that kalapakkam in tamil nadu this year or maybe the coming year it can be start producing abhi tak hamara fast breeder reactor liquid sodium based liquid metal based abhi tak start nahi hua only india is working on the basis of pressurized heavy water reactor and boiling water reactor so i said that now we are moving towards i said what are the types of reactor we have seen we have finished with the reactors first on the basis of uh, water there is an i said Uh, 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 pressurized water reactor and boiling water reactor are very simple boron as in what i said that uh, controlling rod and uh, and rich in uranium dono mein humne use kiya and um, in the pressurized water reactor water is at pressure moderator as well as coolant pressurized water reactor mein yahi tha ki bahut zyada temperature ko lekh sakta tha ki pressurized water apne andar bahut zyada water ko contain kar sakta that it can contain it uh, is in the two loops pressurized water reactors also one steam generator second loop mein wo jab lekar garam pani ko le jata hai primary loop se jab heat generate hoga secondary loop ka pani jo steam generate karke le jata hai aur turbine ke paas jata hai to isme se contamination nahi hota hai usme koi bori kisi se rusting nahi hota and it is taking small loops therefore pressurized water reactor is utilized in the i said the naval ships in the submarines production of electricity aur isse kisi bhi country ka कोस्टल पावर बढ़ जाता है एंड इंडिया कोस्टल पावर हैज़ इंक्रीज आफ्टर यू स्टार्टेड यूजिंग दिस वन एंड बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर देखा जाए तो आई सेट दैट कंपेरेटिवली चीपर दैन दिस प्रेसराइज वाटर रिएक्टर क्योंकि यहाँ पे देर इज़ नो यूज़ ऑफ आई सेट दैट 
प्रेसराइजर स्टीम जनरेटर ओनली वन सिंगल लूप प्रेसराइज वाटर रिएटर का एक डिमेरिट्स ये था कि इफ देर इज एन वाटर जेट प्रेसराइजेजर प्रेसराइज पर हो तो दैट इज एन जो इसकी जो वेसल्स बने हों दैट विल बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रेंथफुल सो दैट इज देयर फॉर द कॉस्टली इट वॉज प्रेसराइजर जनरेटर स्टीम जनरेटर एंड स्ट्रेंथ इज काजिंग मेकिंग कॉस्टली बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर भी सिंपली इनरिज यूरेनियम इज देयर बोरोन इज देयर एंड देर इज बट यहाँ पे कोलेंट और वाटर वही यदि बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर इज अ लो प्रेशर वाटर लो प्रेशर वाटर कोलेंट एज वेल एज मॉडरेटर दे आर कैरिंग से इट इज अ सिंगल लुक में टर्माइन तक पहुँचता है जिसका मतलब थोड़ा सा रेडियोक्टिव मिनरल्स से कॉन्टामिनेट हो जाएगा टर्माइन एंड बोरिक एसिड से रस्टिंग भी हो सकता है and it is one of the i said that largest number of i said that uh, nuclear power reactor in the world is boiling water reactor to ye hum log ne dekh liya and uh, keep on watching the video from the back go and back and see and what i have said that i am just giving the recap and there is a pressurized heavy water reactor which is also known as kandu hamara ye pressurized heavy water reactor hamare nuclear program ka first stage hai and uh, hum log ne pressurized heavy water reactor mein the first it is i said that we have you are utilizing uh, मॉडरेटर एंड कूलेंट एज प्रेसराइज वाटर प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर और ये बहुत ज़्यादा वाटर को अपने पास रख सकता है और प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर स्मॉल न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड स्लो स्पीड स्पॉन और फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स को दोनों भी देता है इसमें हम लोग नेचुरल यूरेनियम यूज़ करते हैं तो जो थोड़ी से अमाउंट का यूरेनियम जो है यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट इट इज एबल टू प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बहुत कम बट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लूटोनियम तो हमारे लिए फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ये है कि प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर एनर्जी तो प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है लेकिन कम अमाउंट में बट प्रोड्यूसिंग फ्यूल्स ऑल्सो फॉर द नेक्स्ट स्टेज that you know that fast build rate is the next stage so we are also able to what i said that uh, taking into this count pressurized heavy water reactor and uh, that is also known as kandu based on the canada and uh, plutonium fuels are producing from the this stage thereafter we have seen gas cooled reactors and gas cooled reactor mein simply humne bataya tha that is i said that uh, gas liquid uh, uh, helium or liquid carbon uh, sorry carbon dioxide or uh, uh, helium can be utilized as an equivalent and then uh, there is an uh, i said that graphite as an a moderator and there is an enriched uranium aur isse hame kya karna hoga gas ko jab jaise hi nuclear reaction se ye produce hoga enriched uranium ho raha to jo heat produce hoga directly go to the gas lekin thodi si mujhe pumping bhi karni hogi gas pumping karke aata hai ye thermal efficient hai 40% uh, tak energy ko produce kar sakta hai matlab jitni heat hui iska 40% lies into the energy so better it is lekin magnox hai aur iska zyada nahi it is a older design it is in the UK it is Magnox. फिर हम लोग आगे फास्ट बिडर रिएक्टर दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज लिक्विड मेटल फास्ट बिडर रिएक्टर और स्पेशली इट इज़ लिक्विड एंड सोडियम बेस्ड मॉल्टेंट और हम लोग कभी कभी मॉल्टेंट सॉल्ट भी यूज़ किया जाता है बट वी आर यूजिंग लिक्विड सोडियम एंड फास्ट बिडर रिएक्टर में ध्यान में रखिएगा दिस इज द रिएक्टर जहाँ पर मॉडरेटर बिल्कुल नहीं यूज़ होता है क्योंकि हमें न्यूट्रॉन्स को क्या चाहिए फास्ट स्पीड भी चाहिए एंड इन दिस स्टेज यू आर यूजिंग प्लूटोनियम वी हैव गॉड फ्राम द एज ए बेस्ट फ्राम द pressurized heavy water reactor we are using and then we are using natural uranium we are using i said that thorium as a blanket material you know and uh, plutonium it is giving the energy good amount of energy and natural uranium say uranium 235 is also giving energy good amount of energy but the uranium 238 jo hai yahan pe it is converting into i said the plutonium aur jo blanket hai that is thorium it is also converting into uranium 233 so there is an a breeder because it is transmutation is taking place and producing large amount of fuel the production of fuel is more than the i said uh, uh, consumption of fuel but ye dhyan mein rakhenge pressurized heavy water reactor se ye electricity zyada produce karega kyunki yahan pe ye bhi produce kar raha hai and ye bhi dono se electricity production india ki jo yadi pressurized uh, fast builder reactor se hum log uh, lagbhag 50 gigawatts tak electricity produce kar sakte hain and uh, pressurized heavy water reactor se hum log uh, 10 gigawatts tak ka hamara capacity hai so <coughs> these are the things that we have seen you can keep on uh, going back if you are getting confusion and try to understand in a very basic manner nobody teaches all this therefore there is a too much confusion in the nuclear technology to the students is having what is nuclear reactor so we have been able to cover this one nuclear reactor the next one uh, we are going to see the i said that uh, three stage program of india three stage program of india as far as the homi jahangir bhaba three stage nuclear program of india on the basis of i said the wt of uranium and thorium
the first stage is I said that pressurized heavy water reactor this may have a use current you know that natural uranium this may you 235 up for jacket backside deck a video karke up next act it is producing less amount of energy to be 0.7 percent here to get my use correct I like a city so it is producing energy but the rest it is a uranium 238 it is converting into I said that plutonium fuel for the next stage so here it is pressurized heavy water reactor and here is a waste of plutonium it is the second stage this is the first stage and in the second stage it is what I just said that fast breeder reactor we have only they come here it is using natural that is in a plutonium got from the first stage and uh, there is in a natural uranium and there is an I said that thorium as in a blanket material and after plutonium completely or there is no use of moderator remember that in the fast breeder reactor there is no use of what I said that moderator is sick a hoga there will be an awesome small speed slow speed uh, neutron will be also there and there will be a fast speed neutron will be also there so that it is I said that plutonium 239 will be able to give energy by converting into smaller nuclei and the electromagnetic waves and uh, natural uranium is your uranium 235 and another is the uranium 238 it is you know that 0.7 percent and it is what I said that 99.3 percent so it is uranium 233 is converting and it is also giving energy so these two are giving good amount of energy and uh, I said uh, and uh, slow speed neutrons you uh, I said that uh, which one uh, uranium 235 is giving uh, energy so slow speed neutrons I may you okay and then moderators need like your other that we have some fast neutrons also fast speed neutrons and this fast speed neutron I said that uranium 238 could convert correct a plutonium 239 for the I said that or be fast better reactor may plutonium then a kill it okay plutonium of use current suppose I'm gonna pass pressurized heavy water reactor come at all like in fast better reactor may be plutonium 239 to you have to produce plutonium 239 the next fast better reactor to unlock like I'm going to have to utilize those I got to a fast better reactor to produce plutonium 239 literally to you put out of convert to get plutonium 239 top is got all at that thorium as in a blanket material and a a b fast neutron say fast speed neutron say it is converting into uranium 233 और ये यूरेनियम 233 गोइंग टू बी यूटिलाइज इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ व्हाट आई सेड दैट अभी हम लोग बात करेंगे ये हमारा थर्ड स्टेज में जाकर यूटिलाइज होगा अंडरस्टूड इट सो हम लोग एक का वेस्ट दूसरे में उसको फ्यूल में कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं एंड देन हियर इट इज इन अ ब्रीडर इट इज मॉडरेटर ध्यान में रखिएगा ब्रीडर इट इज क्यों कह रहे हैं फास्ट ब्रीडर इट इज आई सेड दैट प्रोडक्शन इज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फ्यूल इज मोर देन कंजप्शन ऑफ द फ्यूल हमारी इंडिया की कैपेसिटी जो है 50 गीगावाट्स की है और 2020 में इसका स्टेबलिश मतलब इसको स्टार्ट करना था प्रोबेबली दिस ईयर मे बी इन द कमिंग ईयर सेट कैन स्टार्ट एंड वी हैव अ लॉट्स ऑफ प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर इसकी टोटल कैपेसिटी होगी 10 गीगावाट्स मतलब 10,000 मेगावाट्स एंड इट हैज व्हाट आई सेड दैट 50,000 मेगावाट्स दिस काइंड ऑफ द कैपेसिटी फॉर द इंडिया एंड देन थर्ड स्टेज इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट थर्ड स्टेज इट इज एडवांस्ड हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर एडवांस्ड heavy water reactor and a thermal breeder reactor advanced heavy water reactor and thermal breeder reactor so ye abhi hum log fast breeder reactor banane ke stage mein hi hum log isko start karne ke stage mein hi hai abhi ye start nahi hua and it will be by the next 30 40 years may be possibility by the 2060 50 2050 or 60 mein or maybe 2070 tak we can be able to start this stage and uh, here we have to use in the advanced heavy water reactor and uh, there will be what I said that thermal breeder reactor this is scalar and then here it is I said that यहाँ पर that it is thorium use करेंगे हम लोग and then uranium 233 
सो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री न्यूट्रॉन्स और ये थोरियम इट विल कीप ऑन कन्वर्टिंग इन टू यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री एंड दिस वे वी हैव आई सेट दैट इसमें से जो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट थर्टी थ्री के लिए जो थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन्स होंगे वही तो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री विल प्रोड्यूस ये भी आप जानते हैं फिसाइल मिनरल से विच आर द फिसाइल मिनरल फ्यूल्स मेटेरियल और न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल्स यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री प्लूटोनियम टू थर्टी नाइन प्लूटोनियम टू फोर्टी वन सो प्लूटोनियम टू फोर्टी वन ऑल दीज आर फिसाइल मिनरल विच कैन फिजन एंड देन फर्टाइल मिनरल्स आर आई सेट दैट प्लूटो थोरियम टू थर्टी थ्री एंड यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट सो टू थर्टी टू थोरियम एंड यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट सो हेयर इट इज यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री it is i said that uh, it needs neutron to be bombarded with a uh, slow speed and it is able to produce good amount of energy and this the slow speed neutron is also required but yahan pe thorium ko bhi todne ke liye i did no need to what is i said that good amount of neutron so easily a isi heat par hi pressurized heavy water bhi it is advanced heavy water jo advanced heavy water reactor ne jo yahan se energy produce kiya apne paas rakha us heat ke badaulat kya hua ye neutron fast war thorium ko break karke kis mein diya uranium 2 33. तो यहाँ पे फ्यूल अगेन प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द फ्यूल एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इट तो इट इज एन बेस्ट वन और आपको मैं बता दूं थोरियम इन कंपेरिजन टू यूरेनियम इट इज आई सेट दैट प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर एनर्जी थोरियम अवेलेबिलिटी इन इंडिया इज वेरी हाई एंड इन कंपेरिजन टू आई सेट दैट एज फार एज थ्रेड इज इन कंसर्न एंड हार्मफुलनेस एंड रेडिएशन इज इन कंसर्न थोरियम इज लेस हार्मफुल रेदर द यूरेनियम तो थोरियम इज मच बेटर तो थर्ड स्टेज यदि जब इंडिया का आ जाएगा दैट विल बी द बेटर फॉर इंडिया सो दिस इज द वे दैट वी हैव बीन एबल टू सी द थ्री स्टेज प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट इज प्रेसराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर सेकेंड इज फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर इसका वेस्ट इट्स में यूटिलाइज हो रहा है एंड इसका वेस्ट जो है आई सेड एड यूरियन टू थर्टी थ्री इट इज इन थर्ड स्टेज एंड देर इज एन थोरियम टू थर्टी टू यहाँ से जैसे ये बम्बाड़ होगी एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है इसके हीट से एडवांस हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर में इसको हैवी वाटर लेक जाकर टर्बाइन रन करेगा यस आर नॉट और उसमें से प्रोड्यूस न्यूट्रॉन थोरियम को क्या करेगा यूरेनियम 233 में कन्वर्ट करता रहेगा तो दिस इज द वे वी हैव बीन एबल टू सी दैट आई सेड दैट दिस आर द थ्री स्टेज प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंडिया एंड इट इज द बेस्ट स्टेज वी हैव बीन एबल टू सी दैट 2020 में और इसकी 2020 और कमिंग और ये बहुत पहले से हम लोग हमारे इंडिया में पी एंड बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर ये दो बहुत नेक्स्ट हम लोग देखने जा रहे हैं कि प्रेजेंटली हाउ मच वाटर द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स आर देयर इन इंडिया सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर इन इंडिया एंड हाउ मच एट टिल प्रेजेंट इट इज न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर इज अवेलेबल एंड देन सम फ्यूचर रिएक्टर्स एंड वील ऑल्सो सी सम रिसर्च रिएक्टर्स आई सेट दैट so the nuclear reactor currently in india currently and uh, we can say that if it is a map of india and you better know that how to make the india map so if i say that uh, which are the present nuclear reactors nuclear reactor currently in india so the first here it is one uh, in the western up it is narora atomic power station near by buland sahar then coming towards i said that kota district of rajasthan here it is rawat bhata atomic power station then coming to gujarat <coughs> surat district and this in the surat district there is in a kakra para atomic power station then in the mumbai maharashtra this is an i said that uh, tarapur or trombe tarapur atomic power station and then coming into karnataka northern karnataka north west karnataka here it is uh, kaiga atomic power station and uh, tamil nadu nearby chennai 
कला पक्कम आप डिक्शनरी में कला पक्कम फर्स्ट आता है डिक्शनरी में कुंडाकुलम लेटर ऑन तो नियर बाई चेन्नई कला पक्कम एंड देन टूटी कॉरिन बिलो हेयर इट इज कुंडाकुलम सो दिज आर द आई सेट दैट न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स एंड देन वी कैन राइट हेयर इट इज इट इज नरोरा narora atomic power station that is in the up second i said that it is rawat bhata atomic power station that is in the rajasthan that is in the kota district and another it is i said in the gujarat it is surat district mein kakra para atomic power station in the gujarat surat district and then fourth one it is in the mumbai there is i said that tarapur atomic power station in the maharashtra and uh, fifth it is what i said uh, kaiga atomic power station in the karnataka and then sixth it is kalapakkam atomic power station that is in tamil nadu near by chennai and the seventh it is kunda kulam it is in tamil nadu near by tutikorin below so these are the currently running atomic reactors and they are totally till now able to produce around 6700 megawatt of electricity how much electricity it is producing 6700 total count there is a our isme sabse jyada there is a pressurized heavy water reactor and boiling water reactor these two reactors are only there so we are in the only first stage of the nuclear reactor second stage kala pakkam pe start ho raha hai that is fast builder reactor this year in 2020 or maybe in the coming years it will start so टिल नाउ वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस मच लेकिन इंडिया हैज़ प्रोमिस बाई टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टी विल प्रोड्यूस जितनी भी हमारी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस होगी उसकी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर सो नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव टू सी आई सेट दैट फ्यूचर न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स एंड द फ्यूचर न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स यहाँ पे यदि देखूँ तो दैट इज तारापुर इज द फर्स्ट तारापुर इज द फर्स्ट एटॉमिक पावर स्टेशन ऑफ ऑल इसमें से सबसे फर्स्ट कौन है इन द करेंटली विच आर रनिंग राइट नाउ दैट इंडिया हैज फर्स्ट एटॉमिक पावर स्टेशन हैज बीन स्टैब्लिश एट व्हाट नियर बाय मुंबई दैट इज तारापुर रिमेंबर रहेगा आपको दिस आर द फैक्ट दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर एंड फ्यूचर रिएक्टर्स में मेरे साथ आपको कुछ बोलना होगा हरिपुर बारगी कोवड्डा मीठी विरड़ी विच आर द नेम आई सेड दैट हरिपुर बारगी कोवड्डा and mithi viridi haripur if i am talking about in the west bengal medinapur district mein there is a haripur atomic power station is going to establish in the mp nearby jabalpur there is i said that bargi is going to establish एंड गुजरात के भावनगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में देर इज अ मीठी विरड़ी मीठी विरड़ी बट द फार्मर्स ऑफ दिस रीजन हैज अपोज दैट दिस एटॉमिक पावर स्टेशन शुड नॉट बी देयर 
and uh, thereafter Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has given the guidelines to the National Green Tribunal, it is a judicial body and that National Green Tribunal has now shifted it to Kavadda in Andhra Pradesh. So now this Mitivridi has been shifted to, I said that Kavadda in Andhra Pradesh. So if it has been asked which atomic power station which has been I said that shifted from Gujarat into Andhra Pradesh that it is I said Mitivridi and in which region Kavadda. Here it is. And thereafter, we can be able to see in the Haryana, Fatehabad district, if you'll go, it is in a Gorakhpur. Gorakhpur is a district in UP, but here it is Gorakhpur or Kumhar. Kumharia, Kumharia, yeah, Kumhar, we can say. Gorakhpur, better you can remember. In the Fatehabad district, it is Gorakhpur. So, which one I said that Haripur, Bargi, Kavadda and this is Mithivridi. Yes or not? Hari ka madlab, it thoda se yaad karwa raha hume. Hari, aap jaantte, God ko kaha jata Hari. Hari ke saamne kuch log na apne protest karne lagge, Bargi ho gai. Haripur, Bargi. And thereafter, or generally log marne ke baad, jab kauwe ko khana khilate hain, to it goes to the God. To Hari se Bargi koon bana? Kauwa. Yes or not? Kaua bola ki mujhe meetha khana hai. Kya khana hai? Is liye ho baagi kar gaya te. Kaua ko kya khana tha? Meetha. So I said that Haripur, Bargi, Kavadda, Meethi Vridi. Two, three times if you speak, you can remember Hari ke saamne baagi ho ge, koon ho ge? Kaua. And then what they want to eat? Meethi Vridi. And there it is, I said that Gorakhpur, that you can remember. And another it is, I said that Maharashtra, Maharashtra, Ratnagiri district mein Jaitpur atomic power station. Jaitpur. And uh, listen me carefully. It is two things very important for you. Jaitpur and Mithi Vridi which has been shifted to Kavadda. Jaitpur mein, ye aapko Jaitpur mein bata dun, this is the world largest atomic power station. If it is ready to be done, it is getting the problem some kind of environmental issue, cost issues, I said that social issues, so many issues are there, we will discuss the Jaitpur issues and uh, here it is, it is the largest and it can produce 10,000 megawatt electricity, understood, Jaitpur and this Mithi it is 6700 megawatt, Eki, yahan par aap dekhre pura ka pura 6700 but Mithi Vridi can produce so, this means it will take large area and the several atomic power station will be there. It has been shifted to Kavadda. Large for displacement of the farmers are there. So, this is the most of them are, I said that uh, large atomic power stations are there in the coming future. And these are, I said that first one, I said Haripur in the West Bengal. And thereafter, we said Bargi in uh, MP that is nearby Jabalpur, Kovadda in, uh, I said that uh, Andhra Pradesh, which has been shifted from Mithi Viridi, Mithi Viridi of Gujarat. Is it clear? Ye aapko story mein yaad kara diya tha, Hari ke saamne baagi hoge kauwe, Mithi jaya chaate hai, Mithi Viridi. And in the Haryana, we have, I said that uh, there is an uh, Gorakhpur, Gorakhpur, atomic power station, Haryana in Fatehabad and then Jaitpur, the largest of the world I am talking about. If it start established and it start producing world largest, it is in Maharashtra, Ratnagiri. And one issue of Kundakulam we will also see. So with this is our, I said that and this small or more there will be little bit but the important section we have seen for the future reactors, understood it? So we have been able to see that future reactors, can you remember? Or yaha par hum log ne aise dekha, here it is, uh, the currently which is earlier since it is, Tarapuri the number one. So here it is, well, the first sub established was the Tarapuri and it is a Narora atomic power station in the Bulansar UP. 
and uh, Rawat Bhata, this is Kakrapara, this is what I said, the Tarapur in Mumbai, Maharashtra, uh, K4 Kaga, K4 Karnataka, and then Tamil Nadu, Kalapakkam, and uh, what I said that, Kundakulam. And uh, here it is, Haripur, Bargi, Kavadda, Mitiviridi, Gorakhpur, and Jatpur. So we have seen, I said that, some future reactors. Now, one it is, I said that we have to talk about Hamare India may we have to talk also Bhava Atomic Research Center, Bark. We have to talk about uh, research reactors. Research matlab jo re zero reactor you can also say that isme electricity ka production yadi hota bhi hota hai it is not going to utilize means there is no the purpose is not for the electricity production but the purpose is for the what I said that research and uh, in the I said that two regions where the research reactors in India is having and then one it is I said that Mumbai here it is Bhava Atomic Research Center and in the Tamil Nadu there it is, I said, uh, Kalapakkam. Jahan par aap jante hain, there is also fast bidder reactor. Kalapakkam par hi fast bidder reactor India mein ho raha hai. I said, uh, Bark. Baba Atomic Research Center. Yadi bola jaya, Department of Atomic Energy ke baad koi baut badi body hai. So, Bhava Atomic Research Center, uske baad koi baut badi body hai. So, it is an Indra Gandhi Center for Atomic Research. Or ye aapko kahan par hai? Yes, tell me, Indra Gandhi Center for Atomic Research. It is Kalapakkam. <coughs> and the uh, first one it is Bhava Atomic Research Centers. Bhava Atomic Research Centers mein humare research reactors jo ki zero reactors we can also say not for the purpose, purpose of production of electricity for the other uh, industrial use, per commercial use and for the settlement aspect, matlab settlement jahan log rahe rahe, uske purpose ke liye nahi, research ke liye. To mere saath kuch naam bolenge, Apsara, Cyrus, Dhru, Apsara, Cyrus, Dhru, which are the three names I said? Apsara, Cyrus, Dhru. A Apsara hai jo saari pehenti hai aur saari pehen kar kisko dikha rahi hai? Dhru ko. Dhru naam ka ek ladka hai. You can remember like this. Which one I said that? Apsara. I said that Cyrus and which one I said? Dhru. Apsara saadi pen ke dhru ko dikha rahi hai aur ek ladki jalne lagi jarlina aur I said uh, jarlina and then uska naam tha purnima so I said that Apsara is one of the these are the research reactors and Apsara is established with the help of initial सबसे पहला हम लोगों ने जो स्टैब्लिश रिसर्च रिएक्टर किया था, the first established research reactor is what Apsara, 1956 में, and it is with the help of UK. Understood it? The second one it is I said that Cyrus, and it is with the help of I said that Canada, in Canada India reactors and uh, along with the help of US, and that is I said that here it is, and through it is there. And the largest of all research reactor mein sabse bada kaun sa research reactor hai? Is pure mein ladka jaisa naam kiska hai? Dhru ka, you can remember I said that. So Dhru is the largest research reactor and thereafter Jarlina. And then you can say Purnima ka series hai. Purnima 1, Purnima 2, Purnima 3 like this. So all these are research reactors and all are established at Bark. All are established at Bark. And I have said in the form of serials order me, subse first con hai Apsara. The number one the Bolajai, which research reactor has established initially in India with the help of UK? Apsara. 
एंड देर आफ्टर साइरस इस साइरस से जो हम लोगों ने प्रोड्यूस किया था प्लूटोनियम रिसर्च रिएक्टर से इसी से हम लोगों ने पोखरण फर्स्ट में जो हम लोग एटॉमिक बम किए थे 1974 में दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द साइरस रिसर्च रिएक्टर्स एंड विच इज द लार्जेस्ट वन आई सेट दैट वट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ अफसर इट इज द फर्स्ट स्टैब्लिश बाई के साइरस का इंपॉर्टेंस क्या है कनाडा के स्टैब्लिश है बट इट इज प्लूटोनियम कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस हैज बिन यूटिलाइज इन दैट आई सेट दैट पोखरण फर्स्ट 1974 वी हैव डन दैट इज इसको स्माइलिंग बुद्धा पोखरण वन इज ऑल्सो नॉन स्माइलिंग बुद्धा वी हैव फर्स्ट एटॉमिक बॉम्ब को हम लोगों ने एक्सप्लोर करके एटॉमिक टेस्ट किया था देर आफ्टर जलीना एंड पूर्णिमा के सीरीज एंड इंदिरा गांधी सेंटर फॉर एटॉमिक रिसर्च में देर इज एन कामिनी और इजली यू कैन रिमेंबर इट इज एस्टैब्लिश एट कलापक्कम तो कलापक्कम मिनी रिएक्टर कामिनी फुल फॉर्म इज कलापक्कम मिनी रिएक्टर सो दीज आर दई सेट दैट रिसर्च रिएक्टर्स इन इंडिया एंड आई हैव गिवन वेयर दे आर and uh, what is the order so here it is the dhruv is the largest first pokhran 1 ke liye kamni kala pakkam mini reactor you know that fast breeder ye research kiske liye kar raha hai fast breeder reactor 2020 mein aisa start hone wala hai and then the coming years ho jayega so it is in a research reactor for fast breeder reactor itself kamni so we have seen the nuclear reactors currently available in the future and then what are the research reactors in india so we have uh, finished with this so student uh, students we are going to start with the nuclear fusion and it's on a very small topic and uh, the future uh, future nuclear energy is also is one of our dependency is also on this nuclear fusion so if i am saying that uh, वन डेज न्यूक्लियर फीजन दैट यू हैव सीन जहाँ पे लार्ज न्यूक्लिया इज ब्रॉकन इन टू डिसंट्रिकेट इन टू स्मॉलर न्यूक्लिया विद रिलीज ऑफ एनर्जी ड्यू टू मार्च इफेक्ट सिमिलरली देर इज अ न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन इट इज ऑल्सो द सिमिलर वे देर इज बट इन द रिवर्स मैनर वेर द टू और मोर स्मॉलर न्यूक्लिया टू बी फ्यूज टूगेदर कम्बाइन टूगेदर एंड अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ सम मास्ट इफेक्ट in artificial manner there is in a production of lots of energy that is considered as a nuclear fusion and then there is a nuclear fusion if i am talking about there are the two i said that one uh, natural nuclear fusion another one it is i said that artificial nuclear fusion the man made nuclear fusion that we'll do, we are doing for the commercial aspects we'll have to do that is i said that uh, artificial one and where the nature is doing it is i said that natural nuclear fusion and that is happening in the i said that sun's core it is happening in the core of the sun and here you can be able to see that there is in a four i said that hydrogen atom combined together at in a very high temperature 15 million degree celsius it combined to form in a helium and there is an i said at the same time there is an a release of two i said that positron and that is in the form of release of high amount of energy so that is i said that it is your uh, natural nuclear fusion it is an i said that natural nuclear fusion it is a natural nuclear fusion which is happening in the sun's core which is releasing lots of temperature but at the same time there is a requirement of high amount of temperature to fuse uh, several smaller nuclei to make in a large nuclei with the release of some uh, positron which is in the form of energy but if i am talking about this is for the natural nuclear fusion which is taking place in the sun now if i have to talk about artificial nuclear fusion that uh, will have to do and we are thinking to do in a commerce in a commercial aspects and then this is i said that nuclear fusion in which manner i said that artificial 
and uh, suppose we have one a device suppose we have an a device and there is an i said that plasma and it is surrounded by i said that electromagnetic field it is surrounded by electro magnetic field plasma you can be able to say that ions or better to say ions in the form of gas ions in the gaseous state gaseous state and it has a very high temperature plasma and through the some diffusion we are putting into what i said that deuterium and then we are putting tritium it is one of the isotopes of hydrogen we are putting deuterium and tritium and under very high temperature very high temperature i said that deuterium <coughs> isotope of hydrogen its atomic number is also one the high isotope when the atomic number is like i said that 1 h1 2 d1 3 t1 the all the atomic number the same and but the mass is different is known as isotopes so here we are watching i said that the two that i said the deuterium and uh, tritium they combine and fuse together at very high temperature in the plasma which is surrounded by i said that confined of confinement of magnetic confinement that is the electromagnetic the magnetic confinement is there which is uh, trying to it is helping in the particle accelerator or that ionic charge particle accelerator in the form of cyclotron it is very fast and then very high temperature they fuse together and forms i said that 4he2 and at the same time i said that this atomic number has been balanced but the 2 and 3 become 5 and here it is 4 then is a one mass defect and that is in the form of energy released and we can say there is an i said uh, two and then there is an one neutron so we can be able to say this way there is an a release of energy and it has been said that in such kind of i said if the if i am using 50 megawatt suppose if i am making 50 megawatt energy to be utilized to fuse together it will release here 500 megawatt whatever the energy that here it is i am putting one time then the, there will be energy output will be 10 times so it is very much effective and uh, whatever the structure that i have made it is in a kind of tokamak nuclear reactor tokamak nuclear reactor and it has been established in the southern part of the france i said that perhaps this equation is clear nuclear fusion how it is happening with the help of very high temperature and heat in the plasma form which is surrounded by uh, magnetic confinement and here it is deuterium and tritium has been fused together to form the helium and the release of neutron in the form of large amount of energy and the energy if it is has been established input energy is 50 megawatt then output energy will be 500 megawatt so this is the artificial nuclear fusion and uh, there are the two polar us and then uh, ussr these are the two countries are there in 1985 they come together and they said that what we have to do we have to use uh, nuclear fusion in the commercial aspects nuclear fusion in the commercial aspects and its name has been given iter iter means international thermonuclear experimental reactor it is i said that international thermonuclear experimental reactor and what is in this there is in a one it is in a plasma is i said that clank confined within the i said that magnetic confinement understood it and where the deuterium and tritium will i said that fuse together to produce electricity and uh, this is the clear to all of you how it is working and how much i said that uh, uh, input energy and output energy you come to know about it and which are the two uh, i said that isotopes of hydrogen are there deuterium and i said that tritium they are releasing large amount of energy and you know that energy will be in the form of mega electron volt then now the next point if i am talking about there are seven countries that you can you, you should remember the seven countries are like which are the members of it 
I said uh, you can remember like this is the USA number one, USA, this European Union second, thereafter India, China, South Korea, Japan and Russia, which are I said the seven, USA, European Union, India, China, South Korea, Japan and Russia, these are the five members, these are the five members, so that ITER, India has joined around, I said that 2005 and 2006, India has joined it, India has joined this ITER in 2005 and 2006, and they are the seven members are, those who are working on it, on this ITER, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, and you know that it is US, it is European Union, perhaps all of you remember India, China, South Korea, there is a Japan and we have, I said that, uh, yes, tell me, USSR and present Russia. These are the seven member states and uh, there will be around 10 billion pound will be under the, I said that uh, expenses will be there and it has been said that 40 percent will be given by, I said that Iran, European Union and in the 60 percent, the rest of the six countries, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it means every country has to give what? 10 percent of the amount. It's 10 percent may, 9 percent in the some other way and 1 percent in the form of cash. This is killer. So 10 percent or India, it has been said also that India has to give, I said that equipments, equipments related to that I said that this uh, tokamak devices, formation, this uh, nuclear reactor. And you know that uh, India has plasma physics laboratory at Pune and it is working at a very uh, faster rate and trying to provide. Earlier, this ITER in the southern France, remember that in the southern France it is going to be start in the 2016 operational, but it has not been done. But in 2020 or maybe the next year, it can be possibility that it can be, ITER will be in the what I said, uh, it will be operational. International thermonuclear, nuclear, uh, international thermonuclear experimental reactor. One thing, what will happen to the India? If the India is a member of it and paying so much of what I said, that pain and then money and equipments, it means when the, it will be successful, then the India can use it for the commercial purpose. So nuclear fusion is, a, I said that perhaps, one of the future energy. And uh, this is about the nuclear fusion and then ITER. So there are the two types of nuclear fusion. One it is in the sun or a star, where the four hydrogen is going to fuse together in the core at a temperature of 50 million degrees Celsius and giving, I said that helium and along with, I said the two positron and the lots of energy is released. But in case of, I said that in our commercial aspects on this earth artificial manner, the deuterium and the tritium get fused together in the plasma, which is confined by the magnetic field and inside it that it is, I said that uh, deuterium at ITM at a very high temperature plasma, you know that uh, uh, ions in the form of gas and it is uh, able to, at a, such a high temperature, it is able to uh, fuse together and giving a helium along with, I said that some mass defect converted into large amount of energy and how much energy output is there? 10 times, 50 megawatt converts into 500 mega megawatt. This way we have been able to see also, I said that uh, what is nuclear fusion? So we have started with, I said that nuclear energy and then uh, we have seen the nuclear energy, two types, nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion. We have also discussed about the fertile min material, fissile material and then fertile materials are, I said that uranium-235, uranium, I said 233 and plutonium-239 to plutonium-241 and at the same time we have talked about some are the fertile material which has, can convert into what I said that fissile mineral through that some decay radioactive processes and all, radioactive decay process and all. These are, I said, that thorium-232 and uranium-238. Thereafter, we have seen, I said, that there are some components of the nuclear reactors and these components of the nuclear reactors are 
if you talk about there is a controlling rod which absorbs the neutron and uh, I said that it is and then it absorbs the neutron and uh, after that we have been able to see moderator which reduces the speed and then uh, maintain the slow the speed and the neutron slow speed become it is known as thermal neutron and we have been also able to see like I said that there is a coolant and there are coolant which absorb the heat and uh, goes towards the turbine and the generator and then shield. If I am talking about Jabhamogone, just I am giving a recap of all and uh, we have been able to also see like I said that there is a um, um, uh, controlling rod, the controlling rod jab start with the nuclear reaction at the time there is a lots of neutron formation less neutron loss that is known as a supercritical state. Thereafter, the chain reaction keep on maintaining its speed, number of formation of neutron is equal to the number of loss of neutron that is I said that critical state, the chain reaction keep on happening. But due to the when, uh, whenever that is a nuclear power plant has to be shut down, I said that due to the power failure it has to be shut down, then the, uh, it is in a subcritical state suddenly controlling rod has to be put inside and controlling rod is able to absorb all. And controlling rods are I said that boron silicon, Yadwoga, Bossy, India and it is I said that cat. So, boron, silicon and indium and cadmium. At the, the next is moderator which has to what I said that reduces the speed of neutron making thermal neutron and the thermal neutrons I said that uh, attack uh, fissile minerals and disintegrate. But the fast neutrons I said the fertile mineral convert into the I said fissile mineral and that process is transmutation. So, if I am talking about that what are the moderators are, moderators are in the form of ki water water, heavy water, graphites and then wall 75 percent nuclear reactors are I said that based on water and 20 percent based on graphite and 25 percent based on heavy water and uh, we have been able to see also some beryllium and organic liquids are also utilized in the form of I said that this one moderator. Thereafter we have some coolant which absorb the energy we have produced in the chamber of what I said that uh, nuclear reactor wo energy ko heat that is I said that coolant absorbs and the coolants are in the form of water, heavy water and also helium, carbon dioxide and then I said that some uh, metals, uh, maybe a liquid so uh, um, uh, molten sodium and molten uh, lead. These are also this different kind of I said that uh, coolants and uh, we have discussed about the components, the six components and there is a uh, uh, turbine which turns and the generator produces electricity and then shielding. Thereafter we have been able to see that there is a what are the nuclear fuel cycle. First we remove extract mines from uh, nuclear, nuclear fuel uranium that is known as a mining maybe open cast underground and there is an I said that mining, uh, mining may crush the uranium ore and converting into yellow uh, cake and that yellow cake has to be through the chemical series of chemical processes convert into uranium hexafluoride. This is the second one is mining. M I double L I N G. The next one is enrichment. Enrichment is a process with the help of uh, diffusion and uh, centrifugal separator. We extract out uranium 235 percent is more. Because when natural uranium, if you are extracting, so this uranium 235.7 percent hota hai only, and uranium 238 is 99.3 uh, percent. I am just recapping so thoda isle fast raunga main. And uh, we have been able to see enrichment. Jitna ham karte jayenge, to if the there is a slightly enriched uranium, it is a one to three percent. It is utilized in agriculture, medicine, research. As, education and at the same time some amount of the nuclear reactor and we have been able to see also like I said uh, there is a lo low enriched uranium it is uh, 3 percent to 20 percent utilized in the nuclear reactor and there are the other um, uh, third one highly enriched uranium that is 20 percent to 99 percent and here it is we can be able to see like I said that uh, in this reason in this case it is for if it is in a uh, weapon grade I mean, uh, uranium is this and if the uranium content is more than 85 percent enrichment then it is utilized in the atomic bomb generally and uh, we have been able to see the next one is the reprocessing. Reprocessing means what is spent fully, what is spent fuel ko nikal kar, hum log usme se fissionable, separation of fissionable and uh, we have been able to see I said that uh, unused fuel, usko separate karne ka process ko I, we said the reprocessing another it is I said that the last one in which we have to what I said that making the uh, fuel fabrication and the fuel fabrication jo uranium ke pellets hote hain that has to make into convert into rod with the help of uh, uranium oxide and that is known as I said the fuel fabrication. Thereafter we have seen the some types of nuclear reactors and these nuclear reactors are in the form of I said that on the basis of water, pressurized water reactor that we are utilizing in our because it's small size ke hoje se it will, we are utilizing in I said uh, uh, Arihant submarine and uh, it is formed at Kalapaktam and thereafter we have been able to see boiling water reactor 
most of the reactors of the world is what is I said that boiling water reactor and uh, we have been also able to see like I said that there is a pressurized heavy water reactor it is the first stage of our India and uh, we have been able to see the gas cooled reactor advanced gas cooled reactor and another it is I said the liquid uh, metal uh, fast beauty reactor or fast beauty reactor it is the second stage of India after doing this I, I said that these reactors uh, there are the three stages of nuclear stage of Homi Jangir Baba has given. It is an first is pressurized heavy water reactor. Isika waste it is going to be utilized in the second. I said that I am not going to give the full explanation. You keep on making the videos at the back and uh, revise it. And there it is, um, uh, there is fast builder reactor in the second stage and the third stage is advanced heavy water reactor as and thermal breeder reactor. Or Jan Rekhe, ki fast builder reactor mein jo ki breeding hota hai, that is much more than the thermal breeder reactor. So the breeding, I said that uh, formation of fuel is much larger in the fast breeder reactor in comparison to the, I said, the thermal breeder third stage. And India has not been able to, by the next 40 years, 30 years, we will be able to reach to the thermal breeder reactor third stage. But pressurize the second stage fast breeder reactor, Kalapakkam, may be banne ja raha. So we have been able to see this one. And uh, thereafter, uh, we have started with the different types of, I said that uh, nuclear reactor presently, which is uh, uh, in India, it is, I said that uh, Narora in UP and uh, Rawat Bhatta in uh, Rajasthan Kota district and thereafter uh, Kakrapara in the Surat district in the Gujarat and then uh, Mumbai Tarapur this is the first uh, nuclear power reactor and at the same time we have been able to see the Kaga in the Karnataka and Kalapakkam uh, it is in the uh, UP, uh, Tamil Nadu is just south of Chennai and Kundakulam just uh, nearby Tutikorin very near the, to the Tutikorin port and the south of Kanya, uh, nearby Kanyakumari. So these are the presently, but a part of it, the India is planning to what is established, the very large reactors are also there. And then um, we are going to see that there is an, um, in the West Bengal, Haripur, and then there is an, a Kawadda in, um, I said, uh, Bargi in uh, MP, Kawadda in Andhra Pradesh, Miti Vrindi in Gujarat. Jo Miti Vrindi Gujarat ka hai, it has been, I said that uh, stopped and uh, it has been transferred to the Kawadda in uh, Andhra Pradesh. And uh, thereafter, one it is at uh, Gorakhpur and Haryana, and uh, that is also Kamariyar, it is known as, and then uh, Jaitpur, it is there. So, these are the, I said that we have been able to see that these are the different kinds of what I said that um, uh, in future coming of what uh, future coming of uh, uh, nuclear reactors, and a part of it, there is some uh, research reactors are there, and these research reactors are, if I, if I can say, uh, it is in the, uh, one it is Bark and another it is in Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research in the Kalapakkam Tamil Nadu. Or Yahapar Bhosare, it is in Apsara, the reason I said that Apsara, Cyrus and there it is uh, your uh, Dhru. And Dhru is the largest one and uh, Apsara is the first in the research reactors. And uh, Cyrus say we have been able to get the plutonium, this is the Pokhran first and we can be able to say that this is the smiling Buddha. In 1974, we have done the plutonium-based nuclear atomic bomb uh, uh, explosion. And uh, thereafter, we have seen, uh, humne ya, aapko story bhi yaad hoga. if I have said that Apsara Sari Pan Rhi hai, Dhruv ko dikhane ke liye jal rahi hai, Purnima, Jarlina, Purnima series are there. It, these are in the bark. One, it is in a Kamini in the, I said that Kalapakkam. And it is in a fast builder reactor ka uh, research reactor say, And that is in a Kalapakkam mini reactor. It is known as Kamini full form. So we have been able to see these are also and then we have seen the nuclear fusion and the nuclear fusion there is in two types of nuclear fusion and uh, these are I said that uh, natural and uh, it is I said that artificial and natural based hum ne dekha, that is sun or stars in the world in the universe and uh, I said that artificial that we are doing in the nuclear fusion this may deuterium tritium get together become helium and producing large of amount of energy and 10 times around and we can also be able to say like I said that uh, uh, it is an ITER like this one and the seven member countries are there and uh, perhaps this year or the next year it can be possible it, it has to be started it will be operational in the southern France so we have been able to see like I said that our nuclear fusion maybe hum log aapko bataya the, there are the two types controlled nuclear fusion and uncontrolled nuclear fusion yes or not perhaps you remember that and uh, controlled uh, nuclear fusion it is a reactor and uncontrolled it is an atomic uh, bomb like this so we have uh, finished with this uh, first part of I said that uh, nuclear technology and uh, now we are going to see the some of the question based on it and it will be around 30 40 questions I will on the based of uh, based on teaching of this so that you can compressively cover it so we are going to start with the question 
So based on I said that uh, first part of nuclear technology that I have covered, some questions are there. We'll uh, cover those com questions comprehensively. And I think after covering such an amount of good questions, you will not leave any question. So I said that, uh, and in this one, we'll also cover some of the questions that the PSC has already asked. So whatever the question which has been asked, that we'll cover surely. And uh, so I said that, uh, that here it is, you can be able to see that the first co question is that India is a member of the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. If this experiment succeeds, what is the immediate advantage of the India? For the India. So the first statement, it can use thorium place for the uranium for the power generation. So in the case of, I said, International Thermonuclear Reactor, there is a deuterium and uh, tritium. There is no use of thermonuclear, uh, the thorium and also the, the, it is in the nuclear fusion. Uh, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, it is a nuclear fusion. So First option is itself wrong. It can attain a global role in the satellite navigation. There is no any kind of satellite navigation. It can drastically improve the efficiency of fission reactors in the power generation. Again, it is not related to fission reaction. The automatically three statements are wrong. And as I have said that it can build the fusion reactors for the power generation. If it is successful, the tokamak would is there. And uh, the 2020, the operational, maybe the next year, maybe the thereafter. If it is become operational and it is successful, the India will be able to uh, produce, I said that uh, new energy commercial at commercial as purpose aspect for the power generation. The option uh, D is only correct. The UPSC has asked this question. This question was asked by the UPSC. So you can be able to say that it can build fusion reactors for the power generation. This is the first question we have been able to understand. If you have any doubt related to any question, then you can uh, comment us. Will uh, surely I'll take your comments and then your uh, any kind of what I said that uh, problems will be there that will resolve it. <coughs> then second question again it is a question of UPSC to meet its uh, rapidly growing energy demand. Some opine that India should pursue research and development on thorium as the future fuel of the nuclear energy. Yes, we have a good amount of thorium. You know that 25 percent of the world and the number one. So our future is more dependent, dependent on also, that is the correct. In this context, what advantage uh, does the thorium hold over? I have already told you that thorium is the best fuel in the fuel. It can present uranium. It is producing more energy thorium in the uranium. And it is uh, producing less uh, amount of harmful waste and all. So that is, I said, in comparison to what I said, the uranium, it is the best fuel. So first it is, I said, that thorium is far more abundant in nature than uranium. In our India and the world also, thorium is far abundant. First statement is correct. On the basis of the per unit mass of mined mineral, thorium can be generated uh, more energy in compared to the natural uranium. Yes, this is the correct statement, more than the natural uranium. And the thorium produces less harmful waste compared to the uranium. So these are the correct statement. All the statements are correct, one, two, and three. So I think it is the D option is correct. And this is all of this. Listen each and every statement and question properly so that you can analyze your uh, complete comprehensive understanding of the part one of nuclear technology and part two it is based on I said that uh, Indian organization, international organization, some CTBT, NPT and uh, different kind of things, the nuclear supplier groups and then uh, MTCR, Wasan Arrangement Australian group that we will have to see. So all of these are correct. Second. The function of heavy water in the nuclear reactor, in a nuclear reactor, heavy water, <coughs> slow down the speed of the neutrons, yes, heavy water, kya karta hai, absorb karke, moderator ki tarah, yaad hoga, moderators are which one, water, heavy water and graphite, and moderator ka job kya karta hai, slow down the speed, to kya heavy water reduce karega speed of the slow, slow the speed of the neutron, yes, so it uh, slow down the speed of the neutron. The first one is itself correct. Even the read the next increase the speed of the neutron wrong. Cool down the reactor doesn't matter. And the stop the nuclear reaction no. So uh, stop the nuclear reaction ke liye we uh, we have what I said that the controlling rods. Yes or not? Jab bahut jada gusa denge in the subcritical state and thereafter it can be stopped. So the option A is correct for the question third. Is it clear? I'm moving slowly. The slow down the speed of the neutron, the f A is correct. Question number fourth, in which of the, and uh, whatever the third, three till three, third question it is, I, I have discussed with the after the PSC, I said that. In which one of the following location is the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Project to be built? 
northern Spain, southern France, eastern Germany, southern Italy. You know that it is uh, southern France and the reason it is your cataracts. So, southern France is correct. It has been also asked. So, southern France is correct. And thereafter, we have to see, like I said, that uh, next question is. I said uh, the substance used as a moderator and coolant both in nuclear reactor. Aapko yaad hooga ki jab hum we discussed about the pressurized water reactor, then the water as a uh, the uh, high pressure water and uh, low uh, high pressure water both are moderator and coolant. Or jab hum boiling water reactor bola the low pressure water as a coolant and low pressure water as a moderator. So water is I said that can act as a coolant as well as a I said that uh, moderator. And heavy water can also act as an, uh, uh, I said that coolant and moderator. But here it is, I said that here ordinary water diya hua hai, dhyan mein rakhenge. Ordinary water nahi, water. That is distill kind of it. So, ye hum log wrong kar denge. Heavy water, dono coolant and moderator ki zarwa karta. This is the correct. Liquid ammonia, liquid hydrogen. If, we'll, if you have seen the classes very carefully, so I think you will not get any problem. So, you will say directly correct a statement is what? Heavy water. So, the option is B correct. Next one, which one of the following is as a moderator in the nuclear reactor? The moderator, aapko pehle bhi bataya hai, kya kya hota hai moderator mein, I said that there is a water per base it is 75 percent nuclear reactor and the graphite based 25 percent and 5 percent it is, I said that uh, your uh, heavy water and there is also beryllium and some organic liquids are there. So, thorium to hota nahi hai, thorium is a uh, uh, fertile material, graphite hota hai, to ye sahi hai, radium nahi hota, ordinary water bhi nahi hota, so which one is correct? Graphite is a moderator. So, hydrogen bomb is based on the principle of what I said that which one? Hydrogen bomb that you have seen in the uh, star, in the sun. Sun may aapne dekha tha, that is in a kind of hydrogen bomb kind of it, it is there. And uh, you can be able to say it is in a fusion reaction or hydrogen bomb mein kya hai? Controlled na hokar, uncontrolled ke form mein chal raha And uh, you can be able to say it is, I said that, wahan pe koi energy aur hum log jab, hum jab bhi kuch karenge, wo controlled hoga. Aur jo nature kar raha hai, jo apne aap ho raha hai, it is, I said, uncontrolled. The hydrogen bomb, atomic bomb phek diya or loss of heat, heat energy, which we can't control, nahi kar sakte. the atomic bomb is uncontrolled nuclear fusion, but hydrogen bomb is an uncontrolled nuclear fusion, hai, hydrogen bomb, like it is in the sun. Dekha hoga, four hydrogen get together to become a helium and releasing large amount of energy. So, uncontrolled fusion reaction, the second statement is correct, hydrogen bomb is on the principle of uncontrolled fusion reaction. Which of the following is used in the preparation of nuclear bomb, that is atomic bomb? Kya aapne zirconium ka naam suna? No. Uranium ka naam suna? Yes. Molybdenum? No. Vanadium? No. So, which one is correct? Uranium. So, jab aap pal lete, the question looks very easy. I think if we have gone through, and if you have not gone through the classes of the mind in the video, so please go through it very properly, then you can easily handle this question. Uranium is the correct statement. And, uh, this is uranium is the what? Correct statement. And then uh, next one. Which statement is not associated with the nuclear fission? Fission may nahi associated hai. Pucha ja raha hai. To aap padhenge neutron induced nuclear reaction. Neutron se hi nuclear fission hota hai. Yes or not? Neutron bombard karta hai uranium pe 235, 233, plutonium sab par and usko kya karta hai? Nuclear fission. So, ye pucha gaya not associated. Ye to associated hai. Energy generation is stars. Stars mein nuclear fusion se hota hai. Iska malab it is not associated with the nuclear fusion. Ye nuclear fusion se hai, fusion se nahi. So, yehi option, second option is correct looking like till now. Third is what I said that source of energy in nuclear reactor that produces electricity. Source of energy in the nuclear reactor that produces electricity. So, nuclear, I said that nuclear reactor mein jo energy hota hai, heat hota hai, usse hum log kya karte hai, turbine run karte hai, generator and electricity produce hota hai, so that is also related to the what, uh, nuclear fusion, nuclear reactor, and enormous energy released in the atom bomb, atom bomb is also, wo to uncontrolled fusion reaction hai, to ye first, third and fourth is related to what I said that, uh, uh, nuclear fusion and then uh, second is related to what I said that, not, so it is, uh, which of the following state, uh, given statement is incorrect, 
तो ये तो इसके अनुसार से करेक्ट है बट इन करेक्ट आर वॉट वन थ्री एंड फोर दिस विच इज नॉट एसोसिएटेड सो इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इज आई सेट दैट वन थ्री एंड फोर परैप्स इट मस्ट बी क्लियर टू यू ओनली द कंसेप्ट यू नीड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इट इज आई टॉकिंग टॉकिंग अबाउट अरेंज द फॉलोइंग सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इन इंडिया फॉर दिस वन इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट if i am talking about there is an energy produced in india is around i said that um, energy if i am talking about there is an coal energy and uh, coal is the largest amount if we can be able to see that along uh, around 2 lakh megawatt electricity is going to be produced with the help of this one and uh, thereafter uh, some percentage 30 40 mega uh, you can be able to see 30000 megawatt is the well hub of uh, gases and the diesels and uh, you can be able to see around 35000 megawatt with the help of this one these are here it is iske baad it is there is a coming of the what um, under the according to the ministry of new uh, न्यू एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी के बेसिस पर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ न्यू एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी मिनिस्ट्री पे देखेंगे तो देर इज आई सेट दैट वी हैव वॉट इट इज विंड एनर्जी दैट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग अराउंड वी कैन से दैट थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड मेगा वॉट एंड दैन देर इज सोलार एनर्जी which is producing 30000 megawatt and the nuclear energy which is producing around uh, i said that uh, 7000 megawatt and uh, we have now what i said that uh, biomass energy it is producing around we can be able to say that uh, around 10000 megawatt and it is a uh, 9800 something so 10000 megawatt and then a small uh, hydro power that is we have been also 5000 then overall aap pure calculation pe nahi jayenge kahan pe kitna hai but i said that around 86000 megawatt if in say that 36 and then 1076 and there it is 86000 megawatt is going to be produced with the help of renewable energy resources and uh, we can be able to see that uh, this year we are 2019 mein ocean energy ko bhi include kar liya gaya this is for your current affair also ocean energy is also coming under the ministry of new and renewable energy sources also 2019 isse pehle ye sare energy the but it has been also included inside it ocean energy in the form of ocean thermal energy tidal energy these are also included inside it understood it that is it is very much important and uh, if i am talking about hydro electricity hep and if i am talking about hep it is around 46000 mega watt yaad rahega aapko to lagbhag 2 lakh 36000 mega watt we are producing with the help of this coal petrol and diesel slick and uh, this is 86000 mega watt renewable and then uh, hydro it is this one and then uh, a part of it a uh, nuclear energy is not a renewable but it is i said that safe green safe energy understood it so i am talking about that this is uh, around total 369000 megawatt throw is a data here and there honge india is producing at present this much of it or better to say that 369 gigawatts electricity to aap dekh sakte ho ki coal based is a largest number yes or not and then in sub mein dekha jaye to 46 uh, second position pe hoga hydro thereafter wind energy as yes, jo bhi diya rahega fir solar energy aur yahan par coal hydro and solar solar is 30000 kahi wind energy likha nahi hua and then 7000 nuclear energy so i think i said that coal hydro solar and nuclear is what i said that it is the correct option in the form of i said that decreasing order so and in the following source of energy in india which are i said that coal hydro solar and nuclear energy so whatever i taught i said that go and read it properly 
because uh, it is uh, it, it has to be taught in the energy section so we have been able to see like this so option c is correct coal hydro solar and nuclear energy coal is i said that around 2 lakh and hydro is i said that 46000 megawatt solar is 30000 megawatt and nuclear is 7000 megawatt so option c is correct the next one is in pressurized water reactor pressurized water reactor mein water hi coolant bhi hai water hi i said that moderator here so you can be able to let us see the light water is used as a coolant light water is used as a coolant and moderator to yahan pe jo water hai light water jo hai that is distilled it is we have been able to use coolant and moderator i think this is the correct one in the pressurized water reactor and it's a pressurized heavy water reactor that is canada based can do jo hamare stage 1 mein bhi hai but it's talking about pressurized water reactor jisme ko we are utilizing in the i said that uh, in aryan submarines and the different naval ships so the option b is correct heavy water to hai hi nahi heavy water is not this is so the option uh, b is correct i think uh, it is uh, very much clear to you yeah b light water the average thermal efficiency of modern nuclear plant is what i said that it is 30% Uh, in the when i was teaching you that i have said that 30% it is the efficiency but uh, in the gas cooled reactor it is a 40% efficiency is there but moderns are i said that 30% jitni energy hoti hai heat produce uska 30% is going to convert into electricity so that is the 30% is the correct option that you should remember i taught you and if you do not remember go and back see the video very carefully and uh, listen it the nuclear energy is measured uh, in which form mega electron volt yes or not perhaps you remember mega electron volt not the megawatt not the curie curie is the what i said the rate of disintegration of uh, uh, radiative minerals it ko per second mein kitna disintegration hota hai that is what i said that curie megawatt to dusre energy ko measure karta hai but me, mega electron volt is that nuclear energy ko hum log measure karte hain that is whether it is nuclear fusion whether it is a nuclear fusion so the option a is option a is what i said that correct the next one is the most commonly used moderator in the nuclear plant phir se yaad kare ke moderator kon kon se hain i said that water 75% moderators of the world it is and then graphite 20% heavy water 5% there is a some beryllium and the organic liquid so heavy water and graphite yes this is the correct one concrete and bricks those shielding ke liye use hota hai graphite and concrete graphite to hota hai lekin concrete nahi and only graphite this is not the better one is heavy water jiska aap log jante hain ki and red is a what graphite so this is the in isme se graphite bhi sahi ho sakta hai heavy water and graphite but there it is i said that heavy water bhi utilize hota hai so this is what i said correct so option a is correct of the 14th question now let's see the next 15th question न्यूक्लियर यूनिट बिकमिंग एन ए क्रिटिकल मीन्स क्रिटिकल क्या होता है एक ऐसा द अमाउंट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल और मास विच इज एबल टू मेंटेन द चेन रिएक्शन या सर पर हैप्स रिमेंबर नॉट द क्रिटिकल स्टेट तो यहाँ पर द चेन रिएक्शन दैट कॉज इज ऑटोमेटिक स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ द फ्यूल न्यूक्लियाई हैज बिन स्टैब्लिश तो चेन रिएक्शन कंटिन्यू रहेगा तो ऑप्शन डी इट जेनेटिक पावर टू रेटेड कैपेसिटी है ही नहीं इट इज कैपेबल ऑफ जेनेटिंग मच मोर देन रेटेड कैपेसिटी देर इज डेंजर ऑफ न्यूक्लियर स्पीड all are bakwas this is the correct so option i said that d is correct it is clear the efficiency of nuclear plant in comparison to conventional thermal power plant efficiency ki baat ki jaye to ja the nuclear power plant ka kya hoga nuclear power power plant the हंड्रेड यूनिट ऑफ हंड्रेड यूनिट ऑफ हीट प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है तो उसका थर्टी परसेंट ही होता है लेकिन कोल यदि प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है हंड्रेड यूनिट ऑफ हीट उसका सिक्सटी परसेंट हो सकता है सेवेंटी परसेंट हो सकता है इसका मतलब है कि कोल इज मोर एफिशिएंट पेट्रोलियम और गैस बेस्ड थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स आर मोर एफिशियंट जैसे कोल से कोल भी क्या करता है कोल को हम गर्म करते वॉट हैपन देन वाटर को गर्म किया जाता है कन्वर्ट इन टू स्टीम स्टीम रन द टर्माइन टर्माइन जनरेटर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस्ड तो यहाँ पर उसको थर्मल पावर प्लांट है यहाँ पर इट इज़ व्हाट आई सेड दैट हीट प्रोड्यूस बाय द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल्स और इट इज़ अ न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर लेकिन देखा जाए तो आई सेड दैट हेयर इट इज न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर इज लेस एफिशिएंट या नॉट सो द ऑप्शन इज विच वन लेस 
लेकिन यहाँ पर हम देखें यदि एक आई सेड दैट दिस इज द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर एंड दिस इज द सेम थर्मल पावर प्लांट आपको मैं बता दूं कि थर्मल पावर प्लांट बहुत बड़ा एरिया लेता है न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट बहुत छोटा एरिया लेता है लेकिन दोनों का सेम एरिया होगा तो न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट विल बी मोर एफिशिएंट नहीं समझे आप यहाँ पर केवल थर्मल एफिशिएंसी के बेसिस पे देखा जाए दॉट आई सेट दैट न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इज लेस एफिशियंट एंड थर्मल पावर प्लांट इज मोर एफिशियंट क्योंकि वो उसके कोल का प्रोडक्शन क्या होता है उससे ज़्यादा एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस होती है लेकिन बहुत बड़े एरिया में सिक्स यदि उसमें हंड्रेड यूनिट चलो कोल जलाया उसमें हंड्रेड यूनिट हीट प्रोड्यूस हुआ उसमें से हंड्रेड यूनिट में से हीट से में से सिक्सटी यूनिट ऑफ हीट क्या हो जाएगा एनर्जी को इलेक्ट्रिसिटी में पैदा करेगा लेकिन यदि आपने देखा होगा कि कम्प्लेक्स न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर होते हैं उसमें से हीट कई ऐसे चीज़ें हैं जो कि पूरी कम्प्लीट यूटिलाइज नहीं हो पाती स्टीम को कन्वर्ट करती है फिर टर्बाइन को चलाती है फिर कुछ गर्म स्टीम फिर कंडेंसर से होकर ठंडा होकर वापस आता है इसका मतलब ऑल एनर्जी इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज इन कन्वर्टिंग इन टू आई सेट दैट एनर्जी इन द आई सेट दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तो इसके मतलब है कि न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट की जो एफिशेंसी है कम है और थर्मल पावर प्लांट की जो है वो उसकी ज़्यादा है सो द ऑप्शन इज आई सेट दैट Less the efficiency of nuclear power plant in comparison to conventional thermal power plant, that is a coal-based, gas-based, diesel-based, are what more efficient and nuclear power plant is less efficient. Fertile material, क्या होता है? Simply transportation करता है जब उसमें neutron का बर्बादी करेंगे thorium and किस पे uranium to the dh p it will convert into fissile material. So the most fissionable material, no, fertile material is not fissionable. द बेसिक फील्ड फॉर न्यूक्लियर प्लांट नो कोई फील्ड तो है नहीं है बेसिक रॉ मटेरियल फॉर द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इट इज नॉट द रॉ मटेरियल द मटेरियल विच एब जॉब्स न्यूट्रॉन एंड अंडर गोज स्पॉन्टेनियस चेंजेस लीडिंग टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फिजनेबल मटेरियल ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट फॉर वॉट आई सेट दैट फर्टाइल मेटेरियल दैन ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट केला द मटेरियल विच एब्जॉर्ब्स न्यूट्रॉन्स और एब्जॉर्ब्स कौन से न्यूट्रॉन्स को करता है थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन्स फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर पर हैव सी नो दैट फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर में लिक्विड मेटल को डालते हैं ऐसा नॉट सोडियम एंड लेड होता है कूलेंट को हम लोग यूज़ करते हैं लिक्विड मेटल उसको कहा जाता है लिक्विड मेटल फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर और यहाँ पर पूछ रहा है और आपने देखा होगा कि उसमें आपने देखा था लिक्विड मेटल फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर में दैट इज आई सेट दैट वन लूप इज देयर दैट सेकेंडरी लूप इज देयर एंड आई सेट दैट फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर इज अ बॉयलर नॉट बॉयलर में वाटर होना चाहिए यहाँ पे नहीं है लिक्विड सोडियम होता है डायरेक्ट साइकिल ऑफ कुलेंट आपको याद है बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर में पानी गर्म हुआ डायरेक्टली टर्बाइन को होता है दैट इज आई सेट द डायरेक्ट साइकिल ऑफ कुलेंट सिस्टम वो बॉइलिंग वाटर रिएक्टर है डबल सर्किट सिस्टम ऑफ कुलेंट साइकिल तो यहाँ पे आपने देखा था लिक्विड सोडियम गया था लिक्विड सोडियम जहाँ से पास कर रहा था वहाँ पर दिजन आई सेट द स्टीम जनरेटर वो स्टीम जनरेटर इज एबल टू प्रोड्यूस तो यहाँ पर डबल सर्किट सिस्टम ऑफ कुलेंट साइकिल था एंड फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर इज अ डबल सर्किट ऑफ कुलेंट साइकिल मल्टीपास सिस्टम तो है ही नहीं यहाँ पे बहुत सारे सर्कुलर सिस्टम नहीं था ओनली आई सेट दैट दिस थ्री आर देयर उसमें डबल सर्किट में कुलेंट साइकिल मूव कर रहा था कुलेंट सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट आई हैव सोन यू द पिक्चर सेवरल टाइम्स द क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 एन रिज यूरेनियम इज वन इन विच इसमें से कौन एन रिज यूरेनियम है टू थर्टी एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी कौन सा परसेंटेज ऑफ यूरेनियम थर्टी एट बीन आर्टिफिशियल इंक्रीज यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फोर फाइव को आर्टिफिशियली इंक्रीज करना इनके अनुसार से आई सेट दैट इस यू कैन रीज यूरेनियम याद है ना आपको वन परसेंट टू पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट था वन परसेंट टू थ्री परसेंट बनाना था थ्री टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी टू नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट सो द ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट जिसमें कि हम लोग आर्टिफिशियली बाय द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन यूरेनियम आई सेट दैट टू थर्टी फाइव हम लोग एनरिस्ट करके बढ़ाते जाते थे थ्रू द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल सेपरेटर एंड डिफ्यूजन प्रोसेस यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट विल अंडर गो फीजन वो टूटेगा फीजन होगा फीजन तो नहीं होता कन्वर्ट इन टू अदर न्यूट्रॉन उसको स्लो न्यूट्रॉन चाहिए फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन प्रैप्स ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दैट स्लो न्यूट्रॉन तो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव जितने फिजनेबल को तोड़ने के लिए होता है बट दैट इज नॉन ए थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन लेकिन आपको सोवरल टाइम्स आई हैव सिड इन माई क्लास दैट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट को तोड़ने के लिए वी हैव ए फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स वी नीड इज इट क्लियर सो हाई एनर्जी न्यूट्रॉन्स मीन्स फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स एलॉन लो एनर्जी न्यूट्रॉन्स एलॉन इधर फास्ट और स्लो मीडियम एनर्जी न्यूट्रॉन्स विच ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट यूरेनियम थर्टी एट विल अंडर गो फिजन बाई हाई एनर्जी न्यूट्रॉन्स एलॉन 
so the option question number 20 it is clear the next we are going to see that uh, question number 22 and rich uranium may contain fissionable contents of the order of what 1 to 99 percent 1 to 25 percent 1 to 55 percent 1 to 75 percent and rich uranium aapko pata hoga ki ek mein 1 to 3 tha slightly enriched uranium 1 to 3 percent 3 to 20 percent low enriched uranium and highly enriched uranium that is 20 to 99 percent means the enriched uranium is in the range of 1 to 99 percent then option which one is correct 1 to 99 percent the next question is i said that breeding gain in case of thermal breed reactor as compared to the fast breed reactor aapko yaad hoga ki fast breed reactor mein there is an i said that plutonium from the pressurized heavy water se aaya tha there is a natural uranium jisme uranium 238 aur uranium 230 uh, 235 tha aur sath mein thorium as a blanket material go and revise it to wahan par hamara production of uh, i said that jisme uranium 230 natural uranium kon kon se the uranium we have i said that I said that uh, in the uh, uh, fast breeder reactor, that is, I said that plutonium 239 or natural uranium, natural uranium has U235 and uranium 238, and another is a thorium. So, here plutonium and this uranium 235 is giving energy, and fast neutrons is converting uranium 238 and thorium into what I said that fissionable and more and more it is producing but thermal breeder reactor mein aap jante hain jisme ki thorium ko convert hona hota hai lekin usme kam hota hai to kis mein sabse zyada breeding hota hai aur breeder ka matlab bhi hota hai i said that i said that consumption of fuel the production of fuel is more than the consumption of fuel production is more to fast breeder reactor has more i said that uh, production of fuel in comparison to thermal breeder reactor so the thermal breeder reactor mein less hota hai और फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर में मोर होता है तो यहां पे पूछा जा रहा है ब्रीडिंग गेन इन केस ऑफ थर्मल रिएक्टर एज कंपेयर टू द फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर इज लोअर सेम नहीं होगा लोअर होगा हायर नहीं होगा थर्मल ब्रीडर में कम होता है एंड नॉट यूनिटीज यूनिटी का मतलब इक्वल सो इट विल बी व्हाट आई सेड दैट थर्मल ब्रीडर रिएक्टर हैज लोअर सो 23 आंसर इज लोअर Question number 24, uh, nuclear fission is initiated when the critical energy as compared to the neutron binding energy of this atom is, I said that, initiate karne ke samay mein aapko pata tha ki mein bolta tha, jab chain reaction start hona hai, us samay we have to, what I said, that super critical state means number of neutrons should be more. Controlling rod ko thoda sa dalna hota hai. Aur jab chain reaction start hota hai, number of neutron formation, number of neutrons lost, same. Aur jab hume band karna hota hai, that is, or this is critical number of neutrons, number of neutron loss and formation. Now, when you close the reactors, ko, due to any reason, that is, you know, the power failure, maybe the nuclear reactor has to stop. That is a subcritical, which means formation of neutron is less and the loss is more slowly and slowly stop. So, here we are saying initiate karna hai. reaction. Ko, the nuclear fusion is initiated when the critical energy is compared to the neutron. Binding energy of the neutron is what? More. What should energy be? More. More. Then it can initiate the chain reaction. So, more is there. For economical operation of nuclear plant, यदि मुझे nuclear plant का economical operation करना है, मतलब कम लागत पे करना है, तो used fuel should be reprocessed. Reprocessing का मतलब आप जानते होंगे कि जो spent fuel है, उसमें से भी मुझे fissionable और unused को बदल separate कर देंगे. फिर जो fissionable होगा, फिर इसको utilize करेंगे. तो हम यदि reprocessing करते हैं, तो हमारा पैसा ज़्यादा नहीं लगता है. Without enrichment, we are able to get the fissionable. So it is means I say that useful should be reprocessed. ये option correct दिख रहा है, but moderator should be used. Moderator तो slow speed के लिए करता है, जिसका काम होता है कि uranium के ऊपर बमबाट करना है. इससे कोई economic पैसा कमी basis नहीं होता है. Coolant should be implied होता है. सभी में होता है coolant which transfer heats and control rod should be used. Control rod का तो number of neutrons घटाना बढ़ाने के लिए utilize किया जाता है. Absorb कर लो या छोड़ दो. So I said that useful should be reprocessed. This is the first statement is correct. आप क्वेश्चंस को बार बार पढ़िएगा आफ्टर डूइंग दिस अगेन कीप ऑन रिवाइजिंग दिस क्वेश्चन आल्सो आई थिंक देयर आफ्टर यू विल बी द बेस्ट इन द न्यूक्लियर टेक्नोलॉजी देन नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन 26 इन द ब्रीडर रिएक्टर द जनरेशन ऑफ न्यू फिजनेबल एटम इन द ब्रीडर रिएक्टर दैट इज अ फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर मे बी अ थर्मल ब्रीडर रिएक्टर द जनरेशन ऑफ न्यू फिजनेबल एटम इज एट द लोअर रेट देन द कंजम्पशन कंजम्पशन से कम होता है या कंजम्पशन से ज्यादा होता है कंजम्पशन से प्रोडक्शन क्या होता है 
ब्रीडर में फ्यूल का फॉर्मेशन ज्यादा होता है एट द हाइयर रेट देन द कंजप्शन सो दैट पर इट इज द करेक्ट बी ऑप्शन एंड एट एन इक्वल रेट ऑफ द कंजप्शन नो अनप्रडिक्टेबल नो एट द लोअर रेट दैन द कंजप्शन नो एट हाइयर रेट मोर दैन द वट आई सेट दैट कंजप्शन द ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स पिक अप द रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर के बारे में आपको सारा कुछ पता होगा और फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर में क्या मॉडरेटर यूज करते हैं हम लोग यदि आपको इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज अ फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर हम लोग यदि मॉडरेटर यूज करते हैं तो हमें केवल स्लो स्पीड न्यूट्रॉन मिलता तो ये यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट एंड थोरियम यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट को प्लूटोनियम में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए मुझे क्या चाहिए फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड थोरियम को यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए दैट इज ट्रांसमिटेशन और फ्यूल बनाने के लिए हमें क्या चाहिए फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स और यदि हम मॉडरेटर यूज करेंगे तो मेरे पास फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन्स नहीं रहेगा इट मीन्स वी आर आई सेट दैट हम लोग मॉडरेटर को यूज नहीं करते सो आई कैन से दैट पिकअप द रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर ऑपरेट एक्सट्रीमली हाई पाउडर डेंसिटी वहाँ पे दैट इज आई से द फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर में लिक्विड सोडियम है पाउडर नहीं होता और लिक्विड मेटल कूल्ड दैट इज अ लिक्विड मेटल फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर इज अ लिक्विड मेटल कूल्ड दैट इज करेक्ट प्रोड्यूस मोर फ्यूल दैन द कंज्यूम प्रोड्यूस मोर फ्यूल दैन द कंज्यूम ये तो करेक्ट है कंज्यूम से ज़्यादा आप प्रोड्यूस करते हैं लिक्विड मेटल होता है ए यूज वाटर एज कूलेंट अब इसमें क्वेश्चन क्या पिकअप द रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट सॉरी ये भी करेक्ट है लिक्विड मेटल भी है यूज वाटर एज कूलेंट यहाँ पे वाटर एज कूलेंट यूज नहीं करता है और ऑपरेटेड एक्सट्रीमली हाई पावर डेंसिटी डेंसिटी सोडियम मेटल की क्या होती है काफी ज्यादा होती है तो आई थिंक दिस थ्री आर करेक्ट बट दिस इज दॉट वॉट यूज वाटर एज कूलेंट सोडियम लिक्विड सोडियम इज इट सेल्फ एंड कूलेंट हेयर इट इज सो द डी आई से दैट रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट ऑल आर थ्री रिगार्डिंग द फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट इन ट्रिगरिंग फीजन विच टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स आर मोर इफेक्टिव यदि मुझे फीजन स्टार्ट करना है तो फास्ट न्यूट्रॉन और स्लो न्यूट्रॉन आई नीड फास्ट स्लो इन बल्ब स्टैटिक विच वन स्लो दैट इज नॉन एज थर्मल न्यूट्रॉन्स सो द करेक्ट वन स्टेटमेंट इज स्लो ऑप्शन बी ट्वेंटी नाइन यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री इज प्रोड्यूस्ड यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री कैसे प्रोड्यूस होता है आपको याद हो कि ट्रांसमिटेशन से यूरेनियम थोरियम 232 को हम लोग किस में कन्वर्ट करते हैं यूरेनियम 233 थर्टी थ्री सेवरल टाइम्स आई प्रैक्टिस फॉर यू सो बेसिक रॉ मेटेरियल है दैट इज ओके दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट बाई न्यूट्रॉन से रेडिएशन ऑफ यूरेनियम 238 थर्टी एट टू थर्टी एट कन्वर्ट इन टू रेडिएशन से प्लूटोनियम में कन्वर्ट होता है इट इज नॉट इन टू वॉट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री बाई न्यूट्रॉन इरेडिएशन ऑफ थोरियम थोरियम पर अच्छा ये एक बात बता दूँ रेडिएशन और रेडिएशन क्या होता है ये भी एक बात होती है रेडिएशन मीस आई सेट दैट इट इज एन काइंड ऑफ वेब्स विच इज मूविंग इन एनी मीडियम दैट इज नॉन एज रेडिएशन इन अ वेव बट ई रेडिएशन मतलब कि उस रेडिएशन के इम्पैक्ट में किसी ऑब्जेक्ट को लेकर आना उसको बोलते हैं रेडिएशन तो यहाँ पे थोरियम को हम लोग उसके इम्पैक्ट में लेकर आ रहे हैं रेडिएशन के इम्पैक्ट में देर फॉर इट इज नॉन एज देर फॉर उसको कहा जाता है रेडिएशन बाई न्यूट्रॉन ई रेडिएशन ऑफ थोरियम वी कन्वर्ट इन वी आर एबल टू मेक वॉट यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री सो थोरियम इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री दैट इज ट्रांसमिटेशन सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी द एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस बाई अ थर्मल रिएक्टर ऑफ द सेम साइज एज ब्रीडर रिएक्टर दैट इट इज आई सेट दैट द एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस बाई अ थर्मल रिएक्टर थर्मल रिएक्टर यू नो दैट एक जगह थर्मल रिएक्टर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है और एक तरफ ब्रीडर रिएक्टर कर रहा है तो थर्मल रिएक्टर थोरियम बेस्ड है याद होगा आपको एडवांस हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर और थर्मल ब्रीडर रिएक्टर यू रिमेंबर द थर्मल ब्रीडर रिएक्टर विल बी एबल टू आई सेट दैट कंपेरेटिवली आई सेट दैट स्लाइटली स्लाइटली और मच लेस दैन तो थर्मल रिएक्टर में कम रहेगा क्योंकि यहाँ पर फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर में एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस प्लूटोनियम के द्वारा एंड एंड यू टू थर्टी से ज़्यादा होता है थोर एंड थर्मल रिएक्टर एडवांस हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर में केवल थोरियम जो होता है और एक यूरेनियम होता है टू थर्टी थ्री तो थोरियम तो आपको कन्वर्ट होते रहता है यूरेनियम थर्टी थ्री में केवल यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री इज प्रोड्यूसिंग एनर्जी तो थर्मल रिएक्टर प्रोड्यूस इज वाई सेट दट लेस एनर्जी बट फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर ब्रीडर रिएक्टर प्रोड्यूस मोर एनर्जी तो विच इज प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर एनर्जी ब्रीडर रिएक्टर एंड थर्मल रिएक्टर प्रोड्यूसिंग वॉट लेस एनर्जी so much less the energy produced by thermal reactor of the same size as breeder reactor is what much less which of the following type of the pump is used in the liquid metal cooled reactor circulation of liquid metal 
सोडियम मेटल को पुश करने के लिए उसमें मेटल है आयन सर आयन्स को पुश करने के लिए हम लोग इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इक्विपमेंट यूज़ करते हैं जैसे ही हम लोग इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट रखते हैं तो आयन्स क्या हो जाते हैं स्टार्टेड रनिंग अवे पॉजिटिव से निगेटिव मिले जाएंगे तो आई सेड दैट निगेटिव अट्रैक्ट होगा लेकिन पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव विल वॉट रन अवे सो विश्वर आई सेड दैट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट एंड सेंट्री फिगर फोर्स तो हम लोग इसके लिए यूज़ करते हैं एनरिचमेंट के लिए सो ऑप्शन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इज करेक्ट फॉर द पंपिंग द लिक्विड मेटल याद है आपको फॉर्मिड रेटर में सोडियम लिक्विड सोडियम ब्रीडर रिएक्टर इंप्लॉय लिक्विड मेटल कूल एंड बिकॉज इट इज एक्ट एज एन ए गुड मॉडरेटर प्रोड्यूस मैक्सिमम स्टीम ट्रांसफर हीट फ्रॉम द जनरली लिक्विड मेटल को हीट कोर में से उसको पिघला देते हैं जब तो कोर में से ही हीट को लेकर जाता है बस इतना ध्यान में रखिएगा एंड इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर एनर्जी आपको भी बताया अभी लिक्विड मेटल फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर एनर्जी तो ट्रांसफर हीट फ्रॉम द कोर एट अ फास्टर रेट और लिक्विड सोडियम पता है 900 डिग्री सेल्सियस मेल्टिंग पॉइंट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट सो इट इज एबल टू एब्जॉर्ब मोर एनर्जी सो प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर हीट एंड एंड ट्रांसफरिंग द हीट एट फास्टर रेट ट्रांसफरिंग हीट फ्रॉम द कोर एट अ फास्टर रेट कोर का मतलब है दैट इज चैम्बर जहाँ से एनर्जी न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन हो रहा है द फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर इज इज द फॉलोइंग मॉडरेट मॉडरेटर क्या फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर में मॉडरेटर यूज होता है यदि हम मॉडरेटर यूज करेंगे तो प्लूटो यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट प्लूटोनियम में जाएगा नहीं मॉडरेटर क्या करता है स्लो द स्पीड हम लोग इसमें मॉडरेटर को यूज ही नहीं करते इन द फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर और लिक्विड मेटल फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर वी डू नॉट यूज आई सेट दैट मॉडरेटर याद रखेंगे आई सेट देर इज नो यूज ऑफ मॉडरेटर द फास्ट बीडर रिएक्टर इज द फॉलोइंग मॉडरेटर डिमिनलाइज वाटर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हैवी वाटर नो मॉडरेटर इज यूज सो विच ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी वट इज न्यूक्लियर ट्रांसमिटेशन ट्रांसमिटेशन का मतलब ही होता है दैट इज आई सेट दैट ट्रांस वट इज ट्रांसफरिंग वन फॉर्म टू दैन अदर फॉर्म एलिमेंट इन टू वन फॉर्म टू एन अदर फॉर्म एंड ट्रांसमिटेशन मीन्स ट्रांसफरिंग वन फॉर्म टू अनादर जैसे आपने थोरियम टू थर्टी टू कन्वर्ट्स यूरेनियम टू थर्टी थ्री बाई द वन न्यूट्रॉन बाब आर्मी एंड टू बीटा डी के एंड यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट कन्वर्ट्स इन टू प्रोटेनियम टू थर्टी नाइन बाई द सेम वन न्यूट्रॉन एंड टू बीटा डी के तो ट्रांसमिटेशन का एलिमेंट्स ही चेंज हो जाता है कम्प्लीटली सो कन्वर्जन ऑफ वन केमिकल एलिमेंट और आइसो टॉप टू अनादर यहाँ पे वन केमिकल एलिमेंट और आइसो टॉप टू अनादर ये बोल रहा है दैट कुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर कन्वर्जन ऑफ सॉलिड डायरेक्टली इन टू गैस नो कन्वर्जन ऑफ गैस डायरेक्टली इन सॉलिड नो कन्वर्जन ऑफ न्यूक्लेटेड ह्यूमन नर्व सेल इन टू नॉन न्यूक्लेटेड वन तो ऑप्शन ए इज कनेक्ट वन केमिकल एलिमेंट और ऑफ आइसो टॉप इन टू अनादर तो दिस इज द ए ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव कंसिडर द फॉरिंग स्टेटमेंट न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इज द फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन इंडिया आफ्टर थर्मल हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक एंड रिन्यूएबल सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यस आई सेट दैट और जैतपुर न्यूक्लियर पावर प्रोजेक्ट इफ बिल्ट जैतपुर याद है आपको रत्नागिरी में दैट इज द फ्यूचर में बन रहा है टेन थाउजेंड मेगा वॉट एंड इट इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ फ्रांस और मीठी वृडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ यू एस एफ आई सेट दैट जैतपुर न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट प्रोजेक्ट इफ बिल्ट इट वी द लार्जेस्ट न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट जनरेटिंग स्टेशन इन द वर्ल्ड बाई द नेट इलेक्ट्रिक पावर रेटिंग टेन थाउजेंड मेगा वॉट इट इज द मोस्ट एंड द लार्जेस्ट यू कैन से दैट एंड आई थिंक द ऑप्शन वन एंड टू बॉथ आर करेक्ट ऐसा that uh, fourth source of electricity is the highest it is what i said that nuclear power so that we have to see the next 36 question consider the following which of the, f- the which of these are correct the first uh, we are watching i said that largest power station in india is tarapur maharashtra as i was talking about it is the first and at the largest uh, as far as the power station and the largest reactor that is in the form of research reactor If it is not mentioned, the research reactor Dhruva at the Bhava Atomic Research uh, at the Bhava Atomic uh, Research Center, and as I have said that there is, and I said, uh, Apsara, Cyrus, Dhruva, Jalina, and another it is the Purnima. So Dhruva is the largest, as I have said, as a research reactor. That the largest research reactor is Dhruva at the Bhava Atomic Research Center. This is also correct. 
the currently india is using two types of power reactors and currently water pressurized heavy water reactor and boiling water reactor so the india is using these two types of only reactors we have mentioned in our classes several times and all these things we have mentioned so all of the above are correct the largest power station in india is in tarapur maharashtra that is mumbai and the largest reactor dhruva at the bhava atomic research uh, that is the reactor means research reactor and currently india is using two types of uh, reactor it is a pressurized heavy water reactor and uh, boiling water reactor so all of the above is correct and uh, so this is the correct option the next uh, question which we are able to see that uh, which of the following are correct the canada has the largest reserve of uranium in the world you know that australia is the largest then it is uh, kazakhstan then canada then namibia so australia is the number one so the first option is i said that wrong aap log jante honge i have done in the classes australia which has the second largest reserve in the largest exporter of the uranium that is again it is the first it is a wrong statement the primary source of uranium in india is what uh, jadugura maharashtra in uh, dharkhand mein jadugura you have jante honge and uranium is extracted in the form of yellow cake yellow cake ke form mein rehta hai that is smiling jab usko crush karte hain to yellow cake so the option third is only correct and first and second is wrong so kya pucha gaya which of the following are correct so only third is so option c is correct so option c is correct the next is i said that which of the following are correct which of these are correct the india has about 25% of the world reserve of thorium and it is more than also and india is number 1 in the thorium reserve we have covered in this you can see the first option is correct correct and thorium is found in the form of mineral monazites in the beach sands of kerala and tamil nadu yes it is found in the kerala as well in tamil nadu number 1 in andhra pradesh 31% 30% uh, tamil nadu 21 uh, i said that uh, 20% it is in uh, odisha and 16% in kerala 12 per, 10% in west bengal and 2% in jharkhand so so it is available in kerala and tamil nadu so the both the statements are correct so the option is 1 and 2 is correct so the next one it is i said that which of the following power station uh, which of the following uh, matching we have to see and uh, one side is power station and other is state kaiga kaiga you know that it is karnataka northern karnataka side so where it is the uh, one a so one a here it is in this one kakra para in gujarat so 2c 2c in this one so it can be either this and then kala pakkam in tamil nadu south of chennai that is uh, tamil nadu where it is b third b so third b so this is going to be correct after that koi first a 2c third b uske baad automatically fourth e hai rawat bhata it is in rajasthan yes tarapur in the maharashtra mumbai so option uh, which one is b is correct so this is a matching so the option b is correct so the next and uh, the last question of this the most practical fuel for the thermonuclear reactor both the economical and uh, nuclear consideration is plutonium uranium deuterium thorium so yahan par thermonuclear reactor that is i said that international thermonuclear jo hamara hai that is the nuclear fusion mein वो ड्यूटेरियम एंड देन ट्राइटियम्स आर देयर यस आना ड्यूटेरियम ट्राइटियम सो द ये सब में कोई नहीं होगा विच वन इज देयर ड्यूटेरियम इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो वी हैव कवर द सम एक कम्प्रीहेंसिव क्वेश्चन कवरेज बेस्ड ऑन आई सेड दैट वॉट एवर इन द पार्ट वन आई टॉट एंड एंजॉय विद दिस एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ इट